Hill, right over the city of Butler. That's going to be moving in this general fashion uh, right up towards Linden and Miller and Calvary as well along Highway 43. Going to be crossing 43 uh, here within about 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, so we're talking tornado warning for Marengo County until 1230. Uh, and that's the only tornado warning we have in our viewing area. We're all under a tornado watch until uh, till 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, WVA's Daniel Spartman is with us right now. He's watching the National Weather Service chat room. Uh, Daniel, do you have any reports for us? Yeah, I am looking at the uh, Mobile National Weather Service office, and what they're saying is that this is a very severe tornadic storm cell, and they're saying that we they want us to tell people in these areas that you need to take shelter right now. They're watching this one and another one down in <laughs> Washington County, and in fact, Mobile is continuing their part of the tornado warning, which is still in Choctaw County, and they want to reemphasize that county emergency managers have and storm spotters are reporting this tornado on the ground near Barlow or eight miles northwest of Chatham and it's moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. So with, with this storm, we're getting both reports from Mobile and the Birmingham National Weather Service office. So we're trying to coordinate uh, what we're getting from them and they are confirming that they have seen a tornado on the ground with this storm. Okay, so this is exactly where we're talking about. We're looking at storm relative velocity over Choctaw County, and this is close to Mobile. So in other words, we're talking Mobile, Birmingham markets. They share the information in this part of the state, and the tornado is going to be right here south, southeast of Butler, and it's going to be crossing the Tom Baby River very shortly. This is our rotation within the storm. Green wind blowing towards the radar, and we're looking at the radar sign out of Birmingham. So this wind blowing towards the radar sign in Birmingham, red Winds blowing away from the radar site. You put two and two together, a very tight couplet uh, right there over extreme east Choctaw County, about to move into West Marengo County. Highway 69 runs south of Nanaflia, uh, south of Myrtlewood as well, uh, right in this part of Marengo County. So if you're driving along Highway 69 south of Myrtlewood or south of Nanaflia, go ahead and pull over now because the tornadic part of the storm is going to be crossing both the Tom Bigby River and 69 here, here pretty shortly. Eventually, it's going to cross Highway 43 between Linden. Calvary and Miller. Now it's going to be a close call for you in the city of Linden. If you're watching us in downtown Linden or all the way down to Calvary, Miller, Sweetwater, we want you in a safe place. Uh, supercell type storms, a lot of times they can kind of veer their motion some from right to left. So keep that in mind. This thing could, that's why you see this cone we're talking about, the polygon. Uh, this thing could either veer more towards the north or veer more towards the south. If it veers more towards the south, that would take it further south than Marengo, or further south in the city of Linden, and more like Sweetwater, Dixon Mills, shallow Magnolia community. So again, if you're watching us in central Marengo County, get in a safe place now. School's still going on in Marengo County, so if you're watching us, uh, if you're out of school right now, and if you're getting word of a tornado warning, go through your tornado safety plans, especially from Linden down towards Calvary and Sweetwater. Uh, we want you to get in that safe place and go through those tornado emergency plans because this thing right here means business. A very tight couplet, well-defined evidence that a tornado is with this storm. Again, we've had reports, numerous reports of a tornado on the ground. Uh, that started back in Mississippi. This could be one of those storms that produces a long track tornado and it's coming across Choctaw County just on the edge of Marengo County right now. Uh, we're talking southwest Marengo County to south central Marengo County. That's going to be moving towards Pennington, Myrtlewood, Nanafly, Sweetwater. Again, if you're in Sweetwater, Myrtlewood, Nanafly, Linden, uh, we want you in your safe place. Miller also Calvary along Highway 43. Here's Highway 43 that runs from Demopolis through Linden down towards the south into uh, parts of South Marengo County into Dixon Mills. The tornado itself is going to be moving right across Highway 69 and eventually over Highway 43. So again, we have a report that there is a tornado on the ground about to move into Marengo County. And we're looking at that with our storm melted velocity. No doubt about it, a very tight couplet moving across the Tom Bigby River now. So again, if you're in school or if you know anybody in class right now down in Marengo County from Linden to Sweetwater to Dixon Mills, uh, make sure they are in their severe weather safety plan right now because there is a possible tornado or actually is a tornado reported with this storm moving into Marengo County as we speak. Uh, what I'm going to do is zoom back out and show you other, uh, other perspectives across the state. If you're watching us in other parts of the state, we're all under tornado watch until 9 o'clock tonight, pretty much the entire WVUA coverage area. We got the crawl at the top of your screen. You see there they're showing the counties underneath the tornado watch. So let's zoom things back out and show you other storms out there because a lot of outdoor activities happening, no doubt about that. Today uh, we have other storms to the north. In fact, wouldn't be surprised if Lamar 
and northern Pickens go under a tornado warning here pretty shortly. There is a tornado warning right across the state line. Another dangerous storm close to Columbus. Now this could be moving into Kennedy and Vernon here within the next 25 to 30 minutes. So they could extend that tornado warning into Lamar and Pickens County here pretty shortly. No official warning for you, but just a heads up. If you want to go ahead and get in that safe place, uh, there's a dangerous storm that could be producing a tornado going across the state line here within a few minutes. If you're watching us in Tuscaloosa, uh, lots of that outdoor activities happening today. Again, in Tuscaloosa, we have the Sugar Land concert, uh, baseball and softball games scheduled today. Uh, we're talking, we're okay right now. Uh, that's for now. And things definitely will change as we go through the afternoon hours. Again, we're all under tornado watch until 9 o'clock tonight for the entire WVUA TV coverage area. Also over in Talladega in East Alabama, I uh, just kind of want to throw emphasis on what's going on over there right now. Uh, conditions are fine, but again, there are some storms back to the west and later this evening and tonight. That's when your severe weather threat really ramps up in East Alabama right now. Uh, that severe weather threat is fairly low for you at the point, but that is going to change again. Again, tornado warning for Marengo County confirmed tornado on the ground in Choctaw County. We've had several reports as this storm's moved out of East Mississippi of damage and of a tornado. And we're talking to the National Weather Service in Mobile and in Birmingham. They're all getting these reports and we're going to pass these along to you in Marengo County. And uh, WDUA's Lynn Brooks is standing by with some information uh, at the desk. Lynn, I'm going to toss to you just for a minute for some updates. Because of this weather situation, we are getting word of several <coughs> school closures this afternoon, so I want to run those down for you very briefly. Uh, the Tuscaloosa County Schools are closing at 12.30 p.m. That's in about 20 minutes. The Tuscaloosa City Schools are deciding this afternoon to close in shifts, and here is how that will break down for the Tuscaloosa City Schools. High schools are dismissing at 12.30 p.m. Middle schools are dismissing at 1 p.m. And if you have a child in an elementary school in the city of Tuscaloosa, their closing time this afternoon is 1.30 p.m. Some other area school systems that are also deciding to close are as follows. Bibb County Schools closing at noon, just a few minutes ago. Uh, most of these are going to be a noontime closure, so they're in the, in the process right now of closing school for the day. Bibb County Schools closed at noon. Pickens County Schools closed at noon. Hale County Schools at noon. Linden City Schools have decided to close at 1 p.m. this afternoon. Greene County Schools closed at noon. Marengo County Schools at 1 p.m. Sumter County closed at noon. North River Christian Academy and Preschool decided to close at 1 p.m. Also, American Christian Academy closing at 1 p.m. We've also had a lot of questions about tonight's Sugarland concert, the country duo was set to take the stage this evening at 7.30 p.m. at the Tuscaloosa Amphitheater. We've just spoken with Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox. We were expecting to get word on this concert today at noon. Obviously, it's 10 minutes after noon, and we still don't have word on that. So what we're told from the mayor's office <clears throat> is that the mayor will make a determination about the Sugarland concert at 4 p.m. So if you have tickets to tonight's Sugarland concert at the Tuscaloosa Amphitheater, we will have word for you at 4 p.m. on whether that concert will go forward or whether it will be canceled. I want to real quickly go through the school closings one more time in case this affects you. Tuscaloosa County Schools, 12.30 p.m. are closed. Tuscaloosa City Schools closing in shifts, 12.30 for the high schools, 1 p.m. for the middle schools, 1.30 p.m. for the elementary schools. Bibb, Pickens, Hale, all closed at noon. Linden City Schools, 1 p.m. Greene County Schools closed at noon. Also closing at noon, Sumter County Schools. Then at 1 p.m., Marengo County Schools at 1 p.m. North River Christian Academy closing at 1 p.m. American Christian Academy closing at 1 p.m. And also, if you are planning to attend tonight's Sugarland concert at the Tuscaloosa Amphitheater, which is set for 7.30 p.m., we will know official word on the Sugarland concert at 4 p.m. That's the latest word we've gotten from Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox. If you want to see any of this closure information, we are updating these details constantly, minute by minute. Just go to WVUATV.com. It'll be the first thing you see. Now for the latest on what's going on with the weather, Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott. Hey, Lynn, you said Marengo County Schools closing at 1 o'clock. If you're watching us in Linden, down to Sweetwater, Dixon Mills, do not 
right now. Do not go get your kids because there's a tornado on the ground. We're talking about in Choctaw County moving into Marengo County. Now we're talking anywhere in central and south Marengo County. All schools should be in their severe weather alert mode right now because there's that confirmed report of a tornado with this. Anywhere else across the state, that's fine. But again, South Central, Marengo County, including the city of Linden, down to Sweetwater, there's that report that there's a tornado with a storm. It hasn't officially moved into the city of Linden, but it's not going to be long before it does get to you into Sweetwater as well. So a dangerous supercell type storm. National Weather Service in Birmingham saying this thing has very strong rotation and evidence that it's still producing a tornado and it's going to be moving into Sweetwater and Nanaflia here pretty shortly. Uh, here's Myrtlewood, Highway 69 that runs down to Nanaflia. Uh, Sweetwater Community, Highway 43, that's all going to be crossing in this general fashion across Marengo County. Here's Linden. There's Sweetwater, Dixon Mills. Uh, that's where we're talking this storm's going to be heading in this general area. And a supercell type storm, it can often change paths. In other words, it could go more towards the south and more towards the north, kind of veer a bit. That's why we have this polygon warning here that includes a good chunk of south central Marengo County. The tornado itself is going to be right here. This is where our hook echo is, our inflow notch. The tornado is going to be in just this part of Marengo County, crossing the Tom Bigby River near the city of Nanaflia. It's going to be, there's going to be some large hell in this part of the storm as well. Moving into Pennington, Myrtlewood, eventually towards Linden. So if you have a car outside or something, go ahead and park it under the garage. If you're watching us in Linden, down towards Calvary and Sweetwater because uh, the uh, large hell is going to be affecting these communities as well. It's moving out of Choctaw County now. Here's the Tom Bigby River. There's Myrtlewood. Uh, follow the Tom Bigby River down into Clark County, uh, Alabama, Clark, Choctaw County border. And that's where it's crossing again into Marengo County. Going to be a close call for you in Linden. I think the best chance of a tornado happens closer to Calvary and closer to Miller. That's the best chance. Now, this thing's moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. So this is the tornadic part of the storm moving in this general fashion. It's going to be a very close call for you in Linden, but I'd go ahead and get in that safe place. It's going to be about 25 to 30 minutes before it officially arrives in downtown Linden or Calvary. So it's going to take a little while. We've got some time to go ahead and get in that safe place. We're talking the lowest floor of your home. Get in a room that does not have windows. If you're watching us in a mobile home, go ahead and evacuate that and find a safer place like a site-built home or either a, a shelter, some sort of storm shelter, because the possibility for a tornado is definitely there in this part of Marengo County, crossing the Tom Bigby River right here in Nanaflia. And you follow my finger along, there's Linden, uh, Myrtlewood, Calvary Miller again in Marigo County. That's where we're talking about the chance of a tornado being right now. So let's show you the velocity again, the storm melted velocity within the storm, and we can tell you exactly where the tornado is going to be in respect to uh, Marengo County. And let me go back over to our next rad radar source and we can show you where the rotation is. Still very strong evidence that this tornado is uh, moving into Marengo County. Daniel, we have an update. Yeah, just an update just came in from the National Weather Service in Birmingham said that they're tra still tracking this confirmed tornado and it's now located near Mount Sterling or 22 miles southwest of Linden. It's moving northeast at 35 miles per hour and they are now reporting that there is large hail to the size of golf balls in the storm as well as the confirmed tornado. Yeah, Daniel, that's what we we're just talking about. Large hail also a big concern with this storm, but they're saying still a confirmed tornado with this storm, so I'm, I'm guessing there's either storm spotters or deputies out here watching this thing with us. And Highway 69 runs south of Myrtlewood to the city of Nanaflia. If you're driving along 69, go ahead and get in that safe place. Rembert Hill Road, if you live along Rembert Hill Road that runs between Myrtlewood and Linden, the cutoff road to Half Acre, go ahead and get in that safe place as well. Uh, if you're watching us again, downtown Linden, going to be a very close call, a dangerous storm that could easily put down a tornado. And according to the National Weather Service and storm spotters, that's what the storm's doing right now. It's putting down a tornado, and this could be one of those long track tornadoes we often talk about, supercells out in the Great Plains. Unfortunately, the setup is around here for that case. And we're talking south central Marengo County. That's where your tornado is right there. Uh, on the Tom Bigby River, there's Nana Fly. If you're watching the Nana Fly, get in a safe place now. Extremely dangerous possible tornado about to move right over the city of Nana Fly. Going to be close to Myrtlewood. Here's Myrtlewood right here. Uh, very close. Let me see what we have here. Another report from the National Weather Service. Yeah. Yeah, National Weather Service office in Mobile saying Choctaw County reports uh, large trees down on man manufactured homes. In other words, mobile homes. Uh, near a rat community in Butler. Uh, that's about five miles southeast of Butler. Three people trapped inside 
uh, some mobile homes. So that's the big deal. That's, that's the big thing. If you're watching us in mobile homes, if you live in a mobile home right now, get in a safe place. There's a tornado obviously with this storm right now and strong evidence this storm is producing a tornado about to move into Linden, Miller and Calvary. So again, if you're watching us in Linden, this storm is producing a tornado right now. There's people trapped inside mobile homes back in Choctaw County. In this part of Choctaw County, there's Butler. We're talking about three miles southeast of Butler. There's where your rotation is. That is tornadic type of damage more than likely. Now, again, there is a report that there's a tornado with a storm moving into Marengo County. If you're watching this in Nana Fly, we want you in your safe place right now. The tornado is about to pass right over you. I'll let you know when there's an all clear. So what I want you to do in Marengo County, if you're watching this in Linden, Calvary, Miller, Sweetwater, Nanaflia, Myrtlewood, Half Acre, or Rembert Hill Road, what I want you to do is get in the lowest floor of your home, turn up the volume on your television loud as you can. I'll let you know when it's safe. Uh, right now, that is definitely not the case for South and Central Marengo County. There is a confirmed tornado with a storm crossing the Tom Beebe River and moving over Nanaflia right now. Good to be a close call for Myrtlewood. Go ahead and get in that safe place. I think the tornado itself stays just, and I mean a hair to your south, but it's still a close call, so we don't want you to take a chance in Myrtlewood. Uh, if you know, and here's a new scan right here. Uh, Daniel's still seeing extremely uh, strong evidence of rotation over Nanaflia. This thing could be putting down a large tornado, and, and unfortunately today the setup is for these things to put down large tornadoes, and, and that's heading right for Linden and Calvary. Daniel, do you have any reports from the National Weather Service? The National Weather Service, uh, they're just talking about what we've been talking about, the hail. They're saying that the core of the storm is now, you know, dropping lower, which is a great indication that it's actually dropping hail from the storm right now. And they're just reconfirming that there is soft, or up to golf ball size hail in the storm right now. Yeah, we're talking about uh, Pennington and Myrtlewood, the large hail. Here's the hail core right here. And that's going to be moving right into Linden and Calvary as well. Also, the tornado threat is going to be right in this general area over Nanaflia. Uh, here's our inflow notch. This is where our hook echo would be. Not a very well-defined hook echo at this time. Now, that being the case, we're a long way away from a radar site, so it's going to be hard to see a structure like that within a storm. Now, the large hail is going to be right here in East Choctaw County, Northeast Choctaw County, moving into Marengo County, into Myrtlewood and eventually into the city of Linden. So if you're watching in Linden, we've got some large hail coming towards you, moving in this general fashion right here. Uh, it's going to be pretty much the entire city of Linden seeing some large hail here pretty shortly. We're talking golf ball size hail, a good possibility. Could see something between golf ball and baseball size hail out of that, and obviously that can do a lot of damage to your cars, to your house, to your roof. Uh, we had a big hail storm in Marengo County here a while back, several months ago. And a lot of folks in Linden had roof damage. Uh, Hailstone so large it actually uh, broke several windows. And that is another story we're talking about this storm. Large hail, extremely heavy rain with this as well. So if you're driving along Highway 69 from Myrtlewood to Nanaflia, go ahead and get in that safe place. Uh, don't drive along the highways because ponding is going to be a big deal with that storm as well. Now, the National Weather Service, we were talking about the uh, Lamar and Pickens County storms. Well, the National Weather Service issued a severe thunderstorm warning up in Lamar for Lamar and Pickens County until one o'clock this afternoon because they could see winds in excess of 60 miles per hour and also quarter size hail with that storm up in Lamar and Pickens County. Yeah, we're going to go up that storm, Daniel, real quick and show you where we're talking about in Lamar County. Uh, Millport Kennedy community, that's where we're talking about. Severe thunderstorm warning. We'll go right back down to Marengo County, but I just wanted to show you this real quick. They do have a tornado warning across the state line, but the National Weather Service opted to issue a severe thunderstorm warning. They're not seeing as well to find rotation moving into Miller, uh, Millport community rather, and Kennedy. There's Kennedy right there in Lamar County. Vernon, maybe some large hail, but also Strong damaging winds, definitely a possibility across extreme northern Pickens County and south central Lamar County. Eventually that moves in the city of Fayette. Uh, you could have some pretty good hailstones with that as well. And large hail, definitely a possibility, but lots of lightning. A lot of outdoor events happening today. Keep that in mind. If you've got an outdoor event planned or if you're heading outdoors, there's going to be a lot of lightning with the storms out there. So don't take any chances. These things could easily put down a lot of lightning and also that chance of a tornado. Now the most important storm right now. Quickly, I want to remind you we're all under tornado watch until 9 o'clock. Most important storm, no doubt about it, down over Marengo County in an extremely dangerous supercell storm out here by itself. It's getting plenty of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. It has produced tornadoes 
in East Mississippi. It's produced a tornado across Choctaw County. And according to uh, the National Weather Service in Mobile, some deputies reported a tornado on the ground with this moving close to Butler. And that's crossing the river into Marengo County now. And it's uh, what we call a supercell storm. It's a cellular light storm. It's got a rotating updraft and it's a long track storm we're talking. So Linden, it's starting to rain now. The large hail is going to be just your southwest. The tornado itself between Myrtlewood and Nanafly. There's Myrtlewood right here. There's Nanafly right here. This is 69. This is 43. Uh, Linden, Calvary, Miller, you follow that down to Dixon Mills over 43. If you're familiar with this part of the state, if you head down to the beach, a lot of folks take Highway 43 down to the coast. There's several small communities between Linden and Dixon Mills before you get to a bigger town of Thomasville. And that's where the city's going to be crossing. It's going to be crossing between Jefferson, Calvary, and Miller. Somewhere in this general area, that's where the tornado's going to cross Highway 43. Going to be a close call for you in Linden. So if you're watching us in the city of Linden, go ahead and go through your tornado emergency plans. Again, that's getting the lowest floor of your home, putting many walls between you and the outside as possible. Don't take a chance as this thing could definitely put down a tornado if it's not still putting down a tornado right now. In fact, I want to check out the velocity, the storm melted velocity out of this storm. I do want to invite you to head over to our website, WVUATV.com. Click weather blog. Uh, we've got lots of updates on there. And, uh, I'll tell you one thing, uh, this storm over Marengo County, Daniel, do you have a report? Well, um, they, of course, have seen tornadoes on the ground, but now just out of our viewing area, the Mobile National Weather Service Office has issued a tornado warning, another one for another confirmed tornado on the ground 10 miles north of Chatham or seven miles east of Millery, and that's down in Choctaw, Clark, and Washington counties. All right, I'm afraid the storm over Marengo County is putting down a large tornado. The setup we're in today is very favorable for large, dangerous tornadoes. We have people trapped in Choctaw County, uh, not too far away from the city of Butler, just southeast of Butler in the Arley community. Uh, this storm could easily put down a large tornado. Keep that in mind. If you're in Marengo County, we want you in a safe place right now. We're talking the city of Linden, down to Miller, down to Calvary. Get in your safe place, lowest floor of your home. Uh, this thing could put down a large tornado, so don't take any chances with this storm right here. It has a history of lots of damage back to the southwest. This thing is likely putting down a tornado in Marengo County near Nanaflya and uh, eventually towards Myrtlewood. This is going to be moving over Rembert Hill Road. It's going to be moving off towards the north and east at 35 miles per hour. So very close to Linden, if not just to the south, it's going to cross Highway 43. A confirmed tornado with the storm and possibly a large tornado with this storm as it crosses the Tom Bigby River. I want to show you the velocity again with this storm uh, because this storm, no doubt about it, is extremely dangerous and has a chance of producing a tornado. Uh, we're going to look at the storm relative velocity with this, and yeah, it's extremely strong evidence. Uh, this storm is still producing a tornado over Nanaflya. It's about to move over half acre right now. So if you're watching us in Half Acre, Rembert Hill, Linden, get in that safe place. Uh, schools let out in Marengo County at 1 o'clock. Do not go get your kids at school right now. Don't do that in Linden, Sweetwater, Dixon Mills, because there's a chance this thing is still putting down a large tornado moving across Nanaflya into Half Acre. There's Myrtlewood. Here's Highway 69 again, and there's the city of Linden. So chances are this storm is putting down a fairly large tornado. It's a distinct possibility, and we're really concerned about you in Marengo County right now. There's Dixon Mills. This thing's going to stay just to your north in Dixon Mills. In fact, if you're a storm chaser, Dixon Mills is a good place to be right now. You'll be able to see if this thing's putting down a tornado. And, and uh, we're keeping a close eye on the National Weather Service chat room in Birmingham and Mobile. And WVUA's Daniel Spartman is here with us uh, monitoring that. Uh, Daniel, do you have any updates? They just continue to see more and more rotation down near the state line in Mississippi. And it's just amazing, um, you know, there are all these confirmed tornadoes right there together. And it is just because this system is so cellular and that's what's allowing these storms to be what they are. You know, like the last one we had on Monday, it was more of yeah, a line, line of storms. Right, so it wasn't able to produce large tornadoes like this. Now, the National Weather Service in Birmingham has just issued another tornado warning for Marengo County, this one lasting until 1.15 this afternoon. They are tracking the confirmed tornado right now near Nanafalaya. Yeah, but there's all right, there's a tornado on the ground very close to Nanafly. That's what the National Weather Service in Birmingham is telling us. Uh, thanks for the update, Daniel. We're mm -hmm. talking a tornado on the ground very close to Nanafly, moving in half acre. 
and that's going to be moving into Linden shortly. So if you're watching us again in the city of Linden, we want you in your safe place. This is in a, a very dangerous situation for the city of Linden and Calvary and Miller. We're talking confirmed tornado right now in Marengo County, very close to Nanaflia. If you know where Highway 69 is, it runs south of Myrtlewood uh, into Nanaflia. Uh, the tornado was on the ground right here. It's confirmed tornado, possibly a large tornado in Marengo County right now. In your safe place, if you're in a mobile home, evacuate that now. And again, the lowest floor, if you see the brand new tornado warning polygon issue that extends into east central Marengo County, includes Thomaston and Hugo. So eventually this is going to be moving into Thomaston uh, right here and Hugo right here. Uh, crossing near the Octagon exit, the Octagon Road that gets off of Highway 43. Confirmed tornado on the ground again in Marengo County. I'm meteorologist Richard Scott. If you're just now joining us, we're beginning uh, tornado coverage for a dangerous storm in Marengo County. We're all under tornado watch until 9 o'clock this evening. This is the only tornado warning we have so far. Supercell type storm out here by itself. It is producing a tornado right now. It has a history of producing a tornado all the way back in Mississippi. This thing could be producing one of those long track tornadoes. And there's people watching this storm right now. Storm spotters and deputies, there's people trapped in Choctaw County and mobile homes. In fact, I reported three people trapped in a mobile home in Choctaw County, uh, just southeast of the city of Butler. As this thing crossed the Tom Beebe River, it's still getting better organized. There's large hail falling likely. Uh, close to Nanaflia up to Myrtlewood. Eventually, a large hail is going to fall on the city of Linden. So, again, we have a confirmed tornado with this storm in Marengo County. Take this thing seriously. This isn't one of those storms like Monday night where we had damaging winds. I know we had a tornado warning Monday night for Marengo County. This is a whole different ball game here. Uh, this thing could easily produce a large tornado if not right now. Again, this is going to be just to the north of the city of Sweetwater. It's going to stay to the north of Dixon Mills. If you're watching us in Dixon Mills, look northwest. And if you see a tornado, uh, definitely let somebody know. Call the deputies or, or law enforcement so we can continue to get reports of this thing. The tornado is going to stay just north of Dixon Mills. It's going to cross Highway 43 somewhere close to Linden, if not just a couple of miles to the south between Calvary and Miller. That's where we're talking about Highway 43. Uh, if you're watching us in Nanafly, the tornado has passed you just to the east, but there's another tornadic storm back over Choctaw County. I believe, if, uh, Daniel, you said there's a report uh, with the tornado on the ground with that as well. Yes, there was. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, down in Choctaw, Clark, and Washington County, until one o'clock, train spotters reported a tornado which was 10 miles north of Chatham at that point, and that was <laughs> about 10 minutes ago, and it was moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. All right, so we have another tornadic produ or tornado producing storm down over uh, Clark County in Washington County. That's to the south of Marengo County, so that, that's good that it's staying south of Marengo County, but our, our friends down in Clark County will want to uh, certainly send out our thoughts for that as well. Uh, we are talking a dangerous storm over Marengo County right now. Highway 69 runs from Nanafly to Myrtlewood to the city of Linden. You know where it, it, it intersects Highway 43, Marengo Academy, very close to that uh, gas station right there on the side of the road, uh, the corner store. Uh, the tornadic part of the storm is going to be crossing very close to where Marengo Academy is, the corner store uh, down towards Calvary Baptist Church. That's where it's going to be crossing the highway. Now, if you're watching in Linden, there's no way you're going to be able to see this tornado anytime soon because you're gonna have, there's a lot of rain between here and there. So don't go outside and try to look for this thing. There's a lot of rain involved. It's likely rain wrapped. If you're gonna see the tornado, you'll have to be south of the storm over Sweetwater or Dixon Mills or Miller. Uh, but right now in Linden or Calvary, there's no way you're gonna see the tornado because of heavy rain moving in. Uh, brand new radar scan from Home Team Interactive Radar. And here's the tornado right here between Myrtlewood, Miller, and Calvary. Miller's right there, Calvary's right there, Linden's right there. Uh, this is where the tornado is, right in this general area in Marengo County, starting to move in the central part of the county. It looks like it's going to be south, just south of Jefferson. And most of Linden, we're talking large hell about to move in the city of Linden, but just to the south, that's where the tornado is going to be crossing 43. And I say tornado, not possible tornado, because there is a tornado on the ground right now with this storm. Uh, over Marengo County. So a tornado is on the ground confirmed in Marengo County, not too far away from Nanaflya, Half Acre, and the Rambert Hill Road. So what I want to do is go back over to our velocity. Uh, Daniel, if you have any more reports, uh, you have anything over there you're getting from the National Weather Service? 
Not right now. I'm still watching the uh, weather chats from Birmingham and Mobile. Mobile's really talking about these storms that are developing uh, over Clark County. They're talking about the supercell thunderstorms may be producing a tornado near Frankville, which is in Washington County, and that's approaching the Tom Bigby River. The good thing for our folks in Marengo County is this is going to stay south of you, but they're continuing for M Monroe, Washington, and Clark counties tornado warnings because there's another tornado down there that they're dealing with. Uh, lots of uh, spotters and emergency managers have seen the tornado in uh, Monroe County, or excuse me, in Choctaw County. In Choctaw County, that's the one moving into Marengo County. Mm -hmm. uh, the tornado, uh, just a few minutes ago, we still had a tornado on the ground, according to uh, officials in Marengo County, that was close to Nanaflia, so likely the tornado is still on the ground. Here's Rembert Hill Road. If you follow my finger along with me, it runs down between the road intersects Highway 69, just to the west of Linden before we get to Myrtlewood. Rembert Hill Road runs down in this part of Marengo County uh, to Highway 69 again, and that's where the tornado is going to be crossing, right over Rembert Hill Road. Uh, Half Acre sits down here, and there's Linden. There's uh, Calvary right here and Miller right here. Uh, the Octagon Road cuts off into Marengo County going east and moves into Hugo uh, that intersects Highway 28. The tornado is going to be in this general area, Marengo County. We're talking moving uh, past Nanaflia. If you're watching us in Nanaflia, the tornado threat for you with this storm is over with. We're now talking about the tornado moving over Rambert Hill Road just south of Myrtlewood. Large hail likely falling in Myrtlewood, if not just to the south. You see the tornado warning polygon, the red box. That's where a tornado warning is. And there's Miller. Calvary sits right there. Linden sits right there on Highway 43. If you're down in Sweetwater, you're fine. The tornado's just to your north, but it's a close call. Uh, but again, Sweetwater, Nanafly, Dixon Mills, you're okay with the storm. You can resume your normal activities. But Miller, Linden, Calvary, Hugo, Thomaston, Dixon Mills, you're okay in Dixon Mills, but Hugo and Thomaston, you're later on down the road with this storm. So the tornado itself is going to be right here. This is our inflow notch. This is our rain wrapping around the rotation. The tornado is right here. Uh, we're keeping a close eye on the National Weather Service chat room in both Mobile and Birmingham, and they continue to give us updates on where the tornado is. And they're, they've got storm spotters out there. They've got law enforcement reporting this tornado with a storm over in Marengo County. Uh, Daniel, if you want to pass along some more updates or anything from the National Weather Service. Yeah, they're just, um, they're now confirming that there are three people trapped with injury, or excuse me, no reports of injuries back in Choctaw County, which we talked about, which was four miles uh, north northwest of Ararat. Uh, the large tree that fell on the manufactured home, those three people were trapped inside, but there are luckily no reports of injuries from this tornado so far. And then other than that, they're talking about uh, Choctaw, Clark, and Washington counties, and there's still being a tornado down there. And a spotter near Beatrice says they could see a clear cone-shaped funnel cloud to the southwest. So there's a lot of uh, rotation in the air right now with these individual sails. Definitely need to be cautious and get in your safe place. And hey Daniel, that's the storm you're talking about to the south of Marengo County? Right, that's the one that's uh, affecting Choctaw, Clark, and Washington County, okay. so just south of Marengo County. So that's another storm just to the south of Marengo County, and let me kind of zoom this thing out and show you where we're talking about with that storm. The tornado was located near Frankville, or 14 miles uh, northwest of Jackson. Okay, so that's this storm right here over Clark County, and, and again, that's out of our coverage area, but there's also a tornado on the ground with that storm right there as well. So we have several storms that are producing tornadoes. Uh, let's go to the north quickly and show you other storms out there. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning for Lamar and Pickens County. Large hail likely in this storm. Uh, the threat of damaging winds as well. Uh, near Millport, Vernon up to Fayette. Probably going to get some large hail in Fayette. You're not officially under severe thunderstorm warning, but that could change quickly. There's several tornado warnings just across the state line over Mississippi from Starkville down to Philadelphia, Mississippi. Those will cross into Alabama a little later on this afternoon. Uh, if you're just now joining us, I'm meteorologist Richard Scott alongside with WVUA's Daniel Sparkman. I do want to invite you to check out our website at WVUATV.com. Click weather and weather blog. We'll have updates on there, including the latest on the watches and warnings. And this is kind of wide perspective of our WVUA TV coverage area. Tornado watch in place until 9 tonight for the entire WVUA TV coverage area. That's what we're talking about uh, out there right now 
is the possibility today that these storms will produce tornadoes. They are producing tornadoes in parts of the state. In Mississippi, had several reports of uh, tornadoes over there. Uh, now we're getting those reports in Alabama. So a tornado on the ground in Marengo County getting that report as well. So what we're going to do is continue to watch this dangerous situation across our state. Again, we have a tornado warning for Marengo County that includes the city of Linden and Miller. So let's go back into that storm now. Again, severe thunderstorm warning to the north, but our main concern is this tornado warning down over Marengo County right now, as this is again a very dangerous storm over Marengo County. We're talking the possibility is there that it's still producing a tornado, and if the tornado is on the ground, it's right there just south, and I mean just south, of Linden. We're talking only a couple of miles if this is going to cross Highway 43. It's going to be close to Calvary and Linden. Uh, Pine Crest, if you're watching this in Pine Crest, the city of Linden, uh, get in your safe place because the tornado itself is going to be crossing Highway 43 in this general part of Marengo County. Uh, let me zoom us back into Marengo County, a little bit closer view. There's Calvary. Uh, Calvary Baptist Church sits here on the side of Highway 43, very close to the Octagon Road where it cuts off of 43. That's where it's going to be crossing, I think. It's going to be very close to that part of the state, if not just to the north, closer to the city of Linden. Uh, again, if you're watching in Linden, probably a lot of lightning right now. The large hail is just to your south. In fact, if you're driving along Highway 69 that runs down to Myrtlewood, probably some large hail falling, uh, a lot of ponding on the highways, so some really heavy rain involved with a storm, a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, so really heavy rain falling right now. And what's the latest tornado warning time frame, Daniel? until 115 for the uh, storm in Marengo County. Uh, let's see, the National Weather Service office in Birmingham are saying uh, there's rotating storms in Lamar County. All right, they're entering Lamar County and the air mass over that part of the state is a little more stable, so they're not quite tornadic type storms just yet. They're rotating across the state line, but as they move into Lamar County, Alabama, then they start to kind of diminish the rotation just a bit, but our main storm of concern is down over Marengo County where we have that tornado warning until 115. Mm -hmm. Now I was just going to talk talk about the National Weather Service down in Mobile is still watching storms and they're actually keeping the Choctaw County tornado warning going because they've seen more storms popping up to the west of the one we're looking at in Marengo County. So they've issued a tornado <laughs> warning for are keeping the tornado warning for Choctaw County because another storm has developed over west central Choctaw County moving <coughs> to the northeast. Yeah, we're talking about these tiny storms right here, Daniel. Yes. Uh, over western Choctaw County. These are tiny storms, but they, they're showing signs of rotation, so they could definitely put down a tornado as well. Eventually, these are going to move into Marengo County, so it's not over with for you in Marengo County. Uh, tornado warnings to the south. Let's go back up to the north quickly and show you the storms to our north we're watching in the National Weather Service saying uh, there is a severe thunderstorm warning for Lamar County, also northern Pickens County. The storm is moving into the city of Fayette. Wouldn't be surprised if they issue that severe thunderstorm warning eastward into Fayette County, but they're rotating just across the state line. The air mass over in Alabama in this part of the state north of Tuscaloosa, not quite right for tornadic storms just yet. That will change later this afternoon as instability increases from the south. But to the south, where instability is very high right now, storms are producing tornadoes down over Marengo County, and we have an extremely dangerous storm just south, and I mean about a stone throw south of the city of Linden, south southwest. Here's our tornado right here. It's going to be crossing very close to Marengo Academy, very close to Pine Crest, uh, the corner store, the intersection of Highway 69 that runs into 43 right here in Linden. Uh, if not just a hair to the south, down towards Calvary. Here's Octagon Road that runs uh, through Marengo County into the city of Hugo right there. Eventually, it says crosses Highway 43. Hugo, you're next. Thomaston, Dayton, you're next as well. So we're talking all these communities in Marengo County in the path of this storm. And if you're watching us on the north side of Linden, it looks like the tornado is going to be just your south. So you should be OK if you're watching us on the north side of Linden. We're talking 28 and 43 that runs north of Linden. But there's going to be some large hail right here that is going to move into the city of Linden very shortly. We're talking golf ball size hail, possibly as high as baseball size hail in Marengo County on Linden very shortly. We're talking downtown Linden, the large hail threat and just a hair to your south, the main threat for the tornado being right in this part of Marengo County. Again, this is where Highway 69 runs from Myrtlewood into Highway 43. Uh, Marengo Academy sits about right there. 
uh, the corner store. You got Calvary Baptist Church down here. The tornado is going to be between Calvary Baptist Church and Linden. That's where we're talking this thing crossing 43, and here's our hook. You can kind of clearly tell where the tornado would be within the supercell storms right in this general area of Marengo County. So we're keeping a close eye on the National Weather Service chat room for updates on what's going on there. Uh, so far, so good. No other reports of a tornado, so maybe the tornado's lifted or there's just nobody out there to see it, or it could be rain wrapped. Uh, that is another concern over Marengo County. This thing could be wrapped up in rain, and we just simply can't see it. I want to show you the storm melted velocity again in Marengo County, and we're going to look at the velocity of the rotation within the storm and tell you exactly where the rotation is right now. And uh, one good thing from Birmingham is kind of hard this afternoon. All right, so 115 tornado warning for about 15 more minutes, and then the National Weather Service will likely extend this into southern Perry County. We'll stay on the air until this morning. It is out of our viewing area, of course, uh, right now. That's not the case. Still got a dangerous storm down over Marengo County. It has produced a tornado, could still be producing a tornado uh, just east of Linden now. And uh, this storm really means business right here. Supercell storm again out there by itself. It's tapping into plenty of moisture off the Gulf of Mexico. Could easily uh, be producing a tornado right now uh, over Thomaston and Hugo. Uh, Going to be just south of Dayton, but I'd still get in your safe place if you're watching us in Dayton. That's along Highway 25. Uh, we're watching other storms to the west. Daniel was talking about here just a moment ago uh, near Philadelphia, Mississippi. A dangerous storm, and that one's tracking uh, to the north and east. And uh, let me pull this thing out a little bit and kind of shorten this loop for you, and you can see a better idea of what we're talking about in terms of this next storm over in east Mississippi. And we'll track this out of Jackson, this one right here heading right towards uh, Tuscaloosa down the road. So there's another dangerous supercell back in East Mississippi that could be producing a tornado. It has produced a tornado several times, and that's where it's going, uh, towards Pickens, Northern Sumter, Green, and eventually Tuscaloosa County. So we could see additional tornado warnings uh, within about an hour or so for some of our West Alabama counties. Temperatures warmed up out there, 70 degrees. Uh, let me put this in play mode. 70 degrees in Tuscaloosa, 78 down in Demopolis, where the air mass much more unstable. And even low 80s down in South Mississippi, so really unstable air down to our south and west, and that's affecting into our neck of the woods. And we'll check out the dew points quickly. Uh, dew point temperatures have risen into the low 60s in Tuscaloosa, upper 60s in Meridian, so the air mass getting more unstable as we go through the day. So it's going to be a while. So there's our watches and warnings, numerous tornado warnings to our south and to our west. Our one tornado warning we're on the air for is for Marengo County with a tornadic storm close to Thomaston and Dayton. And in fact, uh, the tornado watch goes until 9 o'clock. Our tornado warning goes until 1.15 this afternoon. And again, other tornado warnings just across the state line, Kemper County, Mississippi, Lowndes County, Mississippi. We'll see if those are extended towards the east. And uh, this storm over Marengo County showing signs of producing extremely large hail over Dayton right now, over Highway 25. So if you're driving south, uh, Highway 25 after you cross Highway 80 down into Marengo County between uh, Fonsdale, Dayton, and Thomaston, some large hail very likely in this part of the state. So again, we're talking Marengo County a dangerous supercell storm has passed Linden now. A little light rain moving back into Linden. The tornado threat has passed just your east, and we're talking very close to Thomaston and Dayton and Hugo. The possible tornado is going to be in this general area. And I say possible tornado. It's been a few minutes since we've had a confirmed report of a tornado. Last time we had one of those was back over in Nanaflya. So there could still be a tornado with the storm. We can't guarantee that it's not producing a tornado. It's about to move out of Marengo County within about 10 to 15 minutes. Again, if you're watching us in, in Linden, we're okay. In fact, yeah. Richard, the National Weather Service has just issued a tornado warning for Dallas, Marengo, and Perry County until 145. They're tracking, still tracking what they're calling a confirmed tornado near Thomaston, nine miles east of Linden. And uh, Doppler radar shows that the tornado is moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. So again, it's a new tornado warning including Dallas, Marengo, and Perry County until 145 this afternoon because of the confirmed tornado that we've been tracking all after. Uh 
three fourths of a mile wide. You're talking winds in excess of 250 miles per hour, possibly stronger than that, uh, approaching 300 miles per hour in some of the larger tornadoes out there. So we're talking extremely uh, dangerous situation for northern Sumter County. Here's your tornado over Geiger. It's on top of the city of Geiger. If there's a tornado there still there, if you're in Geiger, you need to be in uh, certainly in that safe place right now. This is me moving into Greene County right now. Union, West Green, Utah, uh, the tornado emergency is in place for you. Again, in northern Greene County, in northern Sumter County, northern Greene County. Here's Interstate 2059 that runs south of Tuscaloosa down into Livingston. If you're driving along the interstate, pull over now. Find a place of safety. Uh, again, I'm meteorologist Richard Scott. If you're just now joining us, it's 1.52 this Friday afternoon. Uh, I'm here with WVUA's Daniel Sparkman. I do want to invite you to check us out on the website, wvuatv.com. Click weather blog. We're monitoring a very dangerous situation across West Alabama. This is one of those elevated threats we don't have often. Uh, we have a wedge tornado on the ground confirmed by National Weather Service storm spotters and Mississippi State University storm spotters. There's structural damage, houses destroyed just across the state line. This is moving into Geiger right now. It's moving east at 55 miles per hour. So it's going to be moving across. Here's a brand new scan right here on top of Geiger now. It's moving across northern Sumter County, likely still a wedge tornado on the ground. We'll continue to get reports from that. Again, there's storm spotters out there right now watching the storm, and they're giving us the latest updates on this thing as we go. Uh, Gainesville, uh, get in your safe place now. Northern Sumter County and eventually Northern Hale County. So uh, let me step off and take the velocity off and show you the reflectivity where we're talking about this tornado again over uh, Northern Sumter County right now. And if you look at things on Home Team Interactive Radar, our reflectivity product, it, it really tells a story. I mean, we got strong evidence of a tornado still here. Uh, here's your hook echo right in here. Uh, almost looks like a kidney bean or a fish hook. Uh, here's your large hail falling. We're going to have large hail falling in northern Sumter County uh, right here in northern Greene County. Southern Pickens County could get some large hail out of this as well. And eventually that moves into Tuscaloosa County. Now the tornado itself should stay south of the city of Tuscaloosa as we go into the, uh, the later afternoon hours. The tornado itself over northern Sumter County right now moving over Geiger. Uh, it's crossed Highway 17 now. In a few minutes in Geiger, I'll give you an all clear. ML, you're okay with this tornado. Now there's another one back to the southwest that will affect us later on. So Gainesville, West Green, Union, Utah, Interstate 2059. If you're driving along any of these highways out there, pull over now. Uh, find a place of safety. If you live in a mobile home, get out of that immediately uh, because it doesn't take much wind to knock over a mobile home. So we're talking a very rare tornado emergency issued by the National Weather Service Office in Birmingham. So what that means, there's a large wedge tornado on the ground. People are watching it right now as I speak. And this thing is doing lots of destruction back to the southwest and it's doing destruction right now, unfortunately, across northern Sumter County. Now, Geiger, you're in the path of this storm, but the good news is I think this stays south of us in Tuscaloosa. Just stay with us now. We'll fine tune that as we get a bit closer. Now, there's no doubt this storm showing extremely strong evidence of a tornado right here. And in fact, uh, what we could be looking at is possible debris on radar. In fact, Daniel, if you notice right there in the center of the screen, uh, I'm going to kind of mark this. Uh, there could be, we could be looking at maybe a debris ball. We saw this back in Jackson, uh, just northeast of Geiger, south of Panola. And sometimes when you see tornadoes so strong, they, they produce debris in the atmosphere, or they lift debris well into the atmosphere, the radar picks that up. Uh, that could be what we're looking at right there. Uh, again, we're talking extremely dangerous situation across northern Sumter, northern Greene County, and this is going to be crossing Highway 14 in northern Greene County that runs from Utah to Clinton up to Aliceville. I'm going to mark uh, Highway 14 for you right here. Well, um, well, while you're doing that, I'm going to just update everybody. The National Weather Service has uh, just sent out an update on the Perry County storm. Uh, it's still until 2.30, a tornado warning for Perry County. The National Weather Service Doppler radar indicating a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. The dangerous storm located seven miles east of Marion and moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. But luckily, still no uh, reports of any damage along with that storm down in Perry County. So we are still watching the one over in uh, Kemper, Mississippi, they're now talking about a storm over 
Neshoba County, which is moving into Kemper County, that's behind the storm we're watching now. And it could be, they're saying it's riding the boundary left by the storm that is moving over Sumter County right now. And they're really concerned about the storm that's moving into Kemper County, which is just following the track of this one. So we'll be worried about that one in just a little bit. We'll be watching that one. Now there's some, some storm reports what we're talking about this debris ball is the possibility of debris up in the atmosphere because of all the damage that this tornado left behind back in Kemper County, Mississippi. There were reports of structures damaged, houses completely destroyed. Also lots of trees down, power lines down. Some reports um, of the power lines down on Highway 16, I believe it was. Yeah, Highway 16. Power lines down, so loss of power over Mississippi. Definitely some houses destroyed. We're getting reports of lots of structural damage with this storm, so we're going to be watching for that over in Sumter County. And you need to repeat a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado. This is from the National Weather Service. You need to take cover now, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows if you're in a mobile home or a vehicle or you happen to be outdoors right now, you need to move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. If you're in a mobile home, grab a mattress before you head out the door. Make sure you have something to cover your head with because this is a very dangerous situation. The potential for a deadly tornado right now over Sumter County, moving into Greene County, you see moving over the county line right now. <clears throat> uh, did you have some? Yeah, Daniel, uh, I've got a, I mean, I guess it's an unofficial report, a text message from a buddy out at Mississippi State University uh, saying there's still a tornado on the ground in northern Sumter County. So we're still talking a very dangerous situation across northern Sumter County uh, near Geiger moving towards Panola and New Green over in Greene County. Here's the Tom Bigby River right here that runs north into Pickens County into Aliceville and runs south into Demopolis. Uh, the tornado is going to be crossing uh, the Tom Bibby River in this part of Greene County. And again, Utah is just to the east. And let me pan this thing out uh, so you can see a wide perspective of where this storm is in relation to us in Alabama. Uh, again, if you're watching us right here in northern Sumter County, still a large tornado on the ground, a wedge tornado uh, in Sumter County now. And again, this is well north of Livingston. This is close to Gainesville. This is going to be moving into some, uh, northern Greene County, rather. And eventually, this is going to be crossing the interstate. And Moundville, later down the road, keep in mind, this thing is going to be moving, even though you're not officially under a tornado warning, southern Tuscaloosa, northern Hale County, you're still under the gun later down the road. And this thing, uh, Daniel, looks like it's uh, taking kind of a more of a northeastward jog. Uh, here because you look back towards DeKalb, Mississippi, this is where the tornado was uh, earlier and you kind of correlate that out and it could be moving in southern Tuscaloosa County here in about an hour and a half. So we're talking again a tornado emergency for northern Greene County, northern Sumter County. The wedge tornado is in northern Sumter County right now moving into northern Greene County. Uh, Mississippi State University storm spotters still reporting a tornado on the ground with this and it's starting to cross the Tom Bibby River again into northern Greene County. This should stay just to the north of you in Utah, but just to be safe, uh, go ahead and get in that safe place if you're watching us in Utah. Uh, what I'm going to do, I want to show you a storm back to the west, uh, Daniel, and uh, you guys at home watching. Uh, there's another tornadic storm just to the southwest of this one, uh, and this one's going to be getting closer to Livingston in Utah back in Mississippi. So we got a tornado warning with that storm. It's possible that we get another tornado warning uh, here pretty shortly. So it's uh, no doubt a long, active afternoon. And we're talking uh, another tornado warning for northern and eastern Perry County, but this storm showing signs of weakening, which is good news. It, it produced a tornado in Marengo County. Uh, that storm has since weakened. Let's go over to our tower camera. And this is what it looks like outside here in Tuscaloosa. Obviously, the storm's too far away uh, to see a tornado with it. Uh, but definitely dark, ominous skies off to the southwest. Some rain's about to move into the city uh, here pretty shortly. And this thing's going to stay too far to our south to be able to see a tornado with it. Uh, but we are looking off towards the south and west in the direction of this thunderstorm that's again over Sumter and Greene County right now. Uh, another concern with these storms is a lot of lightning out there. So keep in mind if you're outdoors, uh, just head on inside because the possibility of some lightning is definitely there. I want to go over to our secondary radar source and show you the velocity uh, within this storm. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, Daniel, this thing right here is still showing extremely strong evidence of producing a large tornado moving across the Tom Bigby River. 
And we're looking at uh, the velocity out of Columbus, Mississippi. Let me go over to Birmingham and see if we still have that. And yeah, it's crossing the Tom Bigby River, extremely strong evidence of rotation. Uh, there's still a tornado on the ground, according to storm spotters that are watching the storm right now in northern Sumter County, moving into Greene County. And we're, we're getting a couple of reports from the National Weather Service over in Jackson, Mississippi. Numerous trees and power lines down near Scuba. One home destroyed, and they're saying in an area that's north northeast of DeKalb, but they're calling it Scuba, somewhere around the Scuba <coughs> area. Another report coming in from the EMA in Kemper County saying widespread trees and power lines down from Preston to DeKalb and saying that Scuba was, quote, hit hard. So definitely leaving a track of damage, which is indicative that there really is a tornado out there knowing that we have seen it, uh, storm, trained storm spotters have seen this tornado on the ground. So definitely history of leaving widespread damage. So if you are not taking heed of our warnings, you definitely need to get in your safe place right now. Turn up the TV, get there and listen, but get in your safe place and cover up because this is a very dangerous situation with potentially destroyed houses in our area. Yeah, uh, what we're talking about, uh, by the way, if you're just now joining us, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott alongside with WVUA's Daniel Sparkman. We're watching a deadly situation across uh, the state of Alabama and Mississippi as well. Uh, dangerous, large tornado on the ground uh, moving through northern Sumter County and northern Greene County. We have an extremely rare tornado emergency for northern Greene County, northern Sumter County. The National Weather Service Office in Birmingham issues that type of advisory. And again, that's a tornado emergency. They only issue that when it's a life-threatening situation, when they know there's a large tornado on the ground, there's no doubt about it 100% that there is a tornado on the ground. That's the only time they issue this, and it's extremely rare. I, I've only seen this uh, one time uh, here in Alabama. That's with the Tuscaloosa tornado we had uh, several years back, of course. Now, uh, again, tornado emergency, northern Sumter County, northern Greene County. If you live from Utah to Union, back to West Greene, we want you in your safe place. And again, that includes to the lowest floor of your home, get in a bathtub, get an interior closet in a room that does not have windows, uh, get the mattress off your bed. You can do that and get that on top of it. You get a bicycle helmet, a motorcycle helmet, football, any type of helmet you have, uh, put it over your head uh, because there's a chance of certainly some debris within a tornado in this part of the storm that's crossing the Tom Bigby River now into northern Greene County. And it's gonna stay just south of the city of Tuscaloosa, but just to be safe, if you live on the southern end of Tuscaloosa and southern Tuscaloosa County, just go ahead and think about what you're going to do next if this tornado warning is extended and if this storm does move more towards the north rather than towards the east. Uh, Moundville later down the road, uh, you as well. You definitely need to think about that. We have more tornado warnings back to the southwest of Mississippi. Uh, clearly, this is the most dangerous storm with a large tornado reported on the ground. Mississippi State University storm spotters out there looking at this storm. Uh, they know what they're looking at, and they do have that report of a tornado on the ground. Uh, still with this tornado, with the National Weather Service uh, deciding to issue a tornado emergency. So uh, Daniel uh, Spartman is here with us with updates from the National Weather Service office in Birmingham and in Jackson. Uh, Daniel, do you have any uh, new reports from the storm? Right now, there haven't been any new reports that have come in. They're just <clears throat> continuing to watch definitely the situation going on in Sumter and Greene counties, and uh, they're getting more and more people out there watching the storm, so we're getting more eyes on it to actually be able to tell what's going on over in Sumter and Greene counties with this tornado so we can reconfirm that it is on the ground. In fact, the National Weather Service <clears throat> has just updated the tornado warning for Greene and Sumter County. Still until 2.30, the National Weather Service Doppler radar and storm spotters are still tracking a large an extremely dangerous tornado located five miles southwest of West, uh, excuse me, New West Green, or 17 miles south of Aliceville, moving east at 35 miles per hour. So it's slowing down just a little bit. Uh, I want to show you this real quick. Our severe weather watches and warnings, and, and this, whenever you see something like this, this isn't a good sign. Numerous tornado warnings back off towards the west in Mississippi. So it's going to be a long day. A long afternoon for us here in the Tuscaloosa area and point south. If you have outdoor events planned today, you may want to cancel those because there's still numerous dangerous storms back off towards the west. Supercells with uh, tornado warnings involved with that. We're all under tornado watch. The county's in yellow until 9 o'clock tonight. That will likely be extended across eastern parts of the state. Right now, that's not the case as unstable environment still off towards the west of us right now or west of East Alabama over the western part of the state where we live. And uh, temperatures are warming up out there. We've got 73 in Tuscaloosa, 78 in Demopolis. The air mass is ripe for tornadic storms today. 
And again, here's Home Team Interactive Radar we're watching. Uh, by the way, I do want to mention uh, the dew point temperatures rising in Tuscaloosa. So uh, signs of the air mass getting more unstable, kind of juicy. And you notice these storms back to the southwest, uh, several tornadic storms that extend back into Mississippi. And these will be moving our way. In fact, it looks like Choctaw County uh, went with a severe thunderstorm warning with that storm. That one is a new one that's popped up. So a little later down the road, Marengo County may want to look up for that storm uh, for a possible tornado down the road. Obviously, our storm of concern is over northern Sumter, northern Greene County, where there's still a tornado emergency in place. A large, dangerous wedge tornado reported on the ground. Mississippi State University storm spotters saying this thing is about three-fourths of a mile to one mile wide, which is incredibly large. Uh, for a tornado here in the southeastern U.S. And the tornado right now is crossing the Tom Bigby River. Here's the Black Warrior River. We'll cross that a little bit later down the road. And again, a dangerous supercell, classic supercell storm with the indication that it's still rotating, indication there's still a large tornado with this storm. And let me zoom back into this thing. And by the way, here's Tuscaloosa in reference to that. We're going to get some heavy rain out of that, possibly some large hail, but the tornado threat could stay just to our south over the southern part of the county. Northern Green County, you're still under the tornado warning. Uh, here's your hook echo. This is where your tornado is, and I can kind of zoom back into this thing, and uh, it's on top of the new West Green community, uh, Mount Hebron right there. Uh, here's Highway 14 that runs up north to uh, Aliceville. Your tornado has crossed the Tom Bigby River. If you're watching us in northern Sumter County from Panola back towards Geiger, the tornado has passed you, but there's another one back to the southwest coming. So keep that in mind. If you're in northern Greene County, there's another tornado back to the southwest uh, coming our way. Uh, Daniel, you have some reports for us? Yeah, we're starting to get storm reports in from inside of Alabama, Sumter County. Uh, the volunteer fire department over in Cuba is reporting a lot of trees down in the Geiger area because of this tornado. So we're starting to see storm reports come in from Sumter County now. All right, if you're familiar with northern Sumter County, uh, Highway 17 runs right here. Besides Geiger, very sparsely populated part of the county. So hopefully the tornado itself stayed out of Geiger and we'll stay out of any communities out here. But if you're watching us, a lot of camp houses along the Black Warrior or Tom Bigby River here, we want you to get in your safe place. And in fact, it's probably too late for the Black Tom Bigby River. And again, if you go off towards the east, towards Highway 14, uh, we're talking about you as well. And that's going to be moving east towards Union. And it should stay just north of you in the city of Utah. We're going to watch that close. Uh, let's go over to our tower camera just for a moment. I want to show you what it looks like outside here in Tuscaloosa. Some dark, ominous clouds, but it, it's not uh, the tornadic part of the storm. It's well to our southwest right now, and it should stay just to our south in Tuscaloosa. So that's one good thing, but just kind of keep a heads up. If you're watching us in downtown Tuscaloosa, there could be other storms down the road. Plus, if this one decides to make more of a northward turn, then that could change uh, our outcome here in the city of Tuscaloosa. So right now, it should stay just to our south. Pretty breezy conditions right now in Tuscaloosa with a sustained wind at 15 miles per hour and gusts up to 22. <laughs> yeah, we got a howling south wind out there, and you probably noticed that if you've been outdoors, uh, conditions very ripe for uh, severe weather to happen across the state. We've been watching this scenario possible uh, for several days now. And Daniel, I want to point something out to you right here. Let me um, get the paintbrush and show you this thing right here. That's what we call a bounded weak echo region right here. Some good news from the National Weather Service on the Perry County. They've canceled uh -huh. that tornado warning a little early. <clears throat> All right, so they have canceled the tornado warning for, for Perry, Perry County. County. That's yes. good news. But this storm uh, right here, that's a bounded weak echo region. Looks like a donut hole uh, within the radar. And a lot of times there's a large mesocyclone spinning in the updraft of the storm and centrifugal force pushes all the precipitation out from it. Uh, a lot of times you see that uh, there's indications there's still a large tornado on the ground. And a lot of times when we see something like that, which is very rare, uh, that's just kind of a red flag there we like to mark and, and say, you know, this storm can still be producing a large tornado right here over northern and western parts of Greene County. If you're just now joining us, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott alongside with WVUA's Daniel Sparkman. We continue to watch a dangerous situation across the state. We now have lots of damage across northern Sumter County near the Geiger community. Lots of trees down. Uh, so far, no word of structural damage across northern Sumter County, but as soon as we get updates on that, uh, we will quickly pass that along to you. But we're talking a tornado emergency for northern Greene County. And that's for this storm we're looking at on Home Team Interactive Radar. And I'm going to show you the velocity with this thing again. And we just want to kind of 
uh, keep a real close eye on the rotation within the storm. And we're still seeing very strong evidence the storm's rotating. And in fact, I'm going to go over to Columbus and see if we have any um, a new look to the storm. And yeah, still very strong evidence the strong storm's rotating across extreme northwestern Greene County. Uh, this is very close to the Sipsi River. If you know where the Sipsi River is, it borders Pickens and Greene County. Uh, the we're talking Pleasant Ridge Community, West Green, Union, Clinton, Snooty Community, and eventually it's going to be moving towards Knoxville along Interstate 2059. Uh, WVH Daniel Spartman, again, he's with us here. We're watching things close in the Weather Center and keeping us updated on all the reports coming out of Sumter County and Greene County. I'm sure we'll start to see some reports out of Greene County. And again, a very dangerous situation happening right now. A, a rare tornado emergency in place for Greene County and northern Sumter County. That's something the National Weather Service doesn't issue lightly. In fact, uh, that's one of the first times since the Tuscaloosa tornado, I've seen a tornado emergency just kind of show you what we're talking about here across parts of our viewing area. And, and uh, again, we're talking a very dangerous situation. There's that tornado warning officially for Green Sumter counties until 2.30 this afternoon. And you notice several different tornado warnings back off towards the west uh, over the state of Mississippi, tornado watch in place as well. And our tornado watch goes in place until 9 o'clock this evening for the Tuscaloosa area. And that does include much of central Alabama. We're talking all of these counties in yellow. Uh, here's our tornado warnings, one for our viewing area. All the other ones are back in the state of Mississippi, and those will gradually spread into Alabama later this afternoon and this evening as we deal with the extremely dangerous situation across our viewing area. Uh, WVH Daniel Spartman again is with us. Uh, Daniel, if you want to pass some more reports, I'm going to kind of get some information uh, out to the newsroom real quick. If you want to pass along some information to us. Yeah, we're still seeing reports coming in and we're also watching some more storms over Mississippi start to fire up. They're issuing more and more tornado warnings, so we're going to have to be watching those over the next hour or so as they head towards the Mississippi Alabama mm -hmm. state line and uh, over in uh, also getting some damage reports from more near the uh, Jackson area of Mississippi. So, so some storms down there are damaging, or, excuse me, are leaving trails of damage and they're moving more towards the Alabama state line. So definitely watching that storm over Kemper County right now, you see just to the east or just to the west of Scuba, there's a tornado warning on that storm that's going to be following right in the path of this wedge tornado that we're following right now. So we're, you guys are not going to be out of the woods once this storm passes because there's another one right behind it. But we're definitely seeing the storm is moving over towards uh, the city. Let's zoom in here. Moving towards Union. Union, you are in the path next. Gainesville is just to the north of you. You can see it's now moved to the east of Gainesville. The, you can see the hook echo there on home team interactive radar. Mount he Hebron, it is just to your north. Pleasant Ridge, just to your south. So if you are in the city of Union, now is your time to be in your safe place. The, checking the National Weather Service chat, they're just talking about large hail been reported over in the area. Lots of uh, flood warnings going out now because of all the rain we're having over the area. Uh, another report from Sumter County, five miles south of Bodka Creek. There's a Cuba Fire, Volunteer Fire Department is reporting numerous trees down blocking old Bodka Road in email at 90 miles per hour with this storm. So we're getting more and more storm reports from the Sumter County area of uh, Alabama and this storm now Union you are the next in the path of this storm so you definitely need to take cover right now if you haven't already done so this storm moving it looks like it's moving more towards the with a little northeast jog to it but officially it's moving to the east at 35 miles per hour we're waiting to see if the National Weather Service is actually going to extend this tornado warning to the east some and include possibly Tuscaloosa County and <clears throat> excuse me possibly Hale County in this uh, tornado warning. We're waiting to see what they're going to do. Should know something in the next few minutes because this <clears throat> tornado warning actually expires at 2.30. So that's only in about 15 minutes. So the National Weather Service in Birmingham is going to have to do something here in the next few minutes. Either let us know that the tornado is gone or let us know that they're extending the tornado warning to include Hale and Tuscaloosa counties. 
Yeah, Daniel, there's no doubt with this storm right here, they're going to extend this tornado warning into probably Hale County and southern Tuscaloosa County. I uh, wouldn't be surprised, but this thing's still a little further towards the west, uh, but they'll likely issue those warnings downstream, and we're talking southern Tuscaloosa County and northern Hale County just a little bit later down the road. Again, we have a tornado emergency in place, and this is one of those things they don't issue very often. We're talking uh, the Tuscaloosa tornado. Greensburg, Kansas tornado, uh, Oklahoma City tornado, uh, things like that is what the issue of uh, tornado emergencies for. It's when it's a life threatening situation and they know without a doubt there's a large and deadly tornado on the ground and Mississippi State University storm spotters and other storm spotters across the state are looking at this storm right now telling us it still has a tornado, at least it did, as is over northern Sumter County. We've got some damage reports back around Geiger and northern Sumter County, numerous trees down. So far, we don't have reports of uh, structural damage, but I imagine we'll be getting those shortly uh, as this kind of right now dodges most of the cities. That's good news, but Moundville, Union, uh, you're down the road from this storm, so it doesn't look like we're going to be too lucky much longer. Hopefully, this thing will continue to dodge the major population centers. If you're watching us out here in northern Greene County, I know it's sparsely populated part. Now, there are uh, several population centers, but the biggest one's down in Utah, and it looks like this particular storm's going to stay north of you. Good news, but there's more storms back to the southwest we're going to be concerned about here pretty shortly. Uh, quickly, here's Highway 14 that runs from Utah uh, up to the north and runs into Aliceville and Pickensville in Pickens County, and we're not talking a tornado warning for Pickens County. This is going to stay just to your south, but it's almost guaranteed that the National Weather Service is going to extend this tornado warning into Tuscaloosa County. So just a heads up, if you're watching us roughly from the city of Tuscaloosa, point south to Moundville, down to, Mount Funch, uh, down to the Union Junction, uh, where Highway 60 meets Highway 69, uh, that's where we're talking about this storm crossing as it moves into Hell County, but it's still well off towards the okay. west. They've dropped uh, Sumter County out of the <clears throat> tornado warning now and continued Greene County until 2.30. Yeah, officially the tornado warning has expired for Greene County, but they're going to continue Sumter, Sumter County. Uh, County. By the way, Sumter County is expired. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sumter County has been dropped out of the tornado warning. Greene County is going to continue under the tornado warning, obviously, because this dangerous storm uh, still over the county. This is where our tornado is right here. It's about to move into the city of Union and eventually into the uh, southwestern Tuscaloosa, northwestern uh, Hell County area. So that's where we're talking about uh, this dangerous storm is going to be moving in that general fashion. Again, it's moving east officially at about, uh, what, 50? 35 miles yeah, per hour. Yeah, it has slowed down a bit, so now it's moving 35 miles per hour. Last report, the Weather Service saying it was moving uh, east at 55 miles per hour, so it has slowed down just a bit. So let's go back over to our next rad radar, and we're going to look at the velocity product from this and just kind of see where the rotation is in respect to where you live on this and, and still extremely strong evidence this thing's rotating and still producing a tornado likely. It's going to be moving into Union here pretty shortly. Uh, Clinton is on top of you right now. Going to be moving into Union, then Knoxville and possibly Ralph. If you're watching us in Ralph in southwest Tuscaloosa County, uh, this thing could be moving your direction as well. Uh, more likely it's going to be moving into Moundville as we go into the next uh, hour to hour and 15 minutes. Um, all right, so Daniel, we still have a tornado warning in place, and this is the only tornado warning we're talking about in our viewing area for Greene County until 2.30 this afternoon. So the National Weather Service and storm spotters all very concerned, and we are as well, about the storm over northern Greene County. Let me zoom out real quick because I know there's a lot of uh, outdoor activities happening in town today. Uh, if you're watching us in the city of Tuscaloosa, there's no tornado warning for you, but there are some uh, rain moving your way from the storm, and we'll likely see quite a bit of lightning out of that as well. So let me kind of pan this thing out and show you a wider perspective of where we're talking about across the state. If you're watching us across other parts of the state in terms of severe weather issues, and uh, there is another tornadic storm back across Mississippi and Kemper County, southern Kemper County. This will likely move into Sumter County, Green. Hale County and points east as well. One thing we've noticed is as these storms move east of Interstate 65, they fall apart due to the fact the air mass is very much more stable over in East Alabama. But here in the western part of the state, that's not the case. Uh, it is unstable across the western part of the state. But the only one tornado warning we have is for Greene County. And that's this very dangerous storm across the northern part of the county. And we're talking this part of the storm right here. There's the Sipsy River. Here's the Tom Bigby River. And there's the Black Warrior River. Utah, you're okay. We're talking the city of Union, probably some large hail falling just to the north. If you're driving along Highway 14 from Utah to Aliceville, pull over now. Do not drive through this part of the storm, whatever you do. 
unless you're a train storm spotter, do not drive near this uh, part of the storm. In fact, if you're along Interstate 2059 about to head towards Meridian or Utah, south of Tuscaloosa, I want you to pull over now, let this storm pass. In fact, pull over in Tuscaloosa, don't go south in west Tuscaloosa. If you're driving the other way north, don't go north of Utah. Pull over for a while, wait at the gas station, just let the storm pass by. It's moving east, uh, kind of east-northeast, about 35 miles per hour. So in this general direction across extreme southern Tuscaloosa County, northern Hale County, uh, down the road. So we're talking a tornado emergency still in place until 2.30 for about nine more minutes. Uh, the National Weather Service will likely extend that tornado warning. Uh, we're not sure if they'll extend it as a tornado emergency or a regular tornado warning. Uh, WVUH Daniel Sparkman is here in the Weather Center. He's going to let us know uh, if they do that. And as soon as they do, he'll let us know. It's 221 this Friday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Richard Scott alongside with WVUH Daniel Spartman. We continue to watch a very dangerous, severe weather outbreak unfold across the state of Alabama. A wedge tornado has been reported on the ground with this storm just to the west. Now, we're not sure if it's still producing a wedge or not. Uh, there's still a tornado emergency in place, so we're going to treat it like it is. Uh, Union, you're next under the gun, so get in that safe place if you're watching us in the city of Union. And Ralph, right along Interstate 2059 and Highway 11 that goes south of Tuscaloosa, get in your safe place. I know Tuscaloosa County, not officially under the tornado warning, that will be changing in a few minutes. And I imagine in about uh, five minutes or less, that will be changing as the National Weather Service. They're going to have to make a decision here if they're going to extend this into Tuscaloosa County and Hale County. And I can just about guarantee they will do that as uh, this storm is still very dangerous and could easily uh, continue to put down a tornado. Uh, WVUA's Daniel Spartman again here in the Weather Center with us. Daniel, uh, if you want to pass along some more reports to us. Yeah, not for the storm that we're watching right now moving through uh, Greene County, but for the one right behind it that's crossing the state line right now from Kemper County, Mississippi. They just a little while ago, a storm spotter had 70 mile per hour winds with that, a 70 mile per hour wind gust. And in fact, Richard, there's a tornado warning just issued for Green Hill and Tuscaloosa County until 315. That's again a tornado warning for Green Tuscaloosa and Hale County until 315 this afternoon. The National Weather Service says storm spotters and the National Weather Service are tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado near West Green or 10 miles northwest of Utah. This is a tornado emergency for the towns of Utah or excuse me Union. Excuse me, tornado emergency for Union, Knoxville, Ralph and Moundville. Take cover now. Storm reports of a one half mile wide tornado. The locations impacted include the city of Union, Knoxville, Moundville, McFarland Mall, Lake Wildwood, Coling, Snotty, Ralph, Fosters, and the Moundville Airport, including Interstate 20, exits 45 through 79. So this is a tornado warning for Green, Hale, and Tuscaloosa County until 315, Richard. All right, uh, I've got a few buddies at Mississippi State University. Uh, they're talking about and this is people that are reliable sources. They're talking about they saw the wedge tornado on the ground as it crossed the state line into Sumter County. And they said this was a very large tornado. In fact, it was about uh, three fourths of a mile wide, like they reported to the National Weather Service office in uh, in Birmingham, also in Jackson, Mississippi. So we're talking about a very dangerous situation uh, still in place across northern Greene County. And they extended the tornado emergency into Tuscaloosa County. So let me kind of pan this radar out and you can see where we are in respect to this thing. If you're watching us on the south side of Tuscaloosa, we want you definitely in your safe place uh, right now. In fact, let me uh, pan this thing out and show you the new polygon warning. And it does include the southern side of Tuscaloosa. We're talking Tuscaloosa Point South, Shelton State Community College, Taylorville. Uh, we're talking also Duncanville Community along Highway 82, Moundville. If you're watching us in the city of Moundville, Get in your safe place now. This is a tornado emergency in place. And again, like we we're saying earlier, tornado emergencies are only issued for the worst case scenarios. Then there's a large tornado on the ground and it's a life threatening situation. So this isn't your typical tornado warning. Yeah, we only see tornado emergencies for things like Greensburg, Kansas tornado, Oklahoma City tornado, and the Tuscaloosa tornado back in December 16th of 2000. So that's the only time we really see tornado emergencies is for a worst case scenario like this. So we're talking uh, Tuscaloosa, Point South, down to Moundville, down to the Havana Junction. That's where this tornado emergency expands. You can see on the polygon system here uh, what it does include, again, Tuscaloosa County, Northern Hale County, and it does not officially include Bibb County, but down the road, we just want to give you a heads up, Bibb County, you'll be next down the road. So the supercell long tracking storm 
continues to move off towards the east. And uh, let me check the latest speed from the National Weather Service. This thing has been changing uh, speed, so still moving east about 35 miles per hour. If you're watching us to the south of Tuscaloosa, we're talking on the south side of town, a large wedge, wedge tornado is still right here. It's moving over Union right now. It's crossing Highway 14. If you're watching us over the very western part of Greene County, you're in an all clear. Now we're talking areas west of Highway 14, anywhere from Highway 14 east. That's not the case. If you live in Ralph, if you live in Foster's, the south side of Tuscaloosa, get in your safe place now. And things we want you to do, uh, just turn up the volume on your television. This is a tornado emergency. This isn't your typical tornado warning. Turn it up as loud as you can. Get in that safe place, and I'll give you a, a clue. I'll tell you when uh, the dangerous part of the storm is over with. I'll try to tell everyone out there when the dangerous part of the storm has passed by. Get a helmet, motorcycle helmet, bicycle helmet, football helmet, anything you can. Get the mattress off the bed. Uh, pull it over your body. Protect yourself from the debris uh, because this is a large and deadly tornado that's crossed the state line that is now in northern Greene County just south of the Sipsi River. And the city of Tuscaloosa will likely get golf ball size hell. Keep that in mind. If you've got your car parked outside, go ahead and, and move it inside. That would be a good chance to do that. Uh, to the south, that's where your tornado is going to be on Highway 14, moving into Union, about to move into uh, Ralph very shortly. It's going to stay just north of you in the city of Utah, and you see the brand new tornado warning polygon does include parts of the city of Tuscaloosa. Uh, WVUA's Daniel Spartman is with me right now with some updates from this tornado emergency across Tuscaloosa, Green, and Hale County. Daniel. Yeah, um, just some storm reports still coming in from Sumter County in the city of or the town of Geiger. 151, a report came in house completely destroyed on Payne Street and another house on the same street has a hole in the roof and lost its porch completely. Also has lost the, some of its brick siding and trees have fallen on other mobile homes along Alabama Highway 17. So definitely a dangerous storm. Also, the National Weather Service has canceled the tornado watches for Fayette Lamar and Pickens County. Yeah, that's the tornado watch that's till 3 o'clock this afternoon. What they did, Daniel, they reissued that tornado watch until um, 9 o'clock tonight. 9 o'clock tonight. Yeah. So we're still talking a very dangerous storm right now over Highway 14 in northern Greene County. And there's another cell behind it. The National Weather Service telling us we're watching that next cell that's moving into Sumter County. It is rotating. It's going to move into southern Sumter County. Or is that the cell that's in southern Sumter County? moving into southern Sumter County. Yeah, so County let's look right at that now. storm over southern Sumter County. Just a heads up, I know we have a tornado emergency for the southern part of Tuscaloosa and Point South. I just want to quickly show you uh, the cell that's over moving into southern Sumter County. And that's the one. Um, actually, there's several different rotating storms. Wow. Something you don't see very often. We have supercell storms that are lined up back to back. Uh, it's going to be a long day, folks. If you're watching us now, uh, you need to stay with us right here because it's going to be a long day before this activity moves out of our neck of the woods. We're talking the main threat for tornado producing storms. Well, these storms back to the south and west are going to be south of Tuscaloosa. We have one uh, dangerous rotating storm here, one here, one here, and one right here. And also this one we're going to watch over southern Sumter County. So numerous tornado producing storms that are moving to West Alabama. We've been watching a severe weather threat for several days now. And it appears this could be one of the worst case scenarios in terms of tornadic damage and uh, tornado producing storms across the state line in Mississippi. And as these move into our West Alabama counties, uh, we are very concerned about that, Daniel. The National Weather Service just issuing a tornado warning for Marengo and Sumter counties until 3 o'clock. They're indicating a severe thunderstorm. Yeah, that one right there. Yeah, capable of producing a tornado located near uh, Kennerbish or 11 miles southeast of Cuba and moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. So that's a tornado warning for Marengo and Sumter County until 3 o'clock this afternoon. All right, let me uh, pull up the watch warning map because it's going to get kind of confusing here. Uh, all the tornado warnings we have now. Uh, this is all tornado warnings we have. Uh, we have a brand new one for Sumter County. Or actually, that's across the state line in Kemper County. They're going to issue one for northern Sumter here pretty shortly. And there's one for southern Sumter and northern Marengo. There's one for northern Green, northern Hale, southern Tuscaloosa County. And then you have some to the south and then several to the west. And these will gradually spread in here later this afternoon. It's uh, about 2.30 right now. Uh, you're watching WVUA TV. We're in the middle of long-form severe weather coverage on uh, a terrible tornado outbreak that's happening across the southeastern U.S. Several large tornadoes being reported today. 
And we have a tornado emergency, which is a really rare thing for southern Tuscaloosa County, northern Greene County, and northern Hale County. So it's going to be a while before we get all this activity out of here. Again, there's several supercells lined up back to back that extend off towards the south and west. Now, once all this activity clears our viewing area later tonight, the severe weather threat ends. So that's good news. And uh, here's a brand new tornado warning polygon. So let me pan us into this thing over southern Sumter County. This is just south of the city of Livingston in York and Cuba. This is the southern part of Sumter County. This is moving towards the city of Demopolis. So if you're watching us in Demopolis, uh, keep in mind there's a tornadic storm moving your way. Uh, this could have stayed just north of you in the city of Linden. Earlier, we had a tornado warning for you in Linden. This was going to stay just to your north. We're talking Jefferson and points northwest where the Tom Bigby and Black Warrior River come together right here in Demopolis. That's where this tornado, a uh, possible tornadic storm, is going to be moving your way. So we don't have a report of a tornado on the ground with this storm, but we do with the storm to the north. So let's go to that storm uh, that is producing a tornado over northern Greene County now that's moving into southern uh, Tuscaloosa County very shortly. There's where your tornado is going to be close to Union along Highway 14. This tornado is going to be moving into Ralph and Foster's and Taylorville. So if you're watching us in Taylorville, get in your safe place immediately because this storm is moving your way. Uh, in fact, if you live from Tuscaloosa down to Moundville, chances are you're not going to see this tornado coming. It's going to be a lot of rain ahead of the storm, so you're not going to be able to see it. And chances are this tornado is rain wrapped as well. A lot of moisture out there today, so these storms are likely rain wrapped. Uh, so that's another deal we're having to deal with there. So if you live in Moundville, all the way down to the Havana Junction, where 69 and 60 come together, uh, get in your safe place, northern Greene County. You're still officially under a tornado warning. We have cells developing to the south. These could become tornadic over uh, parts of Perry County and also over southern Greene County. We'll watch those close. So again, the main area of concern right now is for this tornado emergency that's over the city of Union that includes Moundville, southern Tuscaloosa County. Uh, let me go over to Home Team Interactive Radar and show you the velocity with the storm again, what we're talking about in terms of where the tornado is itself. And we're going to look for the rotation within the storm. The storm's still showing very strong evidence of producing a large tornado. If it's not right now producing a large tornado, uh, we're going to go over to Columbus, Mississippi. And still, yeah, lots of rotation within the storm uh, over the city of Union. That's going to be moving over Knoxville. You know, Knoxville's along Highway 11, uh, right where Interstate 2059 come together, the exit there, the interstate exit, uh, where Knoxville is in northern Greene County. Uh, that's where I think the tornado is going to cross. Uh, the interstate, likely some very large hail in here as well. Uh, if you live in the Gina community, prepare for large hail. We're talking hailstones uh, the size of golf balls to baseballs uh, within the core of the storm. So right along the Black Warrior River, large hail is falling right here. Again, baseball size hail possible. More likely you're going to see golf ball size hail. There's Gina. Uh, downtown Tuscaloosa, we could have golf ball to baseball size hail within 30 to 45 minutes. So keep that in mind. Again, if you live in Tuscaloosa, go ahead and park that car in the garage or up under uh, some sort of shelter. The tornado itself is going to be just to the south over the city of Union. Here's the Knoxville exit off of Interstate 2059 where Highway 11 uh, goes up under Interstate 2059. It's going to be crossing into northern Sumter County in Moundville. You will be next. So there's our hook echo. That's where our tornado is located. Possibly still a large tornado on the ground. We're not sure of that right now. We haven't had reports in about five minutes of a tornado still on the ground. But more than likely, this storm is still producing a tornado. And, and that thing's going to continue moving off towards east. And again, WVUA's Daniel Spartman is with us right now watching uh, this dangerous situation happen across our state. And he's going to give us some reports of uh, the damage of what's happening across Alabama and uh, Mississippi. Daniel? Good news in the last few minutes, there haven't been any more storm reports out of Sumter or Greene counties <clears throat> for with this tornado that we're watching now. But uh, over in uh, Mississippi, taking a look at the National Weather Service chat from Jackson, they're continuing to talk about the tornado warning over in Kemper County, which will be headed our direction soon. So you guys in Sumter and Greene counties, you need to stay alert. You're not under, especially Sumter County, you're not under a tornado warning right now, but you could be very shortly with the storm that's moving out of, um, excuse me, I was incorrect. I, spoke too soon. I forgot there is actually a tornado warning for Marengo and Sumter County until three o'clock. Um, so you need to make sure that you're in your safe place. The storm was 11 miles southeast of Cuba and that was about 
uh, about seven minutes ago. So make sure you are in your safe place moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. We're also watching the storm that's in Greene County right now headed towards Moundville. So if you're in Moundville, you need to make sure you're in your safe place and people that are south of the city of Tuscaloosa and South Tuscaloosa County. If you live between Moundville and Tuscaloosa, take your get in your safe place right now. We're seeing on tower cam that uh, the rain is starting to fall here in the city of Tuscaloosa. We're on the campus of the University of Alabama. You see the rain and wind are starting to pick up here above our station right outside Bryant Denny Stadium here in Tuscaloosa. So that is an indication that the storms are moving into our area. Now we're still seeing that rotation moving over northern Greene County right now and it's moving to the east at 35 miles per hour was the last radar indication from the National Weather Service. You see it's just past just east of the city of Union right now moving to the east a little bit to the northeast. So if you're Little Sandy you look like you're in the path. Moundville you're in the path. It's just north of the city or town of Havana but definitely if you are inside of this area from Tuscaloosa to Havana, you definitely need to be in your safe place right now. All right, Daniel, you see that little hell cord that we're watching on top of the Black Warrior River. Let me zoom into this thing, or excuse me, the Sipsy River. We've been watching this moving into the city of Gina right now, and there's a chance this could be moving into Tuscaloosa here pretty shortly. So we're talking large hell possible in downtown Tuscaloosa, and we're talking possibly golf ball to baseball size hell in parts of town. Keep that in mind if you're going to be watching us in Tuscaloosa or if you're watching us in the city of Tuscaloosa, uh, there's that chance that a large, uh, a large hail will be falling in the city of Tuscaloosa. Let me zoom back out real quick and show you other tornado warnings out there. Again, we have one tornado warning for Marengo County and Sumter County. That includes the city of Demopolis. And uh, it's going to be just to the southeast of York and Livingston. Uh, no concern with a tornado with that particular storm. But if you're watching us in Demopolis, our Jefferson, there is that tornado warning for you. And again, that's mainly for our northern counties. We're all under tornado watch until 9 o'clock tonight. The WBUA TV coverage area is going to be a long afternoon, going to be a long evening. If you have outdoor events planned today, cancel them. Don't go outside today because there's a lot of dangerous storms out there, and these things are popping up pretty quickly. So it's not taking long for these things to go from simple thunderstorms to tornado producing storms. Uh, we have one storm that we know for a fact has produced a large wedge tornado and is likely still producing a large tornado. And that's about to move into Union and also the Knoxville community in northern Greene County. Uh, we're talking, here's Union right here. Here's a hook echo, large hail falling up here. Uh, that's moving towards the city of Tuscaloosa, the large hail. The tornado moving towards Taylorville to Moundville. So if you're watching us south of Highway 69 from Shelton State Community College, uh, even on the south side of town, if this thing veers more to the northeast, uh, we could uh, see this tornado move in the south part of town. And if you're watching us in the Hillcrest community over the southern part of Tuscaloosa County, Taylorville, Inglewood, you know these communities. Uh, we've obviously, we've all known what happened back in December 16, 2000, large tornado that moved through the southern part of town. This could be a similar event here. Hopefully that stays to the south of us. We're talking again a tornado emergency for a southern part of Tuscaloosa County, northern Hale County, northern Greene County. And this is one of those things the National Weather Service again does not issue lightly. Uh, I can only count on my hand a couple of times when I remember hearing a tornado emergency. One was this morning for Jackson, Mississippi that had a tornado emergency there. Another one, Greensburg, Kansas tornado, Tuscaloosa tornado back in December 16th of 2000. And uh, I think that's it. So not very often, uh, Oklahoma City tornado, I believe they issue one for that. Uh, so we're talking a very dangerous storm moving into the southern part of Tuscaloosa. Go through your emergency severe weather plans now. Uh, this isn't like what happened Monday night. Monday night, we just had damaging winds move across the state. This is supercell type storms that have produced wedge tornadoes across the state line. They moved into Sumter County. It could still be producing a large tornado right now. Uh, Daniel has a report real quick. Well, the National Weather Service has just issued a new tornado warning for Greene and Tuscaloosa counties until 345. Uh, radar indicating a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. The dangerous tornado located near Mantua or 13 miles north of Utah moving to the northeast about 30 miles per hour. That is a new tornado warning for Greene and Tuscaloosa counties until 345 this afternoon. All right, so they're issuing a new tornado warning again until 345 this afternoon. 
If you're just now joining us, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott, alongside with WVUH Daniel Sparkman. We continue to monitor a very dangerous situation across our state where we have numerous tornadoes being reported across Mississippi and Alabama today. Some of those being very large tornadoes and wedge tornadoes, especially across the state line. And we have a brand new tornado warning until 345, so it's going to be a long afternoon for us. So just hang in there. If you have outdoor events planned this afternoon, you may want to think about canceling those. So let's actually let's show a radar loop and I want to show you what we're talking about uh, happening across the southeastern U.S., Mississippi and Alabama and numerous supercell storms lined up back to back in Mississippi. Now these are all moving northeast, so they're going to be moving from Tuscaloosa down to the south, Marengo County. So we're saying the highest tornado threat is going to be from the city of Tuscaloosa, Northport down to Marengo County with all of these storms today. Now, here's good news. You see this thin line that runs from Tupelo to Greenwood uh, back to Vicksburg, Mississippi. That's where the cold front is. Once that moves through, the severe weather threat is over with, but it may be a little while before that happens. Uh, here again in the city of Tuscaloosa, uh, we're talking a long duration event uh, happening across the state of Alabama. So it's gonna be a while, but Daniel, that is promising signs there that we're seeing the, I guess the uh, back edge of all this mist happening across Mississippi and that will eventually work into Alabama, but it's going to be a while before that happens. Yeah, definitely good news there. We're getting some information into our newsroom from Sumter County, uh, Geiger Community. The EMA there is reporting that several homes have been destroyed. One person was trapped inside of a home after the tree fell on their house. Uh, luckily, there's no reports of any fatalities at this point, but lots of reports of damage out of Sumter County right now. All right, Daniel, again, that's uh, one of our worst fears is that this tornado was going to move over a, a populated area, and, and that's what happened. It moved over Geiger in northern Sumter County, which is right on Highway 17, and produced a lot of damage. Uh, so we're talking uh, emergency situation, again, still for Tuscaloosa County, the southern part of the county. That includes areas from uh, the Havana Junction points north. Uh, you see our tornado warning polygon, and we have a brand new tornado warning polygon that does include downtown Tuscaloosa. Now, I believe that's because of this cell uh, back here to the west, a new hook echo developing, and this could be a new tornado developing as well. And uh, Daniel, actually, you know what? It looks like this storm right here, Daniel, if you want to watch this radar, uh, we're talking about this hook echo right here is moving a little more north and east. So it's been moving east at 35 miles per hour, but it seems like it's making a jog further towards the north. So we're now concerned about us in downtown Tuscaloosa. Uh, that includes the University of Alabama campus and Point South, also Northport. That includes you. So if you're watching us in Northport, the city of Tuscaloosa, Ralph, Romulus, Fosters, uh, Moundville, Taylorville, and Duncanville. If you're watching us in Cottondale, Get in your safe place. Any of these communities, anywhere, anywhere around those communities, get in your safe place right now. We still have a tornado emergency in place, and that goes until, uh, I believe, 245. Is that right, Daniel? Yes, until 245 for that. Uh, no, excuse me, 315, and then this one is still 345, but 315 for that tornado emergency. Okay, is the new tornado warning just a regular tornado warning, or is it still a tornado emergency? This one is just a regular tornado warning, but we say regular, but it's, I mean, it's a tornado yeah. warning. Yeah, tornado warning's tornado warning. It doesn't matter, but whenever they issue a tornado emergency, that's the worst case scenario. We know there's a large tornado on the ground. Uh, I'm guessing there's not anyone out there to see if there's a tornado still on the ground or not. Uh, we haven't had any reports from storm spotters here lately uh, if there's still a tornado on the ground. Let me show you what's happening out our window outside Tuscaloosa from our WVUA tower camera. And it's starting to get dark outside. We have ominous clouds moving in. We're about to have large hail in the city of Tuscaloosa likely in about 30 minutes or so. So we're talking a dangerous situation now for the city of Tuscaloosa and that does include the University of Alabama campus. So again, a dangerous situation for now. The city of Tuscaloosa tornado emergency. And again, that does, is not issued often. That's one of those things we see uh, once every few years at the most. And, and again, tornado emergency for the city of Tuscaloosa, but we still have a little ways to go before the tornadic part of the storm gets to us. Uh, what's happening right now, we're looking at home team interactive radar and we've got tornado warnings out there. So let me go back out and show you why perspective. We're all under a tornado watch until nine o'clock tonight. And again, we have numerous tornado warnings in place across our viewing area. We have one down over Marengo County in Sumter. And if you're watching this down over Marengo and Sumter, I apologize for not spending much time with this storm, uh, but this storm has not had a history of producing a tornado, unlike this monster storm that's moving into the city of Tuscaloosa uh, right now. 
Uh, WVUH Daniel Sparkman again is here with us for some updates, uh, some reports. Yeah, well, uh, some information out of our newsroom. The University of Alabama softball team had a series opener tonight against Mississippi State, and they have gone ahead and decided to postpone that until tomorrow when the weather's a lot better. The, so the two teams will have a doubleheader tomorrow beginning at 2 o'clock over at Rhodes Stadium on the campus of the University of Alabama. Yeah, that's great news. Um, I actually spoke with Coach Murphy earlier today about that. And uh, with the event today, it's one of those things that could quickly change, and obviously it's turned into – uh, one of the worst case scenarios, I, I believe you could honestly say, with numerous tornado warnings and several tornadoes across the state today, uh, lots of damage across parts of our area. We're talking especially over Sumter County and the Geiger community, a very hard hit part of uh, Sumter County, where a large tornado crossed the state line, did significant damage to houses, again, in the city of Geiger, to homes and, and even mobile homes. And it uh, looks like we have uh, possibly a new warning coming out. Daniel, if you want to check on that. Uh, right now, there was a flash flood warning for Lamar County that was just updated, but uh, no tornado warnings at this point. We're still watching the ones over in uh, Mississippi that are going to be headed our way, several out of Mississippi tornado warnings. All right, Daniel, uh, what we're talking about is a dangerous situation across parts of our state. Again, we still have a tornado emergency for uh, the city of Tuscaloosa, Moundville, and Taylorville. And as for this storm right here, there's other supercell storms back to the west across the state line that's coming across into Sumter County, southern Sumter County, northern Marengo County. You're officially under tornado warning. Uh, we do not have word of a tornado on the ground with that storm, so we're going to kind of focus most of our attention to this storm coming into the city of Tuscaloosa now. And again, a very dangerous situation right now. So what I want you to do, if you're watching us in downtown Tuscaloosa, University of Alabama campus, if you're watching us down in Taylorville, Moundville, Cottondale, uh, Fosters, Ralph, Romulus, if you're watching us in Northport, turn up the volume on your television. Go ahead and get in that safe place, which includes, again, the lowest floor of your home. Uh, get in a room that does not have windows. If you have a basement, get in that. If you're in a mobile home, get out of that immediately and find a structured home or a structured shelter uh, you can get in. Uh, again, we have a tornado emergency in place for southern Tuscaloosa County, and that does include the city of Tuscaloosa. So I'll let you know when it's all clear. Right now, that's not the case. It's going to be a while before this activity moves on. It's moving east at 35 miles per hour. Again, that does include the city of Tuscaloosa. And for this part of the storm right here, uh, there's another storm down here in, in central Greene County, not too far away from Utah, and I would not be surprised if this goes tornadic. It's going to kind of lift into these other storms that are developing to the north. In fact, uh, let's look at the storm relative velocity on these storms and see what we have going on right now, and that way we kind of get a better idea of the rotating part of all of these storms uh, at this hour. And, yeah, there's more rotation, Daniel, showing up around Utah, it looks like, but uh, by far... The most dangerous storm has made more of a northward turn, and there's still very strong evidence of rotation with this storm near Gina community that's in the very northeastern tip of Greene County that's going to be moving into the city of Tuscaloosa. That includes downtown Tuscaloosa, strong evidence of rotation coming our way. Uh, let's go over to our Birmingham radar. And, yeah, we can still see that strong evidence of rotation. Okay, Richard, there's actually a new tornado warning just issued for Green, Hale, and Sumter County. Uh, until 3.30 at 2.43, the National Weather Service indicated severe thunderstorms with multiple circulations capable of producing more than one tornado. These dangerous storms located nine miles west of Email or 19 miles northwest of Livingston move into the east at 40 miles per hour. So just to recap, tornado warning for Green, Hale, and Sumter County until 3.30. All right, thanks, Daniel. We now have multiple tornado warnings. In fact, we have about five tornado warnings across southwest and west Alabama. That includes the city of Tuscaloosa. If you live anywhere south of the northern part of Lake Tuscaloosa, all the way down to Demopolis, you need to be in your safe place. It's incredible. All of these tornado warnings right here together. One that's crossing the state line we were talking about here just a second ago, Daniel, uh, moving into ML and Geiger. Uh, Geiger was hard hit just a moment ago with a large tornado. Lots of structural damage and tree and power line damage in Geiger. Next storm of concern is this one lifting into Utah. This one can produce a tornado. And the next storm of concern is this one up here moving into Foster's and Romulus. Uh, the one moving into Tuscaloosa County has an opportunity to continue producing a tornado. We still have a tornado emergency for southern Tuscaloosa County, which includes the south side of town, all the way down to Moundville. But the other tornado warnings out there are regular tornado warnings uh, due to the fact that storm spotters aren't able to see if there are still tornadoes on the ground with these storms. So there are now numerous uh, tornado warnings again across the WVUA TV coverage area. And let's try to 
uh, dissect all of these storms here as we go through the uh, afternoon hours. So first storm of concern right here, moving into the city of Tuscaloosa. Here's our hook echo. Here's Gina, Little Sandy, Taylorville. Uh, Shelton State Community College sits about right there. Here's the city of Tuscaloosa. We're going to get some large hail out of this and also the threat that there could be a tornado sitting right here that's going to be moving into downtown Tuscaloosa and Northport here in a few minutes. All right, so let's go to the next storm. And it's a storm of concern right over the city of Utah. Uh, there's a tornado warning now for this storm as well over the city of Utah, central Greene County. That's going to be crossing the interstate here shortly. You see the brand new tornado warning polygon. This will eventually move into northern Hale County uh, up here along the Sipsi River. Another tornado warning. Uh, this part of the storm could produce a tornado. And we can go back further towards the west. There are more tornado warnings to talk about. And uh, this brand new tornado warning, this one can produce a tornado not too far south of Geiger, between Geiger and ML on Highway 17. This could be moving into Gainesville and eventually Utah. All right, one more tornado warning. That's this one down over, uh, moving out of Marengo County. Here's the Marengo County, uh, Greene County, Sumter County, uh, Choctaw counties to the south is officially for Sumter and northern Marengo County, the northwestern part. We're talking north and western Jefferson. Uh, Daniel, we have some reports. Well, not some reports, but uh, some updated. You know, with the city of Tuscaloosa under tornado warning, the University of Alabama has decided to suspend classes until the tornado warning is over, which is at 345. <laughs> so university classes have been suspended until 345 or all the tornado warnings are over for the city of Tuscaloosa. And uh, we're still watching other things going on around uh, West Alabama, Marengo and Sumter County. You are still under a tornado warning until three o'clock. The National Weather <laughs> Service Doppler radar continues to indicate a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. The storm was located near K uh, Katopa or 12 miles southeast of Livingston, moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. So Marengo and Sumter counties, you are not out of the woods just yet. All right, Daniel, we're looking live from our WVUA TV tower camera uh, in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. We're located on the University of Alabama campus. You see Brian Denny Stadium, and we're looking back towards the south and west, our first tornadic storm that's coming up on the city. Uh, there's actually numerous tornadic storms uh, coming in the direction of the city of Tuscaloosa. The National Weather Service uh, prompting numerous tornado warnings with this batch of storms that's coming in with several different areas of rotation. Uh, the primary concern is this first one coming into the city of Tuscaloosa, especially the south side of town. And we're kind of panning the skies there. Obviously, right now, we're not going to be able to see uh, the tornado itself because there's still a lot of rain. But, uh, Daniel, we're going to keep a very close eye on our Tuscaloosa tower camera just in case uh, we uh, see anything heading our way. That way we can better tell people at home what's going on here. Uh, let me show you the tornado warnings. And this is a mess right here. There are numerous tornado warnings across uh, West Alabama, including the Tuscaloosa area uh, back into Sumter County. There's one in Marengo County, the northwest corner, and there's more back off towards the west. You see all these red polygons. Uh, that are That is tornado warning po uh, polygons there. The county's in yellow. Tornado watch until 9 o'clock tonight. In fact, it looks like we have a brand new tornado watch in place, and uh, that also goes till 9 o'clock tonight, and that includes all of our west, uh, east Alabama counties. So we're talking tornado warnings for Tuscaloosa County, Hale County, Green, Sumter, and one back towards Meridian, Mississippi, which will be moving towards Sumter County here pretty shortly as well. Uh, best thing we can do right now, and I tell you what, if you live anywhere in the southern half of Tuscaloosa County, all of Green County, all of Hale County, all of Sumter County, if you live in all of Sumter County, now, just listen, if you live in all of Sumter County, all of Green County, all of Hale County, the southern half of Tuscaloosa County, just go ahead and get in a safe place. Stay there for a while. Let these storms pass by. It's going to take some time. I'm going to warn you that, but there's lots of rotating storms out there in a compact area. Just let all of these storms pass by. Get in that safe place, which includes the lowest floor of your home. Get as many walls between you and the outside as possible. And don't take a chance with this because this is a, certainly a dangerous situation across the state of Alabama right now with a tornado emergency for the southern part of Tuscaloosa. The other tornado warnings are regular tornado warnings, but don't take them lightly. Uh, these storms out there could easily produce large tornadoes. Uh, WVUA's Daniel Spartan standing by in the Weather Center with some updates. Uh, Daniel? Yeah, just looking at that Marengo and Sumter County. Um, well, the Birmingham Weather Service has just issued a tornado warning for <clears throat> green hail. Marengo, Perry, and Sumter County. I was about to say that Marengo and Sumter were about to lose their tornado warning, but a new one has just been issued for Green Hill, Marengo, Perry, and Sumter County until 345. 
All right, if you're just now joining us, I'm meteorologist Richard Scott alongside with WVUA's Daniel Spartman. It's 2.55 this Friday afternoon. It's turning into the very long day as we have numerous tornado warnings. We've been on air since about 12 o'clock today uh, with several tornado warnings starting down in Marengo County. We have several areas of major damage across our state, including the state of Mississippi as well. And uh, right along the state line, the city of Geiger uh, having some structural damage as that storm moved into now Tuscaloosa County. So we have numerous storms out there producing tornado warnings in West Alabama. Uh, let's kind of try to get you all these storms. Uh, by far, I think the most concerning storm is two of those storms, and that's the one right along the Sipsi River and also the one that's uh, in Geiger right now. Here's the brand new tornado warning polygon you see for this storm lifting out of Marengo County. It's going to move into Greensboro, Newburn, and eventually into Marion uh, over parts of Perry County and, and Hell County as well. So let's go into these storms kind of one by one. And I'll say this is storm over Geiger showing very strong evidence of producing a tornado. It's kind of out here by itself. The other storms are kind of involved with each other. This storm out here by itself, uh, right along Highway 17. Again, here's County Road 30. Uh, it seems like deja vu just a few moments ago. We we're talking about a tornado warning in this exact area. Here's Geiger, large hail falling. Uh, we had some in uh, injury reports, right, Daniel? Over yeah, Geiger. There were reports of uh, some. Let's see. Here's the report right here. Reports of people trapped inside of a home after a tree fell on their house, but luckily no reports of any fatalities. Uh, we have several homes destroyed in the Geiger community, according to the EMA over there in Sumter County. Uh, also, lots of reports of damaged trees down and power lines down over in that part of the state. Yeah, this storm back here in Sumter County, northern Sumter County, again, a tornado warning for you, showing very strong evidence of producing a tornado now crossing Highway 17. Here's your rotation. Here's your couplet. That's going to be moving in this general fashion towards Gainesville. Uh, also, the Tom Bigby River is going to cross over the Tom Bigby River into central Greene County, eventually towards Utah as well. So this is moving out of Mississippi, out of the Scuba area crossed over in Alabama, just north of ML. Here's your couplet where the tornado is. And, and again, this is a tornado warning for northern Sumter and Green County. We have numerous tornado warnings now in place for the WVA TV coverage area. Uh, we're going to stay on air until all of these tornado warnings <clears throat> are allowed to expire. And I want to show you our Tuscaloosa Tower Cam. We're getting a lot of lightning now here in the city of Tuscaloosa. And, and uh, we're kind of painting the skies here off towards the south and west. And we can hear thunder uh, outside studio. but. We're looking off towards the west and <clears throat> watching storms that are moving in our general direction as they do continue to move off towards the north and east uh, with tornado warnings in place for the city of Tuscaloosa. Uh, Daniel uh, Spartman, WVUH Daniel Spartman is here with us, keeping a very close eye on the situation across our state, and, and he's going to pass along any more reports. Yeah, the National Weather Service, Weather Service uh, has updated the Sumter Hill and Greene County tornado warning. A tornado warning remains in effect for the three counties until 3.30 this afternoon. Just a couple of minutes ago, National Service Weather Service radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. Damage has been reported with this storm, whether <clears> it's tornado <throat> damage or straight line wind damage. Nonetheless, you need to take cover now. This is a very dangerous storm located near Emil or 15 miles northwest of Livingston, moving to the east at 40 miles per hour. Some locations in the path of the storm include Utah, West Union, Gainesville, New West Green, Bology, West Green, Allison Union. We've called out some of these names already today. Yeah, Daniel, this kind of just puts things in perspective. <clears throat> How many rotating storms we have out there? Uh, one right here over northern Sumter County moving across the Geiger community. Here's one, uh, another area rotation that can produce a large tornado over northern Greene County. Also another area rotation over northern Greene County. One over central Greene County, so we have three rotating storms over Greene County, and we kind of pan this thing back towards the east. Uh, we have a rotating storm moving into western Tuscaloosa County now. That one's coming towards the city of Tuscaloosa, uh, and that looks like it. So uh, it's, it's where's Waldo in this uh, type of setup, how many tornadic storms we have in the same location right now. Uh, again, we have numerous rotating storms across our viewing area. Three of those are coming right towards uh, Tuscaloosa, Daniel. Yeah, uh, we're not <clears throat> getting any reports 
right now in the Greene County area or in Hale or Tuscaloosa counties, but we're definitely getting some reports from Sumter County. Want to update those. The EMA are there said lots of damage in the Geiger community. Several homes were destroyed is what we're hearing wow. from the EMA there. And now one person was actually trapped in a home after a tree fell on it, but luckily that person is okay. And luckily no reports of any fatalities over there in Sumter County, but just lots of damage like power lines and trees down. We're also getting <clears> some reports of some trees down and some flash flooding up in Lamar County. There haven't been any tornado warnings for Lamar County, but we're getting reports of Highway 17 south of Vernon that the road is flooded and numerous streets in that area are flooded. So it's <clears> very hard to get through Lamar County right now with the amount of water that's been falling, rain falling down and accumulating on the ground and it's getting uh, deeper and then there's lots of trees down in that area. So it's very hard to navigate. If you're in Lamar County, the best thing for you to do is just stay at home and wait out this, uh, this rain system because there's really not, it's kind of hard to get around right now. If you notice on your television screen, uh, the sky has kind of a green tint to it. Uh, we have some large hail in the area moving into the city of Tuscaloosa. So here within a few moments, it's likely that uh, University of Alabama campus at Northport uh, gets in some, some large hail, possibly as large as golf ball size, which can do a lot of damage uh, to your car. But if you ever heard the green look at the sky, well, that's it. You have that green tint of the sky where you can have large hailstones. What happens is the sunlight it shines through a thunderstorm and it refracts the color green when it hits uh, hailstones. And as that's the case, that's what we're looking at in our sky. And we're looking out for the chance of a tornado to develop. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to see anything from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera due to the fact that it's so much rain in the area. So we're talking a lot of heavy rain moving in, some large hail, also moving in the city of Tuscaloosa, but we're kind of panning the skies here. And let's go back over to Home Team Interactive Radar. Again, we have numerous rotating storms. Uh, some of those uh, could easily produce large tornadoes. They have done that in the past. And... Uh, uh, the National Weather Service just putting extra emphasis on that storm. They're showing a hook echo over West Union right now in northern Sumter County, uh, talking about it moving to the northeast. Very good circulation right now. Uh, so and that's the really storm over Sumter storm. County? Yeah, northern Sumter County. They're really watching that storm right now. Yeah, let's pan into that storm, and it's obviously the storm of concern. Uh, all these storms up here were vigorous supercell storms where they're kind of merging together into more of a line, and a lot of times they uh, aren't able to produce large tornadoes anymore due to the fact they're cut off from the Gulf of Mexico. But uh, one thing we want to watch is several storms to the southwest. Now this one down here moving into Gainesville over northern Sumter County, not too far away from the ML community, uh, fortunately dodged Geiger and ML. Now Geiger has major damage and structural damage and several houses destroyed in the city of Geiger from a supercell here about an hour and a half ago. Uh, now this new supercell storm is producing possibly a tornado that's just crossed Highway 17 about to hit Gainesville along the uh, Tom Bigby River there. So it's going to be crossing the Tom Bigby River. A lot of folks out here have camp houses along the river. If you're in a mobile home, get out immediately, find a safe place. A mobile home can easily be destroyed by strong winds, especially if we have a large tornado on the ground with this feature. Now we don't have word that there's a large tornado with this. The Mississippi State University storm spotters are out there. They're going to let us know if there is still a tornado on the ground and if there is one with this storm right here. So let's pan off towards the north and uh, talk about this storm over northern Greene County. And this one right here also has a possibility of producing a large tornado just south of the city of Union, just north of Utah. And there's our hook echo right there where the possible tornado would be. Now that one again is the one that's heading towards the northeast, towards Moundville and uh, also parts of uh, western Hale County that's eventually going to cross into uh, northern Hale County. Now, Tuscaloosa County storm of concern is this one back here, a hook echo not too far away from the Gina community. The one earlier has weakened and moved northeast. This is our next area of concern right here. A possible tornado could develop and move into Gina and eventually into the city of Tuscaloosa, Northport and uh, downtown Tuscaloosa. So we're talking several different uh, storms that could produce tornadoes here across our viewing area, which includes the city of Tuscaloosa. So if you're watching us in downtown Tuscaloosa, Foster's, Northport, Lake Tuscaloosa, Moundville, Taylorville, uh, down towards Utah and Union, get in your safe place and stay in it for a while until all of these storms pass by because all of these yeah, we have uh, Sumter County EMA. Yeah, the EMA from, the from Sumter County is live on the phone. Uh, if we can get a name. My name is Margaret Bishop Gully. Okay, Margaret Bishop is live on the phone uh, with WVUA TV. We'll pull her up and she's going to tell us some information happening uh, back in Sumter County. Uh, can you hear us? Yes, I can. 
so far I have several calls uh, confirming damages in the Geiger community, uh, several reports of uh, trees down there on the old Baca Road to the point that they had to close the roads momentarily. Uh, we have trees that have fallen on residents, trapping them in their home. We've sent ambulances to that address. Um, we have uh, a senior citizen trapped into her home, whereas the, the ceiling collapsed, an ambulance was dispatched there. We have volunteer fire department units on scene helping uh, remove the trees from the areas. We have reports of uh, total uh, destruction to homes there on the Payne Street um, and on Kirkland, Kirkland Avenue and on Martha Luther King Circle, uh, which is in need of uh, tarps to cover their roof where they have holes that was left by um, the damages that came across on the first round of storms. And I'm looking at a report where there is another case of a storm headed to the ML community, uh, which is just below the, the North Sumter area. So we are kind of wrapped up right this minute. All right, uh, thank you for the report uh, over in Sumter County. Can you hear us good? Yes. Yeah. All right, uh, thank you so much again for the report happening in Sumter County. Obviously, uh, a lot of devastation out across northern Sumter County, including the city of Geiger, uh, where we had a tornado emergency and a large tornado touched down. And in fact, uh, Mississippi State University storm spotters saying uh, this was a wedge tornado. Uh, that was reported on the ground that crossed the state line. And again, who we're speaking to was uh, Miss Margaret Bishop Gully, and that was with the Sumter County EMA. Uh, we want to thank you for your report, and uh, hopefully we won't have any more damage like that across our state, but we just can't guarantee that. Again, significant structural damage in Sumter County and uh, homes destroyed. And uh, I, I guess we haven't had a report on fatalities or anything like that. Hopefully, uh, we will not have any fatalities with these storms. Obviously, a, a very dangerous situation happening across the state. Now, that's what happened earlier in Sumter County. We still have numerous tornado warnings in place right now across our coverage area. That includes Tuscaloosa County and the city of Tuscaloosa. And let me kind of pan things out and show you a wide perspective of what's going on across our state. Again, we have numerous tornado warnings in place. Uh, one of our Marengo County, and this storm right here means business as well. Uh, no official report of a tornado on the ground <clears throat> with this storm, but it's going to be moving into Forkland soon. Uh, just north of the city of Demopolis, going to be moving into Greensboro and Newburn community. So this is going to be moving off towards the north and east at about 35 to 40 miles per hour. Another storm of concern is also over Sumter County. Uh, and that's a storm moving into Gainesville right now. It's going to stay north of the Elps community, northeast of ML now. It has passed Geiger. Uh, obviously, Geiger very hard hit just a few moments ago with a large tornado, uh, wedge tornado, which came through uh, about a couple of hours ago, maybe an hour and a half ago, has moved past Geiger and now very close to the Gainesville community. So this is a very serious situation across our West Alabama counties. Again, we have tornado warnings in place for numerous counties across our viewing area. Now there's one coming towards uh, the city of Tuscaloosa. I want to kind of pan us back into that storm uh, in particular and, and it's just kind of mess on radar now. Uh, these cells are merging together. What's happening is there's still multiple circulations in place uh, across our West Alabama communities and, and those are uh, moving in to the Tuscaloosa area. So let's look at the rotation uh, within these storms that exist across our state. I just wanted to say that the National <clears throat> Weather Service over in Jackson, Mississippi has said that they have a report of a funnel cloud in Lauderdale County, Mississippi, which is just south of Kemper County, just uh, across the state line. And we're working right now, the newsroom is working on getting uh, Mayor Walt Maddox for the city of Tuscaloosa on the phone for us to talk to him in just a couple of minutes. But we're definitely still watching some storms even over in Mississippi moving our way that could be affecting us here shortly. All right, Daniel, looks like uh, our main rotation now uh, with one of these storms is coming right into the city of Knoxville. Oh, the National Weather Service just issued a tornado warning for Green Hill and Tuscaloosa County until 4 o'clock, and that is a indicated severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado near Union or 8 miles north of Utah moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Yes, yeah, so this storm right here we're watching over uh, northern Greene County. Now this is moving right into the Knoxville area off Interstate 2059. We're going to go ahead and talk to Mayor Walt Maddox. Yeah, uh, Mayor Walt Maddox uh, with Tuscaloosa is on the phone with us. He's going to tell us some uh, uh, reports. Uh, Mayor Maddox, can you hear me? All 
All right, uh, can you hear us, Mayor Maddox? Yes, I can. All right, uh, what are you seeing out there in the city of Tuscaloosa? Right now, we have no reports of storm damage, uh, but with the latest line about to come through, I think we're uh, preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. Yeah, uh, Mayor Maddox, we talked earlier on, on uh, by email about what's happening here in the city of Tuscaloosa with the Sugar Land concert and the possibilities of severe weather. And, and unfortunately, this is kind of one of our worst case scenarios we're talking about happening out there. And uh, any idea of, of what you guys are going to do with that uh, concert for the viewers that are listening that uh, might be planning on heading out to the uh, event this evening? Well, we'll begin providing updates around 4 o'clock. Uh, once this storm wave goes through, it looks like we have one more wave to get through in the next two to three hours. Uh, we're going to do everything possible to host the show. However, our primary concern is going to be the safety of our citizens, our performers, and our employees. But if we're able to make it through the next few hours without any damage, and the storm system passes uh, between 6 or 7 o'clock, I believe we'll have an opportunity to still have the show. It may have to be delayed. Those details will be ironed out in the next uh, two hours. Uh, yeah, Mayor Maddox, we're looking at the satellite and radar across the Twin States right now. We're just kind of looking at things down the road, and, and we've still got a little ways to go according to our thoughts, what we're looking at now. Uh, this line is basically taking its time moving eastward, and, and unfortunately, you know, with all the outdoor events happening this evening, not only in Tuscaloosa but over in Talladega, it's going to take a while for this event to come on through. And, and uh, you know, hopefully we won't have any more damage across our state. We had some reports back in Sumter County of uh, destruction in one of the towns in Geiger community, and and that's one of the things we talk about a lot of times with outdoor events. We're really concerned about not only lightning, but also the chance of a tornado happening. Absolutely. And our primary concern, again, is going to be the safety of our citizens, performers, and employees. And I can assure you that we would not begin the show with any imminent threat of severe weather in the forecast. All right, Mayor Walt Maddox, thank you so much for talking to us. And if you have any reports or if you see anything, uh, please do call us back, and, and we'd love to talk to you on the phone. Richard, we appreciate what you're doing today. Thank you. Thank yes, you, sir. BUA. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, again, that was uh, Mayor Walt Maddox with the city of Tuscaloosa, and, and we're talking about the severe weather happening now, the Sugar Land concert here in town. Uh, they're going to make a decision later this afternoon, about 4 o'clock, on whether they're going to uh, continue that concert or uh, possibly uh, postpone it or, or anything like that. So uh, one thing we want to focus our concern on is this dangerous storm down around Knoxville. In fact, a very strong evidence rotation right over the city of Knoxville and that's moving up Interstate 2059 towards the north and east. So if you're watching this in downtown Moundville, uh, up to the city of Tuscaloosa on the south side, this area of rotation is going to be moving in your general direction. So we're talking possibly another tornado developing near Knoxville, and that is again moving northeast, and that's going to kind of hug the Tuscaloosa, Hill County, and Tuscaloosa and uh, Greene County line as it moves in this general fashion. So it's going to be uh, very close to Taylorville here pretty shortly. Not only that, it's uh, the threat of some large hell in here, and, and uh, Daniel, like we we're talking about earlier, uh, we're seeing what we call another bound to weak echo region. Looks like a donut hole on our radar, and that's uh, never a good sign. Anytime you see this, a large tornado can easily be produced. So if you're watching us in Knoxville, the exit off Interstate 2059, be in your safe place right now. A tornado can easily be produced, and looking at signs of the velocity and also reflectivity, there's a good chance uh, this thing's producing a large tornado just north of Akron, and that's heading towards Moundville and Taylorville. So again, if you're watching us in the city of Moundville, and Taylorville from Shelton State Community College points south. Uh, this storm right here can produce a large tornado. And right now it's over the city of Knoxville. Again, moving across the Interstate 2059 and Highway 11. So again, we're looking at the velocity uh, signature with that storm very high right now. So again, we really want to urge caution with this storm uh, happening over uh, the city of Knoxville right now. And uh, we're going to pan off towards the south and west. We have more dangerous storms out there and one over the Gainesville community. And, and that it's uh, 315, so that tornado emergency that we had for Tuscaloosa County has expired, and the National Weather Service has also canceled the tornado warnings for uh, Mar Marengo and Sumter counties. Yeah, that storm's moved out of Marengo County now. And, uh, Daniel, what we're talking about, another storm back to the southwest over the Gainesville community has a, definitely a chance of producing another tornado. Let's go over to our Tuscaloosa Tower camera, and this is what it looks like outside the city of Tuscaloosa. Heavy rain falling, a nasty looking day, and we're all under a tornado warning. Again, the tornado emergency was allowed to expire as storm spotters no longer see a large tornado on the ground or either they're just not in the area. So that's good news there. Uh, but again, we have a lot of damage across our state, especially across Sumter County, and we'll continue to iron out those details and, and pass along to you. But uh, we're live on the University of Alabama campus right next to Bryant-Denny Stadium looking southwest 
And uh, the ominous looking skies, Daniel, you know, that's one thing we've been concerned about is the possibility of tornadoes today. And that's just what's happening. We have uh, several tornadic storms moving across our viewing area. One of those is about to move over the city of Tuscaloosa. Another one's going to move just to the south of the city of Tuscaloosa. So let's go back over to Home Team Interactive Radar and iron out where all of these dangerous storms are. And Go ahead, Daniel. I was just going to say that uh, we're lucky that we haven't had any reports out of, except out of Sumter County, but uh, the National Weather Service now saying that the storm moving through central Hale County is going to be a major player through the afternoon hours. They're really watching that storm. They're thinking it's going to become the dominant storm, and they're saying that the rotation is continuing to intensify as time goes on, and that's the storm that's uh, oh, wow. through central Hale County right now. Yeah, this storm just lifted out of Demopolis here a short moment ago. We don't have any damage reports uh, out of the city of Demopolis, but it's just east of Forkland now. And if you're watching us in Greensboro, like Daniel was saying, this storm's out there by itself. It could be another storm that could produce a wedge tornado. In it. And a lot of these storms have been out there by themselves, have produced these large damaging tornadoes. So if you're watching us in downtown Greensboro, this storm has a chance uh, producing a large tornado, Daniel. And the storm that's up near Ralph now, the National Weather Service saying that intense circulation with that rotation of up to 114 knots near Ralph right now. Yeah, we still have what we call a bounded weak echo region, basically a donut hole uh, showing up on our radar. And this thing is right along the Interstate 2059. If you're driving along Interstate 2059 from downtown Tuscaloosa to Knoxville, pull over right now. Do not drive through this thing because it can produce a large tornado. And the environment we're in today, obviously very conducive for tornadic storms, including large long track tornadoes. We've had those uh, move across parts of our state as well as parts of Mississippi. And, and this storm right here is very concerning, uh, really close to the uh, Hale County, Green County, and Tuscaloosa County line. All these counties kind of merged together right here uh, along the Black Warrior River. And this thing's gonna be moving in this general fashion. And we're talking Taylorville, Shelton State Community College down to Moundville. We want you in your safe place right now because there's a chance that this thing could produce a large tornado at any time. If it's not already, National Weather Service is very concerned about this as well as we are. Uh, this thing possibly producing a large tornado. And, and WVUA's Daniel Spartman is right here with us, and we're continuing to watch uh, this dangerous situation unfold across our state. Uh, Daniel, if you have any more reports, uh, to pass along to us. Just that the, the storm that we're talking about right now that's around Ralph definitely fosters it in the path of it. Uh, Interstate 20. So if you are in the path of this storm, you need to make sure that you take cover right now. There's no tornado confirmed on the ground, but very possible that one could be uh, rotating there. Let's take off the uh, velocity scope here. Now you can see it, the donut hole right there over the Tri-County area, and it's moving to the northeast. So Little Sandy, you're still in the path of this. Fosters, you're in the path. Uh, those of Interstate 20, 59, you're in the path. Make sure that you get off of the interstate and take cover right now. If you are between Knoxville and Interstate 20, 59, you need to get under cover right now. If you need to get a mattress, helmets, whatever you need to do to make sure you are yeah, safe this is uh, This right here is concerning, Daniel. Uh, again, if you're just now joining us, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott alongside with WVUH Daniel Sparkman. Uh, we're watching a dangerous situation unfold across our state, and this right here, uh, very concerning, uh, very well defined, what we call a hook echo, a rapid rotation within a storm right here. And this is right along Interstate 2059, not too far out of the Knoxville community. This is going to be moving in this general fashion towards Little Sandy, Shelton State Community College, uh, Taylorville, down towards the south. It's going to be a close call for the city of Moundville. And National Weather Service also saying the storm rapidly rotating, uh, seeing winds of 100 knots within the storm, which means uh, very strong winds within a small amount of time or small amount of uh, space there. And that's right along the Highway 11 Interstate 2059 corridor that runs northeast in the city of Tuscaloosa. So if you're watching, it's at the Foster's exit. Get in that safe place now. Uh, here's where the uh, Black Warrior River uh, crosses up under the Interstate 2059 Highway 11. If you're familiar with that part of the state, you drive south and west of town by a few miles. Uh, that's where the river crosses up under the Interstate and Highway 11. And the tornado itself is going to be right in this general area, not too far away from the Foster's exit. So if we have any reports of damage or any reports of this thing putting down a tornado, we'll quickly let you know about it. Again, this is moving off towards the north and east about 35 to 40 miles per hour. So again, look out for Taylorville, Little Sandy, uh, down to the south. You go to Moundville, down 69. That's where we're talking about the storm crossing uh, over Highway 69, somewhere in this area right here. It looks like it's going to stay just to the south of the University of Alabama campus. 
We got another cell up here that was producing a tornado earlier. Uh, we don't have any reports of that happening now. It's kind of gotten wrapped up with this next storm uh, to the south, and that one definitely has us very concerned. And I, let's go back down to the south, another storm we've been watching, and I'm just going to kind of pan us down to the south, and that includes uh, the storm over uh, Hale County uh, that's moving into Greensboro right now. And here's that storm of concern we're talking about. Uh, looks like it's just going to be not too far away from the city of Greensboro. There's Greensboro, uh, Sawyerville community. Uh, this is where the possible tornado is in this general area. We have a tornado warning for you as well. This has just moved out of the city of Demopolis. There was no damage uh, reports out of the city of Demopolis with this particular storm, but there are other storms to concern out there, and those do include uh, places like Greensboro and Sawyerville from this particular storm right here. Again, we have numerous tornado warnings in place, so let me uh, kind of pan things out and give you a wide perspective of things happening across our part of the state. Uh, we have another tornadic storm very close to Meridian, Mississippi, and uh, we have numerous tornadic storms that are lining up across the state line. Those will be due in here later this evening and tonight. So there's numerous storms out there that have the possibility of producing uh, large tornadoes. We have on the phone with us now Kevin McKinney with the Marengo County EMA joining us to give us an update on conditions down there in Marengo County. Hey, Kevin, can you hear us? I can. Uh, what kind of reports are you guys getting down in Marengo County? Well, from the Demopolis, from the system that just moved through Demopolis, we're, we're not getting any reports from it uh, at this time. Uh, it seems to, seems to have been just north of the, the river there. But uh, we did have damage earlier this afternoon from uh, some storms that moved through about 12 o'clock in the south end of the county. Um, we've got some homes damaged uh, with wind damage, some trees down on the homes, uh, and a couple of mobile homes damaged, uh, a couple of buildings damaged, all down in the, in the uh, southwestern section of the county in the community called Manifly. Yes, sir. Uh, Kevin, uh, there's more storms heading your way. Uh, so if you have any more reports you want to pass along to us, uh, please feel free to call us back, and, and uh, we'd love to get that information out to the public. We know there was a, a nasty tornadic storm that moved over the southern and central part of the county earlier today and uh, had reports of producing a tornado down around Anaphalaya. And in Choctaw County, we even had some uh, people trapped in, in houses down in Choctaw County. But uh, you guys uh, just be on a, a lookout. There's more storms heading your way. That's right. That's what it looks like. It's going to be a long evening. Yeah, it looks like a long evening for all of us. Well, Kevin, thank you so much for uh, talking to us this evening. Again, that's Kevin McKinley uh, from the Marengo County EMA. Uh, Kevin McKinley, rather, from Marengo County EMA, talking about damage reports down in that part of the state. Uh, we have numerous storms out there producing possible tornadoes, uh, especially down towards Meridian, Mississippi. Uh, there's a dangerous storm lifting out of Meridian, Mississippi, and that's heading right up the interstate towards Livingston and York. We have another dangerous storm. That's over Hale County. And let me kind of point out these things. Here's one dangerous storm we're watching. Here's another storm we're watching. One right here, one right here. And you notice these storms back to the west, numerous storms lining up, producing tornado warnings that are due in here later this afternoon. So we have a lot of activity to go before this mess is on out of here. So it's, it's going to be a long afternoon, long evening for us uh, here at the WBWA TV uh, station right now. Again, I'm meteorologist Richard Scott. If you're just now joining us, we're in the middle of long-form severe weather coverage with numerous tornado warnings across our state, damage across our state in several counties, uh, several tornadoes being large produced across our state, especially across the Alabama state line, uh, Mississippi state line as well. And we have more tornadic storms to go, so it's going to be a long afternoon before all this activity is over with. We continue to update our weather blog page at WVUATV.com. We continue to get numerous updates across the situation happening across central and west Alabama. Again, we have numerous uh, tornado warnings in place. Let's go over to our Tuscaloosa Tower camera and look outside. This is uh, live on the University of Alabama campus, and we're going to kind of pan the skies here. Now, I doubt we uh, see anything in terms of a tornado because there's simply a lot of rain between us and the rotation itself, but we're going to kind of keep a close eye on things off towards the south from our tower camera and southeast. We're just going to watch things close as uh, several dangerous storms work across our state. Again, we have numerous tornado warnings right now. One of those do include the University of Alabama campus, downtown Tuscaloosa and Northport. Uh, so let's go back over to home team interactive radar and I want to show you the velocity again, what we've been talking about in terms of rotation within the storms and it's a lot easier to tell exactly where the possible tornadoes would be. And uh, one of the most concerning storms is the one about to move into the city of Greensboro, where we have very well-defined evidence of rotation. 
within this storm right here that moved out to Demopolis. We didn't have any damage uh, in Demopolis with this storm, but the storm clearly rotating, moving towards Greensboro. Another rotating storm over the southwestern part of Tuscaloosa County. Uh, that's moving towards Taylorville. Shelton State Community College is, should stay just to the north of uh, Moundville. And another rotating storm back here in Greene County, the northern and central part of Greene County is going to be moving this general fashion towards Utah and Union uh, off towards the north and east. Eventually that will also move into parts of Tuscaloosa County. So that's our velocity. Let's go back over to uh, Home Team Interactive Radar. And uh, I want to do an X vision of this storm down here over uh, Hell County. We just want to kind of see how tall it is. Give us a good indication of uh, what we're looking at in terms of uh, large hail, damaging winds, that type of thing. And, and this storm, very tall. And there's probably going to be some large hail following this thing. And, and this first line is 20,000 feet, uh, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. So we're looking at a storm over Hale County, about 50,000 foot in the atmosphere. So it's probably some large hailstones being grown in there. We're talking uh, golf ball sized hail possible in the city of Greensboro as that storm also moves on off towards the north and east about 35 uh, to 40 miles per hour. Kind of a wide perspective of things for you. We're all under a tornado watch until 9 o'clock tonight, the entire WVUA TV coverage area. Uh, we have numerous tornadic storms. In fact, uh, we have an update. Uh, WVUA's Daniel Spartman is here in the Weather Center. Yeah, the National Weather Service has just issued a new tornado warning for Green, Hale, and Tuscaloosa County until 415. Indicate a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. They say this dangerous storm located near West Green, 8 miles west of Utah, and moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. So this is Green Hill and Tuscaloosa County tornado warning until 415 this evening. All right, let's throw on a radar loop. I know this get kind of confusing. We have so many tornado warnings out there right now. And this right here isn't a good sign. If you look back towards the west, we have numerous uh, now uh, supercell storms lining up kind of in a line, but a broken line of supercells. All of these are producing tornado warnings back in Mississippi. Now, ahead of that line, we have these, this line of storms producing tornado warnings that stretch back into Hattiesburg and Laurel area down towards Meridian, Mississippi. We also have this batch of supercell storms that are uh, prompting tornado warnings, but those are moving towards the eastern part of the state. So we have three batches of tornado producing storms. And if you look closely, let me bring out a wider perspective of this thing, and we can kind of see the southeastern U.S. in terms of uh, what's happening out there. Uh, the cold front itself right here. If you watch along with me, you see this line of storms that starts developing. It's possible that this could develop into another squall line and work across the state later tonight. So we've got a long way to go uh, before this severe weather threat is uh, no doubt over with. So we'll probably be on air for uh, several more hours in terms of uh, tornadic storms and, and tornado warnings out there. Uh, let's go into the Tuscaloosa County storm because obviously this is a very heavy population center and um, we're looking at a, a dangerous storm moving into downtown Tuscaloosa and also the southern part of town, which includes the Taylorville area. And this is our hook echo. This is where the tornado is going to be if there is one here. Unfortunately, it's rain wrapped, so chances are you're not going to be able to see this thing as it moves into the city of Tuscaloosa. So we're talking a possibility of a tornado right here on the interstate where uh, the Black Warrior River crosses up under Interstate 2059. That's going to be moving in this general fashion right here. Uh, following the interstate basically into the city of Tuscaloosa. It should stay just to the south of the University of Alabama campus, but just to be on the safe side, stay in your safe place. If you're watching us on the University of Alabama campus, probably going to get some large hail within a few minutes. In fact, uh, let's look outside from our WDUA Tuscaloosa Tower camera and heavy rain, no doubt about it, falling outside and we'll likely get some uh, hailstones out of this here pretty shortly. And we're going to kind of keep an eye on that. In fact, uh, we'll kind of zoom into some things and see uh, if we have any hailstones. We can pick up anything from our tower camera. I know it's a long vantage point, but uh, no doubt about it. Very heavy rain right now falling. Chances are here pretty soon we're going to have some uh, small hail, if not large hail, falling over the city of Tuscaloosa. And also the chance of a tornado being produced to the south of town. Right now we're not able to see if there's a tornado here or not due to the fact there's so much rain between us and where the tornado would be itself. And in fact, we're looking kind of towards the south from our tower camera and a lot of lightning out there. If you're outdoors, keep that in mind. There's an incredible amount of lightning. So don't take a chance with that. Let's go back over to our velocity. I want to check out our storm relative velocity in terms of uh, what, where the rotation is exactly in respect to the city of Tuscaloosa. And, and let me uh, put on Columbus, Mississippi and see if we can get a better vantage point. Yeah, very strong evidence of rotation back here to the southwest of the city of Tuscaloosa. There's a good chance 
this is producing a tornado, and if it is, we'll know about it very shortly because of the fact that it's going to be moving into a heavy population center, which includes Taylorville and Shelton State Community College. We've got another update uh, from Sumter County EMA through the National Weather Service talking about uh, just a storm report at 245 this afternoon that came in saying that multiple homes were damaged. Several were actually demolished on Payne Street, Old Baxter Road, Kirkland Avenue, and Martin Luther King Circle all have damage in those areas of the town of Geiger in Sumter County. Yeah, no doubt about it. Geiger was very hard hit in Sumter County with numerous homes destroyed and uh, numerous homes damaged. And, and let me draw this on the map with you. And if this looks familiar, uh, December 16, 2000, a Tuscaloosa oh, Richard, tornado. Sorry to interrupt, but the National Weather Service just issued a tornado warning for Sumter County until 4.30 this evening. All right, so we got a brand new tornado warning for Sumter County until 4.30. Uh, there's a, one quick thing, there's a possible tornado developing moving close to the city of Tuscaloosa, and I drew on the map where a hook echo is, and you can clearly see where it looks like a fish hook in the higher reflectivity. In fact, let me uh, trim back the reflectivity, and this will be a lot easier to see because there's a lot of rain out there um, within the storm, so I can kind of hook back. This is, this is what we're talking about in terms of where the tornado is going to be uh, right here. And it's going to be moving in this general fashion towards the city of Tuscaloosa very shortly. So there's a good chance that this thing could be producing a tornado right now, moving towards Taylorville, Shelton State Community College, up to the north towards Interstate 2059. So if you're watching us down here in Taylorville, our Tuscaloosa, we want you to get in that safe place now. This tornado should stay just to the north of Moundville. I get in the lowest floor of your home, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible because there's uh, definitely a chance this thing could put out a tornado at any time. And this is the one that's lifting northeast out of Greene County, uh, pretty much riding the interstate into the city of Tuscaloosa. So again, there's our fish hook on Home Team Interactive Radar. That's where your tornado is going to be right there. Very strong evidence this thing is putting out a tornado about to cross Highway 69 and then Highway 82 and then Interstate 2059 into Cottondale. So if you're watching in Cottondale or the city of Tuscaloosa or Taylorville, go ahead and get in that safe place. There's a chance this thing's producing a tornado right now. WVUA's Daniel Spartan is with me right now. We're continuing to watch a dangerous situation across our state. Uh, Daniel, have you more reports for us? Well, uh, the National Weather Service has canceled a, one of the Green and Hale County tornado warnings, but they're also continuing the one for the city of Tuscaloosa until 4 o'clock. Uh, that one is indicating a storm capable of producing a tornado. This dangerous storm located seven miles north of Moundville or 10 miles south of Northport moving northeast at 40 miles per hour and we're now having reports of large hail uh, marble size in Tuscaloosa. All right let's go over to our Tuscaloosa tower camera maybe we can see some of that uh, right now. Large hail falling in the city of Tuscaloosa and on the University of Alabama campus and uh, we're going to kind of keep an eye on things uh, here over the city no doubt about it. It sounds like it's hailing outside. Uh, you can clearly, we can hear, I don't know if you can hear it at home, uh, but let's kind of zoom into uh, something, see if we can see any hail falling over the city of Tuscaloosa. Yeah, I see some tiny hailstones. And if you're just now joining us, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott alongside with WVUA's Daniel Spartman. We're looking at small hail falling in the city of Tuscaloosa right now. Uh, every now and then you kind of see some pebbles pop up there. And again, we're looking uh, live from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera uh, right here on the University of Alabama campus. And if you have a truck outside or a car outside, this isn't good news for you. Now, not only is there a chance of this producing large hail, also we're talking about the chance of a, a tornado coming into the city of Tuscaloosa, but I wanted to quickly uh, show you what it looks like over the city of Tuscaloosa. Obviously, very heavy rain uh, falling right now. Hey, if you're listening to us on the radio, you can hear our forecast or you can hear our uh, live severe weather coverage on 105.1 WTBC and also 1021 FM of uh, the True Oldies channel. You can listen to us, our severe weather coverage right now on WVUA TV as we continue to watch a, a dangerous situation across our state. And it's starting to hail outside here in the city of Tuscaloosa. We're noticing hailstones uh, about the size of uh, pea size. Uh, here in the city of Tuscaloosa. We're trying to look at that from our Tuscaloosa tower camera. And fortunately, Peace-Size Hill isn't large enough to do uh, uh, much in the way of damage to your car. But also, we got the threat for tornadoes out there. And again, it's heavy rain falling outside. And if you're driving, we want you to pull over now. Uh, ponding on the road is going to be another big issue out there. And uh, large hail, that's another big threat. Uh, so let's go over to our radar loop and show you what's happening across our state right now. 
And again, we have uh, several storms that are moving in from East Mississippi. So we have numerous tornado warnings across our viewing area right now. And all of these storms have the potential to put down tornadoes. Uh, in fact, let's go back over to Home Team Interactive Radar. We've got that pulled up and show you where we're talking about. Two dangerous storms, one of them moving right into the city of Tuscaloosa. Here's our hook echo. Uh, here's where our tornado is going to be. Moving into the southern side of Tuscaloosa. If you remember back in December 16, 2000, we got hit hard by a tornado in this part of Tuscaloosa County. And now the storm's getting wrapped up even more. And it looks like it's going to be moving in the direction of Lowe's, uh, the Cobb Theater, and that part of town. That's where it looks like this possible tornado is going to be going if there is a tornado here. Now, we're not sure uh, there is a tornado in this part of the state. Uh, we haven't had any reports of that uh, lately, which is great news. Hopefully, we'll continue, and, and hopefully, uh, we will not get any reports of uh, tornadoes on the ground anymore. Uh, we just can't promise you that because this is a changeable situation uh, happening here in town. It's hailing outside of the city of Tuscaloosa. We have about P to dime size hail. Uh, some parts of Tuscaloosa are seeing even larger than that. Oh, uh, Richard, the volunteer fire department out in the county is reporting a tornado on the ground near Shelton State Community College right now. All right, we have a tornado on the ground right now near Shelton State Community College. Get in your safe place. This is obviously a whole nother level. Tornado on the ground near Shelton State Community College right now. If you live anywhere around Shelton, get in your safe place. I'm talking the lowest floor of your home. Put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. This is an emergency situation for the south side of Tuscaloosa. There's a tornado reported by the fire department. There's a tornado on the ground right now. Daniel, if you'll pass that uh, report to the National Weather Service uh, as well. Uh, again, tornado on the ground on the south side of Tuscaloosa. Uh, let me pan us right into the city and show you exactly where we're talking about. Uh, Shelton State Community College about right here. Uh, the tornado itself is probably close to Lowe's, and it's going to be moving along Interstate 2059 shortly into the city of Cottondale. Uh, if you're just now joining us, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott alongside with WDUA's Daniel Sparkman. This is an emergency situation for the city of Tuscaloosa. There's a tornado on the ground reported uh, by a fire department official uh, down here at Shelton State Community College. We're not sure about damage, but are sure about the size of the tornado, but there is one reported on the ground in this part of the state, in this part of Tuscaloosa County. Here's Interstate 2059 right here, uh, 359. Here's the city of Tuscaloosa. Uh, this is going to stay south of the University of Alabama campus. It's going to be moving in the general direction of Cottondale. Uh, we don't have report of damage or how large this tornado is, but we want you to take the storm extremely seriously. Again, tornado on the ground near Shelton State Community College. It's likely just to the north and east of the city of Tuscaloosa. Now uh, moving in the general direction of Cottondale. Uh, what we want you to do is get in the lowest floor of your home, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Get a mattress, a pillow, something to protect yourself from debris. Uh, also get a helmet if you have a bicycle helmet, motorcycle helmet. Get that. I'll tell you when it's an all clear in Tuscaloosa, but that's not the case right now. We have more storms back to the south and west. Again, a tornado warning, a uh, very dangerous situation for the city of Tuscaloosa. Uh, obviously, this is a whole nother level here because we just had a report of a tornado near Shelton State Community College uh, reported on the ground, uh, which is a very dangerous situation for us in Tuscaloosa. Uh, Daniel, do you have any more reports? Well, we've got a new tornado warning for Bibb, Hale, Perry, and Tuscaloosa County lasting until 445. Uh, indicates a thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. The dangerous storm located six miles north of Greensboro and moving northeast at four, 45 miles per hour. That's a new tornado warning for Bibb, Hale, Perry, and Tuscaloosa County lasting until 445. Yeah, there's our tornado right there. Uh, Home Team Interactive Radar, we've got a very tight couplet. This is likely a small tornado, not likely a large tornado, but still, either way you put it, a tornado is a tornado can do significant damage. Uh, it, this is where the tornado uh, was reported near Shelton State Community College. It's crossed Highway 69. It's crossing Highway 82. It will eventually cross over into Cottondale. And here's our velocity couplet right here on Home Team Interactive Radar. This is where our tornado is, and it should be in this general fashion right here, moving that away, uh, northeast at about 35 miles per hour. That's going to cross Interstate uh, 2059 here pretty shortly uh, in Tuscaloosa. Again, tornado warning in place for the city of Tuscaloosa. Tornado reported on the ground near Shelton State Community College. Uh, mm -hmm. WVUA's Daniel Spartman is with me right now. Daniel, if you want to go through some reports, yeah, I'm getting a, another report of tornado near Woodland Forest, and I'm trying to look up exactly where Woodland Forest is located in relation to Shelton. Uh, but 
let's get over to the National Weather Service. They are continuing getting reports now from more from Geiger. Uh, County Road 32 in Geiger is extremely torn up, according to uh, witnesses. They have, uh, look, you could see the damage all around, reports of multiple trees and power lines down. Also, mobile homes overturned, trees on houses in Marengo County. So we're getting some more damage, now getting damage reports from Marengo County. And um, earlier we were getting some damage reports out of Nanafalaya. And I'm not sure there's no exact location on this, just Marengo County. All right, uh, this is uh, obviously a life-threatening situation for the city of Tuscaloosa and uh, surrounding areas. We're talking a tornado on the ground that has moved from Shelton State to Woodland Forest area and is cutting across the south end of Tuscaloosa, exactly where uh, the Tuscaloosa tornado happened December 16th of 2000. Uh, we're not sure the size of the tornado uh, yet, but there is reports there's still a tornado on the ground. It's going to be south of the University of Alabama campus. It's going to be over the southern part of Tuscaloosa, moving into Cottondale very shortly, and eventually it's going to cross over into Brookwood area uh, over the next uh, 30 minutes or so. So we're talking a tornado on the ground moving across the south side of Tuscaloosa now. Uh, damage reports we're not sure yet, but uh, we do know there's a tornado on the ground. Multiple reports of that uh, now happening across the city of Tuscaloosa. We're going to get a, a new update from our Home Team Interactive Radar very shortly about what's going on here in the city of Tuscaloosa. And again, a tornado on the ground has been reported across the city of Tuscaloosa on the south side of town. There's been several reports of that uh, from uh, the Taylorville area from Shelton State Community College. In fact, let's take our WVA tower camera right now. Incredible uh, shot, very, very heavy rain. In fact, we can't see anything. Now, the National Weather Service just updating the tornado warning for Sumter County. They're saying that the, they haven't confirmed a tornado, but there's a lot of wind and hail damage reported just over the state line in Mississippi. They're urging viewers to take cover right now. This dangerous storm is located six miles southwest of Cuba and moving east at 40 miles per hour. And that is for the Sumter County tornado warning that lasts until 430. Lots of damage with that storm. All right, uh, Daniel, that's uh, damage right now with that storm, or they're talking about damage from the storm earlier? They're talking about damage uh, just into the National Weather Service. Okay, so brand new uh, damage. We have multiple tornadoes across our state now, uh, one over the southern part of Tuscaloosa, and, and right now we're going to focus on the one uh, that's over the south side of Tuscaloosa moving into Cottondale uh, right now. And this tornado is going to be moving in a very heavily populated part of Tuscaloosa. Uh, we're talking the tornado somewhere in this general area uh, crossing McFarland Boulevard, moving into Cottondale right now. Again, we, we're not sure about the size of the tornado or what type of damage we're talking about here, but a tornado has been reported in multiple places, uh, one down around Shelton State Community College and then the Woodland Forest area, and that's moving into Cottondale as we speak. So we're talking a tornado uh, on the ground on the south side of Tuscaloosa, moving in the eastern part of the town uh, right now. And uh, downtown Tuscaloosa, University of Alabama campus, going to have some very heavy rain and uh, some strong winds, no doubt about it, outside. In fact, we can hear a roar outside from our, our tower camera and outside uh, we, our studio. We have a new tornado warning for Jefferson and Tuscaloosa County until 445. Uh, the National Weather Service is tracking. They've issued a new tornado warning, but it says they're tracking a confirmed tornado near McFarland Mall or near Tuscaloosa proper, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Again, a tornado warning for Jefferson and Tuscaloosa County. They're tracking a confirmed tornado on the ground near McFarland Mall, moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. That's where my house is. Uh, we're talking McFarland Mall uh, down here on uh, uh, McFarland Boulevard, just off McFarland Boulevard. This thing is crossing through the city of Tuscaloosa, tornado on the ground right now, moving through town, and it's moving towards Cottondale and eventually towards the Peterson community in Brookwood, uh, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. So again, we have a tornado on the ground uh, right now. Uh, in parts of Tuscaloosa, very heavy rain and strong winds from the University of Alabama campus. The tornado itself is just to the south and now east of town, moving towards Cottondale, Peterson. So we're talking an emergency situation from downtown Tuscaloosa. There is a tornado on the ground that has moved through town, uh, through the south side of town. We've been talking about this dangerous setup for severe weather for several days now, and apparently that has been the case. So if you're watching us in Tuscaloosa or Cottondale, Get in that safe place right now. We're talking the lowest floor of your home. Uh, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. And if you have a basement, get in that. If you're in a mobile home, get out now. If you're in a car, get out now and find a safe place. If there's no other safe place, uh, do what you can. Lie in a ditch or, or anything to protect yourself from debris. Uh, we also have another tornado producing storm down over Sumter County. Uh, that has moved moving northeast at about 45 
miles per hour as well. So two tornado producing storms, that one's over Greene County now. Uh, WVUA's Daniel Spartman is with us right now and we're keeping a very close eye on what's happening here in the city of Tuscaloosa, obviously. Uh, They're reporting heavy rotation near Highway 69, which uh, would be typical with that tornado on the yeah. ground there. Uh, but I'm trying to look, uh, no more updates from any other counties right now, no more damage reports, which is really good, but they are worried about the fact that there could be rain wrap tornadoes out there. So we definitely need to be taking, if you are in the path inside of a polygon for a tornado warning, you need to be taking a, your safe place right now yeah. because you never know, you couldn't possibly not be able to see the tornado that might be out there. Yeah, a lot of times these things rain wrap, there's a lot of moisture in the air right now. Uh, we just want to urge you, if you're in the city of Tuscaloosa, Peterson, uh, Grimes Community, Cottondale, we want you in that safe place. Now, that safe place includes the lowest floor of your home. Away from windows, if you're driving a car, get out of that immediately. Find a site-built structure or basement. If you're in a mobile home, get out of that as well. So we're talking the tornado itself moving in the direction of Holt and Peterson. Here's where a tornado is right here. It is now moving into Alberta City. It's east of McFarland Boulevard. If you're watching us in Alberta City, Holt, Peterson, get in your safe place right now. Uh, again, this is an emergency situation for the city of Tuscaloosa with a tornado on the ground that has moved through the city, through the south side of town. We're not sure on amount of damage yet. We're not sure on uh, any in injuries or, or anything like that, but we know a tornado has crossed through the city of Tuscaloosa and continues moving northeast in the general direction of Holt and now Peterson, and there's Grimes. Here's Interstate 2059. If you're driving along Interstate 2059, uh, pull over now, find a place of safety. If you can't find one, lie in a ditch. Just do what it takes uh, to protect yourself from debris uh, in this dangerous situation across our state. Just want to update everybody that the uh, University of Alabama has uh, suspended classes longer, as, like I said earlier, as long as this tornado warning for Tuscaloosa is extended. So 445 right now, classes are suspended until at least 445, depending on the weather, of course. And uh, the National Weather Service is continuing their tornado warning for Bibb, Hale, Perry, and Tuscaloosa County. Emergency management reporting a tornado with this. The tornado located eight miles southwest of Mertz or 12 miles northeast of Greensboro. That, this is Bibb, Hale, Perry, and Tuscaloosa County. They just issued this a little while ago. All They're right. now confirming a tornado on the ground located about 12 miles northeast of Greensboro and wow. move, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. All right, so we have another storm with a tornado on the ground right now near Hogglesville. Get in your safe place right now. If you're in the path of any of these severe storms, uh, we want you in your safe place and, and uh, lowest floor of your home. Uh, Phillips Community, our Phillips Community, uh, we're talking large hell possible for you. This is Hale County and go down Highway 69 to Greensboro. Uh, there's a tornado on the ground with this storm right here, possibly a large tornado. Going to be moving into Bibb County and Northern Perry County shortly. This one's moving northeast as well, about 45 miles per hour. Uh, there's Northern Perry County again. Uh, here's your tornado right here, uh, possibly a large tornado over Hogglesville community right now, just north of the city of Greensboro. Uh, let me pan this thing out and we'll show you several different storms happening across our viewing area. We have several storms producing tornadoes right now. One over the city of Tuscaloosa, one possibly over Sumter County. Uh, Daniel, did you say the storm over Sumter County was producing a tornado? The storm over Sumter County, let me look for the, okay, um, no. There has been wind damage and hail damage reported over just over the state line in Mississippi, but no confirmation of a tornado with that storm. All right, so this storm uh, has not produced a tornado just yet, so let's focus on the storms that are producing tornadoes. Uh, right now we have a tornado on the ground in northern Hale County, okay. moving into Bibb County as well. Uh, and that could get northern Perry County. Dave. We have some uh, damage reports from South Tuscaloosa, South City of Tuscaloosa. One mile south of Skyline Boulevard off Highway 69, we have a report of damage at the speedy oil change yep. and power lines down along the highway there. All right, so we've had a tornado come through town on the south side of town. We're not sure of the size of the tornado itself. Uh, I can tell you right here, this is where the tornado is. Very obvious. There's our, uh, our hook echo. There's our area we're talking about, the tornado just south of Holt. It's in Alberta City right now, and it will continue moving off towards the east into eastern Tuscaloosa County. Uh, once it passes the city of Tuscaloosa, population density really drops off, so that's one good thing. But still, uh, over the city of Tuscaloosa, we're talking a dangerous tornado uh, moving over on the east side of town right now. It started around Shelton State Community College, crossed 69, 
uh, crossed Interstate 2059 and moved uh, near McFarland, McFarland Mall. Is that right, Daniel? Yes, and we got some more damage reports coming in. Amateur radio uh, says that Fairmount Woods area of Tuscaloosa, they've got reported major damage to one house at that location, trees down, and some major structural damage along with that storm. All right, so this is a very serious situation now. We're talking a dangerous tornado that has moved across the city of Tuscaloosa. It's now moving east of town, still in a heavy population center right now. It's moving out towards Alberta City. That's where your tornado is right there, and very obvious where that tornado is uh, right now on Home Team Interactive Radar. So the tornado has moved across the city of Tuscaloosa, the south side of town. If you're still in Tuscaloosa, if you're watching us in Tuscaloosa, we still want you to stay in that safe place. There's more storms to the southwest that could impact us here in the city. Uh, if you're watching some Brookwood, this thing's heading your way. Uh, Lake Nickel, uh, southern part of Lake Tuscaloosa. Uh, we're talking about you right now. Get in your safe place. That means the lowest floor of your home. Uh, get in a room that has no windows. Interior room. Uh, get in a bathtub. Put a, a baseball, soft, uh, baseball helmet, uh, motorcycle helmet, anything you got. Put on your head and uh, take the mattress off of the bed. Take that off the bed. Drag it over you and that'll protect you at least uh, halfway from debris and uh, damage out there. So don't go outside and try to look for this thing. Chances are it's wrapped up in rain. We have major damage in parts of the city of Tuscaloosa. That includes uh, the south side of town and the east side of town. Uh, this tornado moved northeast through the south side of Tuscaloosa, very close to where uh, the t tornado hit back in December 16th of 2000. Yeah, it was the Fairmount Woods neighborhood, also just a mile south of Skyland on Highway 69. The speedy oil change was damaged. Also, power lines down in that area of uh, town. We've also just gotten reports that there is damage in the Inverness neighborhood south of town. Shingles blown off of roofs, uh, some damage to some houses there. We've got major structural damage, according to reports that we're getting into the newsroom, in the Fairmount Woods area of Tuscaloosa, uh, a house has major damage to it. Also lots of trees down and power lines down, mainly in the south of town. And that's exactly where we saw this reported tornado go through town. They reported it near Shelton State and the, there's a trail of damage leading through back to where we are now, just south of Tuscaloosa. <clears throat> also, Hale County, we're getting reports from Greensboro that the public is reporting a tornado on the ground that crossed Highway 25 about five minutes ago in Greensboro. So we're watching that storm as well. Greensboro, a uh, public report of a tornado crossing Highway 25 near Greensboro. Uh, Daniel, was that in the city of Greensboro? Was that on the north side of town? This uh, nine miles north of Greensboro. All right, so there's another tornado on the ground about to move into Bibb County near the Mertz community in Pondville. Uh, let's go over to our velocity and check that out. We can better tell you where this tornado is in respect to um, our viewing area. And we're talking again, northeastern corner of Hale County, a tornado on the ground there. Uh, not sure about the size of the tornado. It could be a large one. Uh, the environment we're in today is definitely conducive to large tornadoes. And we definitely see some velocity rotation uh, within the storm. Again, right here, here's Perry County. Here's Hale County. There's Bibb County. We're talking the tornado right now. Uh, on that storm as well. So to the south, uh, more storms developing, but these are not tornadic storms to the west of Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa County, pretty much the entire county dry right now, but just to the west over Pickens County uh, down to the south, we do have storms out there beginning. These are not at this point uh, tornadic. Now what we do have is several tornadic storms across uh, the rest of our viewing area. That includes this storm right here over Bibb County, extreme western Bibb County, a possible tornado here. Going to be moving very close to Centerville. And we have another tornadic storm down over Marengo County. Uh, Daniel, we have any more reports out of Marengo County? We haven't gotten any reports out of Marengo County, but back to that Bibb County storm, the National Weather Service is uh, watching that one near Mertz very closely. Uh, we just got an update from the National Weather Service about the Marengo County tornado. They're just saying that, or the possible tornado, uh, severe thunderstorm capable of producing two separate tornadoes in the area. These dangerous storms located along a line extending from Pinhook to Linden and moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. So it's a possibility of two rotations in the Hale, Marengo, Perry, and Sumter County areas. Yeah, that's very close to the city of Linden. So if you're still watching us in Linden, uh, we want you to stay in that safe place right now because there's two distinct areas of rotation, one very close to the city, the next one just off to the west of the city of uh, Linden. And again, this is where the second rotation is developing right here where the uh, Myrtlewood City Landing is, just north of the city of Myrtlewood. And the next one is uh, has just passed Linden and it's moving towards Dayton and Hugo. This is the second circulation center right here. And it looks like this uh, new one on the back side 
uh, may become the dominant circulation center. Uh, so if you're watching us in Jefferson, uh, down to Linden, uh, Jefferson Station as well, uh, be in that safe place from Linden again to Jefferson. Stay in your safe place just for a while until we get this activity uh, squared away or until this activity moves on out of our viewing area. We just got another update on a closing or cancellation. The Theater Tuscaloosa is canceling their production of Sylvia that was scheduled for tonight. And they will, uh, of course, have those shows, other shows scheduled as uh, planned. But uh, looking back now, that tornado warning for Hale, Marengo, Perry, and Sumter County, that tornado warning goes until 630 tonight. 5.36 p.m., the National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated the line of severe thunderstorms capable of producing those two separate tornadoes. We were just talking about that, Richard, uh, was showing you how the, it looks like the further one back near Jefferson is actually going to be the more dominant storm and it's going to turn out to be the more dominant. Let's take a look at the uh, radar and see if we can, or take a look at velocity and see what we can find in the way of that. Um, <clears throat> let's just pull it up here. See what we can find in the way of velocity on the uh, from the National Weather Service radar up in Brandon, Mississippi. Near, let's see here. Okay, this storm moving to the uh, east now at about 55 miles per hour, according to the National Weather Service. Uh, they've also just issued a tornado warning for Shelby, St. Clair, and Talladega County. So those folks over near Talladega Speedway need to go ahead and take shelter because there's a possibility of a tornado headed that direction as well. And that's just an extension of the storm that moved through Bibb and then Shelby and Jefferson counties just a little while ago. But uh, back to the Hale, Marengo, Perry and Sumter County tornadoes. Let's get a look at what the National Weather Service is actually saying about that. Uh, they're remaining, keeping it into effect. They've indicated a severe line of thunderstorms capable of producing those two tornadoes. Impact locations, Demopolis, Uniontown, Greensboro, Jefferson, Penhook, also Dayton, Chickasaw State Park, Arcola, Fonsdale, and the Greensboro Municipal Airport. All of you need to go ahead and get in your safe place right now. <clears throat> now looking uh, back at that velocity, we can see near Jefferson, it looks like there's some indication of some rotation. So this is where it is. We're going to watch this storm move over to the east around 55 miles per hour. So let's zoom out a little bit and see if we can get a better look at uh, some of the locations that are in the path of the storm, including Providence. You're going to be impacted by this storm here. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Siddonsville, Fonsdale, Laneville, and Uniontown all in the path of this storm. And uh, Uniontown at 616 this afternoon or this evening, you could be impacted. But don't worry about the time so much. Go ahead and get in your safe place now before the storm gets to you and before any damage can come to you. Uh, we also just gotten some updates from uh, places around Tuscaloosa. The Tuscaloosa Children's Theater production of Cinderella is going to go on as scheduled tonight. And uh, Theater Tuscaloosa, as I said just a few minutes ago, has canceled their production of Sylvia that was scheduled for this evening. So many places uh, just taking it safe. Uh, and canceling their productions or canceling the events tonight. But tomorrow, we're looking at much better weather tomorrow for A-Day and uh, all the other events that are going on around Tuscaloosa. Now you can see on the radar, uh, looking at the velocity, a lot of rotation over there on the west side of that storm near Jefferson, moving north of Linden here in the next few minutes uh, between Spring Hill or Old Spring Hill and Linden. Uh, checking the National Weather Service for any updates. They haven't updated it. So we're not seeing any, um, as of right now, not getting any reports of damage, which we're really glad out of this storm. No reports of damage right now, but uh, we might need to wait a little while with these storms. The damage reports have been kind of slow coming in, especially with these long track tornadoes, but there's no report of any tornado on the ground with this storm, just the possibility with two areas of rotation with this storm running through uh, Hale, Marengo, Perry, and Sumter County. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Daniel, I uh, just talked to my parents down in Marengo County, and, and they're watching. They're in the city of Linden. They're watching this storm very close, uh, looking off towards the north and west, and they said they could see a really low-hanging shelf-looking cloud or shelf cloud. Uh, we often see with these type of storms, but I uh, said real low, ominous-looking sky and a lot of lightning out there. They don't have power in the city of Linden. A lot of folks are out of power in Linden right now uh, because of the storm that just passed by. But uh, uh, 
right now. She said she couldn't see a tornado, but there's a tree line. It's hard to tell. Uh, I wouldn't take any chances. There could be a tornado being developed at any time uh, just northwest of the city of Linden. Now, this could be a close call to Jefferson and the Chickasaw Bogue. Uh, Linden It's going to be mo mo moving across uh, Highway 43 here pretty shortly, and it's moving across Highway 28 right now. Yep, there's a tornado. It's going to be developing right here just on the northwest side of Linden. And again, moving northeast at a pretty good clip. We're talking northeast about 45 miles per hour. So again, a second tornado uh, could be developing right now along Highway 28 just on the north side of Linden, not too far away from the city of Linden. Uh, we're talking right in this general area. Here's Linden right here. This is where we're talking about it. And here's Old Spring Hill Road, uh, Highway 69 right here. The junction of Highway 69 and, and uh, um, Highway 43 is where this thing's going to be crossing over in northern Marengo County. So we're talking again, a possible tornado developing very close to the city of Linden, not too far away. Going to be moving in the general northeast direction at about 45 miles per hour. So if you're watching us still in the city of Linden and points north, we want you in a safe place, the lowest floor of your home. Uh, get in an interior room that does not have windows. Uh, get a helmet, some type of helmet or mattress or something to cover yourself from debris because there is a chance this thing could be putting out a tornado at any time. So again, tornado warning, north central Marengo County right now. So let's zoom things back out quickly and we'll show you other storms uh, happening out there across our viewing area. Uh, and I believe yeah, the tornado warning for Lamar County has dissipated. Well, it looks like they still have that tornado warning. Uh, Daniel, do they still have that tornado warning for Lamar? If uh, they haven't canceled it, so it may have expired. I'm going back. Uh, it was to, due to expire at 6 o'clock, so they haven't said that they're going to expire it early, but they must have if it's... Uh... Well, I see the polygon there, uh, so they still have that tornado warning for Lamar County uh, right now. And again, we're talking... Uh, the very southern tip of Lamar County, this possible tornado right here. Uh, another storm developing down here around Aliceville, and our computer, our home team interactive radar has picked up a TVS on this thing. Uh, this thing could begin rotating and moving towards the city of Tuscaloosa, but no official warning for you in uh, Pickens or Tuscaloosa County. And we have one more dangerous storm to talk about right now, and that's over northern Bibb County. So we're talking northern Bibb County, just north of the city of Centerville. We're talking a tornado warning right there. And uh, looks like, uh, well, this must be the old tornado warning polygon because there's nothing back to the southwest of Centerville right now. They've just canceled the tornado warning for Bibb Hill in Perry County, just as we were, you were just yeah, saying Yeah, okay. That. So, yeah, so that storm's moving out and weakening. Uh, good news there, but there's still a tornado warning uh, back towards the south and west, and that does include this storm down over Marengo County, which still means business, and this one could be uh, one producing a tornado at just about any time near the city of Linden. Again, we're talking just on the north side of town, uh, not on the south side of town. This, the tornado itself, if there is one here, is about to uh, possibly touch down uh, close to Jefferson or Jefferson Station and then move northeast as we go across Highway 43 and Highway 69. Let's look at the velocity on that storm again, our storm relative velocity and uh, we can tell you exactly where uh, the most dangerous part of the storm is in terms of rotation and we can see uh, where the tornado is going to be located itself. And again, we're talking about uh, our right real close to the city of Linden, uh, just on the north side of Linden, so not very far away. Again, if you're watching us in Linden and points north, the tornado itself is not far away from you if there is one here. And again, we don't have word that there's a tornado on the ground with this particular storm, uh, but this one could easily produce a tornado. So let's, uh, let's go back to a satellite and radar loop. I'm really interested to see what's happening west of us in terms of the other storms that have been developing. And, uh, you know, Daniel, it looks like the severe weather, the main severe weather activity, looks like it's starting to push south and east of us. And that's good. But we still got a long ways to go before this activity is all gone. Um, so yeah, it looks like the severe weather activity is trying to move on out of here, but it's still a little ways to go before we can give anybody an all clear in Alabama. Still a lot of storms out there right now. Again, we have several tornado warnings in place. We'll go back over to home team, interactive radar. Uh, actually, let's check out the dew points. Yeah, there's the front. Uh, the front's across West Mississippi now. Uh, so that's good. Hopefully that will continue moving off towards the east and we'll see the tornado threat pretty much die down. Uh, right now, we just can't say that because we still got a little ways to go. So a very dangerous uh, storm. And, and Daniel, if you look at the storm here, it's really beginning to wrap up again uh, on the north side of Linden. 
And if you're watching us, again, in the city of Linden, it's very likely uh, this storm is about to produce a tornado on the north side of town. We're talking where the Sitco station is, Linden Lumber, and points north where the tornado will likely be. And it's going to cross about where the junction is, Highway 69 and Highway 43 right here. Uh, Providence sits up here. There's Dayton and Fonsdale up there. So this thing is moving the general direction of Dayton and Fonsdale up Highway 25. Uh, the tornado itself will be right here in this part of the storm. And again, that's on the north side of Linden. Uh, point south of Linden, you're okay, but on the north side of town, uh, stay in your safe place as there's still that chance. There's a tornado right here. Again, we're talking uh, point south of Old Spring Hill uh, towards the city of Linden. So we're watching things close again from Marengo County. That tornado warning does extend in Perry and Southern Hale County, but the tornado threat looks like it's going to be moving in this general fashion right here across Marengo County. Another uh, nasty storm moving into Choctaw County. This one's moving more towards the south and east. Uh, so Southern Marengo County, you might be under the gun next with this particular storm right here, uh, moving out of East Mississippi into Choctaw County, Alabama. So several storms out there today with several tornado warnings uh, to talk about. And it looks like they have allowed this tornado warning to the north to expire over Lamar and Fayette County. And they decided to issue a tornado warning for that particular storm right now. Let's go over to our Tuscaloosa Tower camera and show you different perspective of things. We're located on the University of Alabama campus. Uh, we're kind of panning the skies here, looking off towards the north and now off towards the west, uh, looking at the storms coming in out of Pickens County and obviously dark, ominous skies. There's no tornadoes back to the west, uh, but that could change. We're going to watch these storms as they move in from the south and west. Uh, let's go back over to Home Team Interactive Radar. And again, we have uh, Fayette County and Lamar County under severe thunderstorm warnings until 645 this afternoon. Uh, it's 551 right now on Home Team Interactive Radar. If you're just now joining us, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott along with WVUA's Daniel Spartman. Uh, we continue to watch a dangerous severe weather outbreak across the state of Alabama. Fortunately, over the past hour or so, the damage are the large tornadoes. We have not been getting reports of the large tornadoes, which is great news. But earlier today, that was certainly a different story. Uh, let's kind of pan this thing back out just a bit and show you storms to the south. And uh, Marengo County, you're the last one. Marengo, and that does include uh, Southern Hill and Perry County, but this is the last tornadic storm right now. So that's good. Uh, hopefully, uh, after this, all these tornado warnings will be allowed to expire, but we can't promise you that just yet. We still have a ways to go. Uh, before the severe weather threat is over with for, again, Marengo County. Again, we're talking north side of Linden, uh, Old Spring Hill, likely some large hail falling there. And uh, that's going to be moving into Dayton and Fonsdale here pretty shortly. And after that, uh, the tornadic part of the storm is going to be moving into Fonsdale and Uniontown. We're starting to get reports of trees down in the Linden area and just uh, the rain coming down so hard they can't see. This is from a weather watcher at a Montgomery TV station. Uh, Montgomery covers some of Marengo County as well. Mm -hmm. Said that winds were over 46 miles per hour there in Linden. So they got some trees down in parts of town, uh, but no reports of a tornado touching down, right? No, no reports. So that, that was the only report that we've gotten from Marengo County. All right, so that's good news so far. Uh, hopefully that will continue to be the case. Uh, the tornado itself, it, it, the second tornado developing, could be very close to Linden. Uh, so that, that's good if this thing's not producing a tornado. Uh, Daniel, uh, if you have any more reports, uh, pass along and let me know. Uh, down in Marengo County, of course, going to watch things close uh, down in Marengo County. But I'm going to toss to Daniel here for just a, a short moment for a look at the radar. Yeah, uh, we're still uh, looking at a couple of things. We still got severe thunderstorm warning for Fayette, Lamar, and Marion County until 645. Uh, in the way of tornado warnings, Marengo, Perry, Sumter, and Hale County are, st are still under a tornado warning until 630. So another about 35 minutes for tornado warnings, current tornado warnings in our area. Uh, severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, let's see, just the Fayette, Lamar, Marion County storms right now. There's a couple of torn, uh, severe thunderstorm warnings for Marion County, or excuse me, for Lamar County. I was looking at the National Weather Service. They were issuing uh, another tornado warning for uh, Montgomery and Lowndes County, but that's out of our viewing area. Um, other than that, there are not anything in the way of warnings, just the tornado warning for Hale, Moringa, Perry, and Sumter County, and then the severe thunderstorm warning for Fayette, Lamar, and Marion County. And... Um, 
luckily no way in the nothing in the way of reports of damage however up in the shelby county there was a report of a tornado damage to the fire station in chelsea and that was about uh just came in about three minutes ago so there was a report of a tornado up in shelby county also the trees down in Marengo County near Linden came in just about three minutes ago. We're still watching that storm. It's moving to the east at uh, 35 miles per hour, moving to the northeast. And this is the new sail on the back end, the new uh, rotation area that the National Weather Service has marked down. We're going to look at this uh, rotation, see if we can look at this TVS and see, get some places in the path of this. You see there, there we go. Uh, Siddonsville, 605, which is now, or in 10 minutes from now. Fonsdale, 609, also Uniontown, Rabbit Yard. Let's go ahead and click on some of these. Okay, you see uh, Rabbit Yard at 616. You can see the general path is gonna go across Uniontown here in the next little while and then move on to the uh, northeast. Also in the path eventually will be the town, or yes, the town of Marion, which is up there in um, Perry County. Uh, yeah, Daniel, National Weather Service saying they reported a tornado in, in Linden uh, here just a while back and that was at 553. Uh, with some trees down. Uh, also, tornadoes on the ground over in the Mo Montgomery Market in Lowndes in Montgomery County. Uh, so they're saying a tornado, uh, a public reports a tornado in Linden uh, here just a few moments ago. Now, that's obviously moving northeast of the city of Linden and uh, moving into Maring northeast Marengo County. So they're saying a tornado did touch down uh, pretty close to the city of Linden in Marengo County. So again, we're talking a tornado warning for Marengo County. We're talking over the north and now eastern part of Marengo County. Uh, this storm is producing a possible tornado. According to uh, storm spotters down in Marengo County, this thing is producing a tornado. And it's very close to Providence Baptist Church, uh, very close to where Old Spring Hill crosses over Highway 69. Uh, it's in that general area we're talking about. And we're talking, again, northern uh, Marengo County. The storm is producing, uh, possibly producing a tornado. Again, reports uh, out of Linden that a tornado did touch down somewhere close to the city and there's trees down. Uh, we're not sure about the extent of the damage or how large the tornado was, but it's in this area right here. This is our hook echo. Uh, this is precipitation wrapping around the tornado itself. And the tornado is going to be right along Highway 69, very close to Providence Baptist Church. And, and again, that's going to be uh, just south of where Old Spring Hill crosses Highway 69. You know, Old Spring Hill, you can follow it all the way to about Fonsdale. Uh, that's where it, uh, it's gonna cross Highway 69, right in this general area right here. So we're gonna kind of zoom things back out just a bit and show you other storms out there quickly. And again, we got a tornado warning from Marengo County that is producing a tornado according to public reports in Linden. Uh, again, that's not official. That's public reports in the city of Linden that a tornado has touched down. Uh, other storms out there we're talking about uh, back to the west of uh, Tuscaloosa. And these are not severe, but they could become tornadic at any time. I think the best chance of tornado, tornadic producing storms is down to the south now. But that doesn't mean we can't see any more tornadoes. So we're watching things very close again. Uh, Terry Brewer is standing by in the studio uh, for some updates. Terry. All right, thank you, Richard. Yes, we've got some uh, information. Of course, this weather, lots of things were planned for Friday night in the Tuscaloosa area, and this has put uh, quite a, a damper on that. The Sugarland concert at the Tuscaloosa Amphitheater has been canceled. Now, the city of Tuscaloosa is telling us that um, people will be uh, refunded at their point of purchase. So however you purchased your tickets, you will be eligible for a refund on Monday. Now the city of Tuscaloosa made that call uh, or announced that the uh, concert would be canceled right around five o'clock this evening. Also, University of Alabama baseball and softball that was scheduled for tonight has been canceled due to the weather. The two teams will now play a double header beginning at two in the afternoon tomorrow. So um, that's a, a number of things have been impacted. Also, some uh, performances tonight, the Tuscaloosa Children's Theater,
They will do their Cinderella performance at the Bama Theater. Sylvia has been canceled at the Bean Brown Theater at Shelton. So we've got, uh, but the, the one of the biggest events though, Sugar Land, unfortunately has been canceled tonight uh, because of the weather and to keep everyone safe and out of harm's way. Yeah, also, we've had a number of damage reports coming into us. We have crews in the field all across Tuscaloosa County capturing some of these images, uh, the Hillcrest area. Lots of reports of down trees, down power lines, also some uh, roof damage to some different places, signs ripped off uh, by this weather event. We've got some video um, that we had shot earlier from Loop Road that you can see this right here. Uh, we've got trees down a neighborhood right off of Loop Road impacted. Take a look at this. And this video came into us uh, less than an hour ago. So this happened this afternoon right here in uh, Tuscaloosa. We've also got some more video uh, to share with you of this weather event in Tuscaloosa. Now, this video you're about to see came to us uh, from Facebook. Uh, Michael Robertson posted this and shared this with us. This was captured. Um, if we have some information where this was captured, I'm not sure. I believe, is it uh, Boardwalk Apartments? Boardwalk Apartments, which is um, Michael Robertson gave us those. Now, Boardwalk Apartments, I believe, is... Um, not too far from uh, Highway 80, or excuse me, Skyland Boulevard, actually, Skyland Boulevard. Also, we've got some local pictures that have come into us all afternoon long. Lots of people dealing with trees down. Um, some of them have fallen on roofs. And then look at that huge tree. Some of these 100-year-old trees ripped out of the ground, root systems pulled up out of the ground. These are some of the viewer photos we've received all afternoon long. We're going to continue scrolling through those for you. We've also got now before this uh, vi this weather event came into our area, this video is from Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, that was the area that was really impacted right before this weather moved into our area. Now this is, uh, if you're familiar with the Jackson area, I-55 that runs through Jackson, uh, through the state of Mississippi, this is where that video came from that you're looking at right now. There were cars overturned also Take a look at this. This is from North Jackson um, in Clinton, Mississippi. And that was all caught on camera. This is more video you're looking at from the Jackson, Mississippi area uh, from Hi. earlier today, probably around uh, noon. We've also got more videos before uh, we woke up this morning learning that the storms had been deadly as they were coming our way in uh, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and we'll continue to bring you more images of um, what this storm system has done across the southeast today. And it's something we've been dealing with all day long. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like we're not out of the woods yet. We're going to send it back to our weather center. Richard Scott, Daniel Sparkman have been doing an excellent job keeping us informed and uh, working through this really long weather event. We appreciate that. Richard, what's going on right now? Yeah, Terry, we still have a tornado warning in place, and that's for Marengo County, the northeastern part of Marengo County, also southern Hell County, and the western portion of Perry County. We're talking a dangerous storm, but more storms lining up, uh, about to move through the city of Tuscaloosa. Uh, Fayette also getting hit pretty hard right now, but these are not severe up here. Now, Fayette County, there's a severe thunderstorm warning. The only tornado warning we have right now is for northeast Marengo County, southern Hell County, and also western parts of Perry County. So let's go down into Marengo County and show you that storm there. And we had an unconfirmed report of a tornado near Linden uh, here a few moments ago and some damaged trees down in uh, parts of Linden. Now we're talking uh, mainly the northern part of the town. We'll get those reports of uh, fine tuners. We'll get more information, of course, to you. Uh, right now, the tornadic part of the storm is in the very northeastern part of the county, just north of Dayton near Fonsdale on Highway 25. Here's Highway 80 where 25 crosses 80. This is where I think the tornado is going to cross Highway 80 where 25 and 80 intersect together. And it's going to be moving into uh, Uniontown and then eventually over into Western Perry County. And it should stay just south 
uh, the city of New Bern, but if you're in New Bern, just go ahead and get in that safe place uh, right now. Uh, the tornado itself is going to be just north of Dayton by a couple of miles. Even if you're in Dayton, I'd stay in your safe place for about 10 more minutes before the storm uh, passes on by. But the city of Linden, you're fine with this particular storm. Uh, there is another storm back off towards the west. So again, Marengo County, we could deal with more tornadic storms. And this one moving into Butler right now uh, is moving off towards the east and uh, could affect the southern part of Marengo County here within about 25 to 45 minutes start moving across the county line there. Uh, other storms out there we're watching. We have, a, again, a severe thunderstorm warning for Fayette County in place. Large hail, possibly as, as large as golf balls, uh, is possible in the city of Fayette. Right now, lots of lightning and thunder. Uh, that extends up to Carbon Hill and Nauvoo, and that's moving off towards the north and east as well. But back to the west, uh, the tornado watches are being allowed to expire across parts of Mississippi, central Mississippi. So that's promising sign. I think this is the back edge right here. As it slowly creeps across our area, the tornado threat slowly ends tonight. And that is good news. Now tomorrow, no more severe weather issues to deal with out there. So let's go back down to Marengo County. Again, the tornado warning in place. And uh, what we're going to do is kind of scan this storm here and do an X vision of this thing and, and look at it from a kind of different standpoint of how tall this storm is and, and allows us to see better rotation within the storm as well. So we're talking this storm uh, very tall. We're talking 60,000 feet in Marengo County. And right there is where your updraft is. So incredible how the precipitation is suspended uh, loft. Uh, also, we're going to go back to WVUA's Terry Brewer. I think she has an update for us, Terry. Yes, thank you, Richard. We've got uh, Lynn Brooks, anchor Lynn Brooks, who is in the field with our WVUA chief photographer, Jerome Davis, uh, surveying all this damage in the Tuscaloosa area. Lynn, uh, you all are in Alberta City, I believe? Terry, that's correct. We're in the Alberta City area and specifically in the Arcadia neighborhood, which appears to be a pretty hard hit. And now that the rain has subsided, uh, residents are starting to come out of their homes and survey the damage. Uh, right now, if I do a 360 and look all around me, I can see one, two, three, four, five homes, uh, all with huge limbs and or trees in their yards um, and also in the street in front of their homes. And uh, fortunately, though, out of all the homes that I've seen uh, affected by the storm in this neighborhood, none of the trees have fallen directly on a home, which that is the good news. Uh, but there are huge trees in this neighborhood, these big 100 or more year old oak trees that have uh, toppled over and their, their roots are just sticking up out of the ground. But uh, in every situation that we've seen this evening, the trees have been fallen into the lawn. Uh, one house that I saw, a, a tree fell all the way across the lawn, blocking the driveway, uh, blocking the entire yard and it was only about five feet from the garage. So residents in this particular neighborhood appear to have been very fortunate. Um, also, what we're starting to see more and more as the, as the rain dies down, neighbors coming out, neighbor helping neighbor. Um, I see one gentleman who's pulling out his power saw out of the garage to try to help another neighbor. Um, I talked to uh, some residents who were leaving their home to go uh, to some friend's house because they don't think the power is going to be back on in this neighborhood anytime soon. Uh, we've also seen uh, some rescue officials that are trying to make their way to clear roadways and to clear driveways, but uh, they, they seem to be pretty bogged down, so it's slow go as they get to these uh, different residents. All right, Lynn, uh, lots of uh, damage to report on, it, it seems, around Tuscaloosa and, of course, in the outline areas. We appreciate you uh, being out there, keeping us informed, and we will be checking back in with, uh, with you and Jerome. So thank you, Lynn. Thank you. We've also got uh, something else to bring you some more video. We've had great response from uh, viewers emailing us pictures and also sharing through social media like Facebook and Twitter. Of course, we try to have our cameras as many places as we can, but unfortunately you can't be e everywhere and our viewers do a great job sending in video to us. So uh, we encourage you to continue doing that. And you can also check out our website for more information uh, and check 
up to the minute um, reports from our weather team who share their thoughts on the weather blog online. And we also want to bring you some video, um, of course, the Sugarland concert. Lots of people were looking forward to in Tuscaloosa tonight has been canceled due to the weather. Sugarland was in Tuscaloosa earlier today and they actually, you know, just like everyone else, they had to take shelter from the storm and they made a video uh, them taking cover. We want to share that with you. Tuscaloosa, Alabama, because there is a tornado siren that has just sounded, which means there's a tornado in the area. I'm assuming that it might have touched down. And it means we're going to be playing in the hallway. It means we might be doing a show right here, depending, but we're hoping it's going to blow over, no pun intended. Um, and that was uh, Jennifer Nettles, of course, from Sugarland speaking there. They made that video and posted it um, on their Facebook page earlier this afternoon as they were taking cover from the storm. Unfortunately, they did not get to do their concert. If you did have tickets to that concert, uh, the city of Tuscaloosa has told us that you can be refunded on Monday at your point of purchase. Also canceled tonight, the Alabama baseball and softball games, and those will be played tomorrow. So anyway, lots that we're still watching our weather team. Uh, this event is certainly not over for them and we want to toss it back to them and, and get another update. Richard? Yeah, Terry, watching things, no doubt about it. We're going to take a look at our Tuscaloosa Tower camera looking off towards the west. And yeah, there's more thunderstorms moving into the area. Good news is right now, these are not tornadic storms. They're not severe storms moving into the Tuscaloosa area. That could change at any time. So we're going to watch things very close as more storms move into the Tuscaloosa area. Again, those are not tornadic right now. Not severe right now, but that could easily change. So just make sure you stay tuned if you're watching us here in the Tuscaloosa area and also West Alabama. We still have one tornado warning left, and that's for the northeastern corner of Marengo County, also southern Hell County and, and eastern Perry County right now. Again, tornado warning in place. Uh, we have had reports of a tornado touchdown with this storm. And in fact, I believe we have an update from Daniel. Yeah, we just had a new tornado warning issued for Dallas and Perry County. That's until 7:15 uh, for Dallas and Perry County. The <clears throat> National Weather Service radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This dangerous storm located near Uniontown and moving to the northwest at 30 miles per hour. Yeah, that's a storm right here moving out of Marengo County into Perry, and there's a brand new tornado warning polygon you see pop up on your screen. So they just updated again this brand new tornado warning uh, for. Perry County, and that doesn't include Marengo County. Of course, the old polygon still includes Marengo County, but that's where your tornado is going to be right there. It's going to be moving across into Perry County shortly. So if you're watching us downtown Marion along Highway 5, uh, South Marion, go ahead and get in your safe place. Uh, the city of New Bern is going to be a close call for you, but I think it stays just to your south of the city of New Bern. Again, here's Highway 80. Uh, here's Highway 5 that runs north into Marion. The tornado itself is going to be crossing uh, right into Perry County, clipping the southern uh, half a mile of uh, Hell County. This looks like what's going to clip right there, the southern half mile or so of Hell County, and it's going to be moving in Uniontown shortly. So if you're watching us in Uniontown along Highway 80, go ahead and get in that safe place right now because the tornado could be moving right over you shortly. Now, we don't have a report of a tornado on the ground, which is good news with this storm that could easily change pretty much in a heartbeat. We know how it's been today and this afternoon. So uh, again, we're talking a possible tornado moving into Perry County right now. It's uh, 612. If you're just now joining us, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott alongside with WVUA's uh, Daniel Sparkman watching a dangerous outbreak of severe weather, including tornadoes across our state. Numerous damage reports. We had a tornado hit uh, the city of Tuscaloosa today on the south side of town. With quite a bit of damage and uh, a lot of parts of the state dealing with damaging tornadoes today, especially across the very western part of the state. And still right now, we have tornado warnings in place again. And this storm moving out of Marengo County, uh, Linden, Dayton, Bonsdale, uh, this storm is moving away from you. So we're talking it's pretty much in Perry County right now and about to move into Perry County. So in Uniontown, stay in your safe place right now. More storms out there. We're going to watch these close. Uh, in fact, we have a dangerous storm over uh, Choctaw County. And again, this could be producing a tornado. This could be moving in southern and central Marengo County. So places that were hit earlier today, like Nanaflia, Myrtlewood, and Miller, we're talking about you next with this particular storm. So we've got a long way to go before all these storms are out of our viewing area. Now back to the west, things are starting to quieten down quite a bit. 
In fact, no active tornado warnings back here across the western part of the state. That is promising news. Hopefully that will continue to be the case and all the tornadic storms will be over with. But right now we can't guarantee that. In fact, any of these storms to our west could spin up at any time. That's not happening right now, but that could happen at any time. So down to the south, back to our tornado warning as we go into Perry County. Uh, we're talking uh, the possible tornado moving into Perry County right now. Uh, so let's check out the velocity on the storm as we uh, kind of scan things here on Home Team Interactive Radar. And definitely a distinct area, some rotation happening moving into Perry County. And this thing could put down a tornado just about any time. Uh, WVUA Daniel Spartman is with us right now. He's putting uh, a lot of severe weather pictures on the blog. And if you have any severe weather pictures, send those to weather at WVUATV.com. And we'll try to uh, post a lot of those on our blog. And, and here's a link to that again, the top of your screen, weather at WVUATV.com. And, and uh, send those to us by email. Uh, also, you can look us up on Facebook and Twitter. We have severe weather updates going on there nonstop. Uh, you can look us up by email. That's weather at WVUATV.com. So if you have any severe weather pictures, be sure to send those to us. And going back over to what's happening uh, over Perry County right now in east central uh, northeast corner of Marengo County, we're talking the possible tornado moving towards Marion here pretty shortly. So we're talking uh, if you're watching us down in the city of Marion, go ahead and get in that safe place now. In fact, it looks like the most uh, dangerous part of the storm is going to be just to uh, your west over the next few minutes. So we're looking at things on our uh, Tuscaloosa Tower camera, looking kind of north and west panning the skies here. And a lot of lightning we've been seeing from our, uh, again, from our tower camera and some big storms moving into the area. Uh, these are not severe right now, but they are producing an incredible amount of lightning. Again, we'll kind of look around the skies there and look towards the north of Tuscaloosa. And if you're outdoors right now, just head on inside. Don't take a chance uh, with these storms because they could easily produce a lot of lightning, heavy rain, some small hail, and a tornado could pop up at any time. So keep that in mind again over Tuscaloosa County. We don't have a tornado warning right now, but at any time that could just about change here in the city of Tuscaloosa. So back to Home Team Interactive Radar, and let's kind of bring things back out a bit and show you a wide perspective of things, what's happening across our state uh, this afternoon. And again, a lot of storms still out there, and these storms over the western half of the state need to be watched close. In fact, uh, let's kind of check out things with velocity and make sure we don't have anything trying to spin up uh, down here to our, our west. And right now, so far so good. We don't see any evidence of rotation across Pickens County or Tuscaloosa County. No distinct evidence of rotation. Again, that could change at any time. So let's go over to Columbus radar. Yeah, just not seeing any evidence of rotation right now. So that's great news uh, to our west. But we're going to have to watch some of these storms. are starting to look a little suspicious. Again, just to the west of Tuscaloosa already having quite a bit of damage uh, in Tuscaloosa County and, and many counties surrounding uh, West Alabama today with tornadoes touching down. So let's go back down to our tornado warning we have left. And again, that's one lone tornado warning all by itself over Perry County. It's moving out of Marengo County. So if you're watching us in the city of Linden, uh, Democles, this storm has passed you by. Uh, the tornado itself is going to be just to your west or just your east, rather, over the city of Uniontown. Uh, highway 80 that runs right through Uniontown right here. Uh, here's Highway 25 over East Hill County. That's going to be just to the east of you now in kind of the boot hill of southern Perry County. It's going to be moving in south central Perry County shortly, and that does include the city of Marion. So if you are watching us in Marion, uh, this tornado could be moving your way our possible tornado. And let me check the time frame with this tornadic storm over Perry County. And we're talking 715, the expiration time. So we have one hour before this tornado warning is allowed to expire. So one hour, 715, and this tornado warning will expire over Perry County. Uh, so again, if you're watching us over the south and central part of the county, uh, to the north, you're okay. Uh, the tornado's not up here. The tornado's down here in this part of the county, uh, right in there near Uniontown. So let's back things out again and uh, show you a wide perspective across uh, Alabama. We're all under tornado watch until 9 o'clock tonight. That will likely be extended in East Alabama to a later time frame. Uh, good news is, back in Mississippi, no more uh, Richard, severe <clears throat> weather. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, the National Weather Service just issued a new tornado warning for Marengo County until 715. Trained weather spotters on the ground are reporting a tornado and large hail six miles southwest of Mount Sterling and moving to the east at 50 miles per hour. That's a tornado confirmed by trained spotters on the ground six miles southwest of Mount Sterling. All right, so if you're watching us in downtown or downtown Linden Point South in Marengo County, 
it just seems like you've been unlucky here lately because we've had numerous tornado warnings for Marengo County and several tornadoes track across the county. And here comes another tornado out of Choctaw County. And Daniel, what's the motion on that? Is that east or, or That's, northeast? Yeah, east at 50. All right, so this one's moving east at 50 miles per hour. So we're talking more of a path in this general area across southern Marengo County. Now, the first tornado warning of the day we had around lunch today took the same exact path and had a, a tornado produced near Nanaflya. And so this uh, tornado is going to be moving in this general direction towards Sweetwater, Nanaflya. And if you live in Dixon Mills, go ahead and get in that safe place as well. So we're talking the southern half of Marengo County. A tornado reported on the ground uh, in Choctaw County, moving back into Marengo County. So another storm moving into Marengo County. All right, to the north, uh, this storm we're watching does not have a uh, tornado on the ground reported. That could change at any time. So keep that in mind over southern and central Perry County. Uh, the tornadic part of the storm is right on top of Uniontown and again moving northeast about 35 to 40 miles per hour. So have two tornado warnings, one over Marengo County and one over Perry County and that goes until 715. Both of those tornado warnings and those are two different storms out there. So again we have two different tornado warnings, one for south central Marengo County which includes the city of Linden and then one over Perry County. All right, so let's show a radar loop real quick, and I want to give you a wide perspective of things happening across the state, and, and we'll do kind of a little analysis on what's happening. Uh, cold front not too far away, and things are drying out in Mississippi. This is it. This is the back edge of the severe weather. Uh, that's great news because after all this activity is going out, the severe weather threat ends. So here comes our main supercells down here. You see these individual storms out here ahead of the line that are kind of by themselves? Uh, those are the ones that are producing tornadoes. Uh, they will continue moving off towards the east, and once they move out, the tornado threat moves into the Montgomery market and moves out of our area. So that's good news. And again, I think the tornado threat really starting to trend back across our western counties. Uh, that could still change. A uh, storm could still pop up and produce a tornado. Uh, we are under a tornado watch until 9 o'clock tonight, so we've still got a ways to go before that is allowed to expire. So here's the tornado warnings. That's what we got right now. Again, the county's in yellow. Here's the Mississippi State line. Tornado watch until 9 o'clock. Here's our tornado warnings, one for central Marengo County now and south central Marengo County and one for Perry County. And both of those tornado warnings again go until 7.15 this afternoon. So let's look at some things and, and figure out what this mess is doing. Uh, it's a bit warmer back to the west, but it's drier back to the west. Here's our dew point temperature map. And clearly, actually this is what we call a dry line working out ahead of the main uh, cold front itself. And dew point temperatures really drop back just over West Mississippi, Greenwood and Memphis. Dew point temperatures back in the 40s. That's good. Once this dry air makes it in Alabama, the severe weather threat's done with. So we got a ways to go before that happens, but that's promising news. This dry line is getting closer and closer to the Alabama state line. And once it gets on in here, it should uh, move on out pretty quick. So let's go back over to radar. And I'm going to check out with uh, WBUH Daniel Spark. We're going to see if we have any updates uh, real quick. Daniel. No updates from the National Weather Service, but they did uh, update the Bibb County storm. West Eileen, trees down on Highway 25, multiple trees down south of Little Hope Road, completely blocked. Little Hope Road is. Trees also down on Highway 82, trees across the road on Highway 5. Friendship Road is blocked. About 10 trees are down on south of uh, 300. Also trees down on Eileen Road, five trees down uh, blocking the road on Raglan Road and a tree also down on Murphy Road and that's from the emergency management in Bibb County. Several trees down across Bibb County. Uh, Daniel, real quick, let's go over to Terry. I believe she's got some video to show. Yes, that's right, uh, Richard. Thank you and Daniel. We've got some video to share with you uh, from the Tuscaloosa area. Now this is the the RBC bank at the corner of Skyland and McFarland. This was shot. All of this video actually shot by Keith Dobbins, who works here with WVUA. Um, you can see some some pretty significant damage in the area of Skyland and McFarland. Again, this is the uh, near the RBC bank there at the corner of Skyland and McFarland. Now, speaking of the Tuscaloosa damage, we've just gotten word from the city of Tuscaloosa that uh, Mayor Walt Maddox and the incident command team will meet tonight to discuss some of the damage. Uh, just like you're seeing here, this is of the Motel 6 on McFarland Boulevard that had some pretty significant roof damage. That incident command team for the city of Tuscaloosa will meet tonight to discuss the extent of the damage that we've seen in Tuscaloosa and we will be uh, sharing, communicating with you 
what they communicate to us. But uh, again, you can see here at the Motel 6, they had some pretty significant damage to the roof and also to their sign. Now, this is right on McFarland Boulevard. Um, not too far from Interstate 2059, if you're familiar with that area. Of course, many people are. Now, take a look at this. This is from 7th Court East and Crestline Drive, which I believe is south of Skyland and west of McFarland. This is a tree, a roof that came out, and there's a water pipe shooting water out of it. This was a huge tree um, in someone's yard in that area. You can see. Uh, the damage that people are dealing with tonight in the Tuscaloosa area. And we actually have um, some comments from a resident in this area who just explains what the experience has been like. Let's uh, hear from him if we can. Sirens would go off, so I was standing in the doorway looking back this way. And the wind came up from that way with a dark cloud. And all of a sudden I said, oh, baby, we better come in and get in the hallway. It's coming. And by the time I closed the door, it just rambled the door real hard. And then we were standing in the hall and we finally it went over. We got out and then that's when we discovered all this damage that we had. All right, and that was brought to us from one of our photographers and uh, producers, Keith Dobbins. Uh, all of that video was from the uh, Skyland McFarland area. Now the city of Tuscaloosa meeting tonight to discuss the damage across the city. We're going to be bringing you information about that. Also, uh, we want to touch on this again because it's a, a big issue for a lot of people. Um, of course, disappointed that the Sugarland concert will not happen tonight in Tuscaloosa. Of course, that was highly anticipated at the amphitheater, but due to safety concerns, which of course is first in the minds of so many people, uh, they want to, to they ma did make the decision to cancel that. And if you had tickets to that, you can get a refund at your point of purchase on Monday. Uh, we will continue following in our newsroom. Of course, it's been busy in our weather center all day long, busy in our newsroom as we continue to take uh, your pictures, video, also reports of damage. We've got crews out busy capturing these images and bringing them back in so we can show them to you. Now we want to check back in uh, with Richard and Daniel in our weather center because unfortunately this uh, storm event is not over. Yeah, Terry, still got a couple of tornado warnings we're talking about, and both of those go until 7:15. As soon as those two tornado warnings expire, and if that's it, then that'll be it for the tornado warning. So we got a little while to go, but we're talking 7:15. Two more tornado warnings, one across South Central Marengo County, one also across Perry County. And here's both of these storms right here, one moving out of Butler, and that one is producing a tornado. So we have a report of a tornado being produced. Uh, near Butler, that's going to be moving to Nanaflya and Sweetwater and Dixon Mills, then Miller, and then Shallow. Communities across South Marengo County, also Octagon. We're talking some of those communities in the path of that storm. Our other tornado warning is for Perry County. That includes the city of Marion and points south and east. And no more tornado warnings out there. So let's kind of show things. Uh, again, zoom out real quick on Home Team Interactive Radar and show you other storms out there. And I think this is going to be the back edge of the severe weather uh, threat across the area. Uh, we're going to watch things very close. It is April. Things can change in a heartbeat uh, with severe weather events. I think our air mass is starting to get more stable over here in West Alabama, which is good news. Uh, Daniel. Yeah, now um, we're talking about this storm that's heading into Marengo County <clears throat> from uh, Choctaw County. Now I jumped over to the Mobile National Weather Service chat and they're talking about they're just getting in reports from uh, WTOK over in Meridian saying that they have had viewers call in and say that they had two tornadoes hit the town of Butler back to back within minutes of each other. And that's just exact quote from somebody over at WTOK. So now there's reports that there are there is a tornado that has just passed through the town of Butler and that's headed towards Marengo County. All right, so Butler and Choctaw County, if you're familiar with this part of the state, not officially in our coverage area, but Butler has been hit twice, two different tornadoes. Uh, two different damaging tornadoes have moved through the city of Butler and Choctaw counties. Our hearts and prayers definitely go out uh, to the folks out in central Choctaw County. That's moving into Marengo County shortly. So we're talking Nanaflya, Sweetwater area, a possible tornado moving in your neck of the woods soon. And uh, a previous tornado warning I'm sure they're talking about is the one that's now in Perry County, um, the one that previously produced a tornado in Butler. Is that right? Right. All right, so that, that storm's over in Perry County now, and this storm is capable of producing a tornado and is producing a tornado over Butler right now, and it's about to cross the Tom Bigby River into south-central Marengo County. We're talking Nanaflya, Pennington, Sweetwater, 
Dixon Mills. Also, we're talking on Miller Community, Octagon, along Highway 43 and Calvary. Officially, the tornado warning uh, polygon includes the city of Linden. I think the tornado threat with this storm stays just south of the city of Linden, but still to be on the safe side. If you live in Linden or on the south side of town, go ahead and get in a safe place. So we're talking uh, two tornadoes has hit the city of Butler, one earlier, uh, not too far back, uh, actually a couple hours ago, and now the second one that just hit the city of Butler uh, here a few moments ago. So yeah, uh, two tornadoes have uh, hit the city of Butler uh, here a few moments ago. So uh, this storm is moving into Marengo County, and once it crosses Marengo County, moves into Wilcox and Dallas, we'll be able to send things back to programming, we believe. Unless this storm back here to the west over uh, Quitman, Mississippi, uh, decides to produce a tornado and moves across South Miss, uh, Marengo County as well. Uh, what we're going to do is kind of zoom things out again, and we've been on air since noon today. I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Sky alongside with WDUA's Daniel Sparkman. It's been a very long day with numerous weather events happening across the state, including damaging tornadoes in parts of Alabama and parts of Mississippi as well. Large wedge tornadoes being reported in parts of Alabama today and lots of damage out there scattered across the, uh, across the state. And one of those things we're watching now is the possibility of another damaging tornado moving into South Marengo County. So again, if you're watching it south of Linden, down Highway 43, there's another tornado coming your way uh, across Highway 43 again. All right, now Perry County, you're under tornado warning as well. We're talking about the southern tip of Perry County. And it looks like this could stay well south of the city of Marion. If you're watching us in Marion, uh, there's a chance that you could have some large hail in excess of golf ball size in Marion. And uh, all right, so we, we could have some large hail in Marion, but the tornado threat itself is going to stay just to your south. And one more recap real quick before we send it over to Terry. Uh, we're talking a tornado on the ground moving into southern Marengo County in about 25 minutes. Again, if you're watching us, Sweetwater and Nanafly, there's a tornado moving your way. Uh, quickly, we're going to send it back to Terry Brewer for a quick update, and then we'll go back to Marengo County. All right, yes, Richard, really quickly, we want to get uh, anchor Lynn Brooks, who is out in Tuscaloosa, surveying the damage um, in the city area. Lynn, where are you guys right now? Terry, we are um, on 36th Avenue in Alberta City. That's in the Arcadia neighborhood where a tree has uh, fallen in the yard um, of a resident on 36th Avenue and also completely destroyed uh, the resident's vehicle. You probably can hear on the telephone line, the sound of chainsaws, uh, because neighbors here are feverishly trying to saw up these trees and get them uh, off of their housetops and out of their yards and out of their driveways so that they can uh, just see the ground again. Uh, but again, 36th Avenue is completely blocked uh, because of tree limbs at this hour. Uh, the rain has started to pick back up. Also, the lightning starting to pick back up. So uh, residents who have come out of the woodwork to try to get the tree limbs and the trees out of their yards are starting to be a little bit concerned about uh, lightning picking up around here. You can imagine they're pretty spooked after what they've been through this evening. I have been able to speak with a Tuscaloosa Police Department officer. You know, Tuscaloosa Police Department uh, has been surveying the damage and has been out and about uh, surveying these neighborhoods as well. They're reporting to me that there is a significant damage in the Fairmont, uh, Fairmont community of Alberta City, also that Idlewood the community of Idlewood, that subdivision that's at Hargrove and Loop Road, is blocked. Uh, so if you're traveling, includes Hargrove and Loop, you're going to want to avoid that area. Uh, so just to recap, uh, in Alberta City, again, trees down, power lines down. Uh, we have seen Alabama power crews uh, out and about, but it looks like it will be slow go because there are just, just the sheer uh, numbers of customers that they're trying to reach. Uh, so they're asking for people to be patient, that they're going to try to get the power back on. And uh, in the meantime, uh, neighbors have just uh, taken matters into their own hands and trying to do the best that, that they can to uh, remove any debris that they have from their yards. But the sound of chainsaws is, is very evident as you travel through these neighborhoods. And also Alabama Power and other officials, uh, Tuscaloosa Department of Transportation, that we've seen several uh, vehicles for PDOT out and about in these neighborhoods, reminding people uh, just because you see a power line on the ground and, and your power is off, do not assume that that power line is dead. Always assume that that is a live wire. Uh, we've seen uh, several people just kicking and kicking the power line here or there or trying to pick it up with their bare hands. And Alabama power officials are asking us to please remind the public, if you have power lines in your yard going through your driveway, 
in the, on the street where you live, treat that very seriously. Do not attempt to touch uh, a power line in any way. Always assume that it is hot. Probably hear those rumbles of thunder above my head, Terry, because, uh, you know, like I said, we are starting to get some uh, some little thunderstorms rolling through this area. Nothing uh, significant to report in terms of uh, storm activity right now, but some lightning overhead right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, and uh, let you uh, let you guys get back to reporting on this uh, storm track. All right, thank you so much, Lynn Brooks in the Alberta City area with our chief photographer, Jerome Davis. Um, Lynn was talking about the damage in the Arcadia neighborhood of Alberta City. The city of Tuscaloosa has informed us that the incident command team is going to meet tonight to discuss the extent of the damage across Tuscaloosa and the response. Of course, we will be sharing that information with you as it becomes available to us. We've still got warnings in our viewing area, of this threatening weather, and we want to send it back over to our weather team for the latest on that. Yeah, Terry, I we're watching things down in Marengo County. I do want to pass on a couple of reports uh, from some viewers down in Marengo County. Uh, softball size hail fell down in Myrtlewood. We had the baseball size hail report, but we found out that uh, possibly softball size hail fell in the city of Myrtlewood. Also, uh, between Myrtlewood and Linden, one of the last supercell that just passed by, uh, we had a report of some extensive damage to some mobile homes along Highway 69 that's between Myrtlewood and Linden. And uh, in fact, some of the reports were quite ominous uh, down in Marengo County about what happened to some of the mobile homes down there. So we'll, of course, figure out more about the damage down in Marengo County. Uh, we'll be in contact with the Marengo County EMA with the damage reports that's happened between Myrtlewood and Linden of an apparent tornado, they say. Uh, again, that's viewer reports, not official, confirmed of uh, what's happened down in Marengo County. All right, now there's another storm coming, and that's heading for Nanafly right now. This storm's producing a tornado. It has produced a tornado in Butler. It's moving into Nanafly now and the Sweetwater area. This storm's moving uh, kind of east-northeast, so it's going to be moving in this general fashion across central Marengo County. We're talking Miller, Calvary, uh, Octagon in the path of this next storm. So we are talking about uh, some dangerous storms. Uh, again, moving in Marengo County, there's another tornadic storm just to the west of this one heading for Butler. All right, Butler, uh, according to reports, have been hit twice today by tornadoes. There's another one right behind it, and that's going to be crossing the state line. So if you're watching it, uh, well, I guess you can't watch this in Butler, but if you know anybody that lives in Butler, give them a call. Tell them there's another tornadic storm coming your way. And that was going to be moving into Marengo County as well. So again, we have a tornado warning for Marengo County, the central part of the county. A tornado is crossing the, the county line into Nanaflia right now. Possibly some large hail is going to fall in Myrtlewood again. We had softball size hail about an hour ago in the city of Myrtlewood. And that's going to be moving into Linden uh, shortly in terms of this next storm producing hail. But I don't think there's going to be hailstones quite that big. With this storm, we might be talking more like golf ball size hail, which can still do damage uh, to your vehicle and to your roof. All right, so let's zoom things back out and show you wide perspective of the state of Alabama. Again, we have uh, another tornado warning, and that's for southern Perry County, extreme southern Perry County, a possible tornado right here south of Marion uh, along Highway 5, very close to Marion. It's going to be moving to the east at about 45 miles per hour. So again, we're talking uh, uh, southern part of Perry County. In fact, uh, most of Perry County is going to be okay with this storm, at least the northern half of Perry County. We're talking the southern half of Perry County. So if you're watching us in Marion and Point South, we want you in your safe place uh, along Highway 14 that runs south of the Sprott community. Go ahead and get in that safe place, Daniel. Uh, in fact, we've just gotten a storm report out of Perry County near the town of Hamburg. Citizens there are reporting a tornado on the ground in the Hamburg community. And that's near Perry uh, County Road 6 and Dallas County Road 45. Also, Hall Alabama Highway 14 moving towards Dallas County. So uh, that would be uh, southern, Dallas, or southern Perry County. Yeah, uh, right here. Yeah, citizens are reporting a tornado on the ground there. All right, so we've got a tornado on the ground according to uh, reports from viewers out in southern Perry County saying there's a tornado on the ground with this storm right here just south of the city of Marion. It's going to be moving uh, close to Sprott community right here. Here's Highway 14. It's going to be crossing Highway 14 in East Perry County here pretty shortly. So if you're watching us in the southern half of Perry County, be in that safe place. And we're talking the lowest floor of your home, get in a room that has no windows and, and interior uh, basement or closet. Uh, one of the safest places to be, of course. Now, if you're watching us again in southern Perry County, that's where we're talking about. Let's quickly zoom out and uh, show you other storms out there 
across our state. And, and again, we have only two tornadic storms happening right now. One over Marengo County, one over Perry County. The one over Perry County is now producing a tornado again. Uh, we have another tornado again touching down in Perry County. So let's go down to Perry County and, and uh, show you the velocity on the storm. And we can kind of get a good idea of what this thing's doing down over Perry County. Again, producing a tornado and storm relative velocity, very strong indication that this thing's producing a tornado over extreme southern Perry County. I mean, we're talking the Perry Dallas County line. It's going to be crossing Highway 14 that runs south of Sprott right here. Uh, and if you're driving along again, Highway 14, pull over now. Uh, this tornado is likely a rain wrap, but again, we had people see this thing, so it may be visual to the public, but I wouldn't take a chance with that, as these things can be very dangerous this time of the year. There's Marion. You're okay with this storm in the city of Marion. You're officially under a tornado warning, but the tornado itself is along the county line of Dallas and Perry County. It's going to be moving into Chilton County here shortly. So we're talking uh, in about 25 minutes or so. This could be moving into Chilton County. We have a tornado on the ground right here. We're looking out of the Birmingham radar site, uh, looking at the velocity, storm relative velocity. That's winds blowing towards the radar. Winds blowing away from the radar is red. Uh, there's your couplet. There's your tornado. All right, so let's go back down over Marengo County and show you that storm because it's also producing a tornado and it's moving into Nanafly as we speak. Yeah, an update on that storm. Trained storm spotters did s spot that tornado near Nanafalaya or about 19 miles southwest of Linden, and that was uh, reported about uh, five minutes ago. Yeah, here's the velocity on that storm. And again, another impressive supercell storm coming into Marengo County. This is uh, storm number three or four. I think storm number three for Marengo County. Is that right? <laughs> Uh, it's been well, if you count the sure. northwestern tip of Marengo County, this is storm number four that's prompted tornado warnings for your county. Mm -hmm. This is where the tornado is. Very strong indication that a tornado is being produced. We also have storm spotters on this storm saying it is producing a tornado over Nanafalaya right now. So if you're watching, yeah, there's a new radar scan and very strong indication close to Nanafalaya that another tornado is on the ground. And in fact, we have a report of a viewer that a tor or a report of a uh, storm chaser down there saying a tornado is on the ground in southwest Marengo County, very close to Nana Fly. This tornado just hit Butler here a few moments ago. If you're watching us in Myrtlewood down Rembert Hill Road, we want you in your safe place. So we're talking uh, uh, Rembert Hill Road that runs south from uh, Highway 69 that runs between Marengo County or between Linden and Myrtlewood down Rembert Hill Road. We want you in your safe place right there because the tornadic producing storm, the tornado is moving your way. Just want to give you guys an update a little further back to the west over in Mississippi or in Choctaw County. The Mobile National Weather Service is issuing a tornado warning for Choctaw County, Alabama, because there is two areas of rotation that they're watching going through Choctaw County. So you guys in Marengo County are not clear yet either. So you've got this storm to deal with, and then the National Weather Service is watching at least another one crossing the state line right now that's moving through Choctaw County that'll be hitting uh, Marengo County <coughs> here soon. Uh, they're saying that the uh, storm they're watching is near Lavaca or about nine miles east of Butler and it's moving to the east at 50 miles per hour. It's the same, same thunderstorm that produced the confirmed tornado near Red Springs just a little while ago and that's uh, Ch uh, Choctaw County. It has since moved east of the county a tornado warning remains in effect because a second tornado producing thunderstorm, tornado producing thunderstorm is approaching Choctaw County. So we're in Choctaw County, Marengo County, there's just a like a train tracks going through that area today because that's where our first one was and I was just counting it up and uh, we've, my rough estimate is this will be, this storm that's coming up will be number six for possible tornadoes in uh, going through Choctaw and Marengo counties. Wow, so we're talking uh, just a rough estimate, of course, six tornadoes that have crossed into Marengo County uh, or tornado warnings we've had in Marengo County uh, producing possible tornadoes with some damage down in the Anafalaya area. And uh, that's gonna be moving up around uh, Hugo, Miller and Calvary here pretty shortly. So let's go back into Marengo County real tight and show you where we're talking about the damaging part of the tornado, the damaging part of the storm. And that's uh, not far away from Pennington moving into Half Acre. Uh, half Acre sits along Rembert Hill Road, Myrtlewood. You're going to be on the north side of this, but to be safe, if you live in Myrtlewood, go ahead and get in your safe place. So again, if you live in the city of Myrtlewood, just go ahead and get in your safe place. 
because this tornado producing storm is going to be close to you uh, very shortly. So again, the, it's right across the state line in Pennington, moving into uh, uh, Nanafalaya right now. Here's Nanafalaya that sits right here in southwest Marengo County. Half Acre sits right here along Rembert Hill Road. Uh, there's Myrtlewood. Uh, here's Highway 69. It runs down to uh, Nanafalaya. So if you're driving along Highway 69 between Myrtlewood and Nanafalaya, pull over now, get in a safe place. There's a tornado on the ground with this storm. Train storm spotters have reported seeing this tornado. It just hit Butler uh, here a few moments ago. Now it's crossing the county line in the southwest uh, Marengo County. Some large hail likely falling in half acre. The south side of Myrtlewood probably seeing some large hail as well. And the threat of a tornado uh, definitely exists across uh, some of our counties, especially Marengo County. So let me zoom out real quick and uh, show you a wide perspective of our area. And there's another tornado producing storm, and that's in south central Perry County. So let's quickly go over that storm in south central Perry County. Uh, this is the storm that's producing a tornado right now, about to cross Highway 14 and is crossing Highway 14 right now. That's where your tornado is going to be moving east across extreme southern uh, Perry County. There's a Chilton County line. Here's Dallas County. Uh, there's the city of Selma along the Alabama River. Here's Highway 14, and this is where your tornado is going to be right now in southeast Perry County. The city of Marion, you're fine. If you're watching us in Marion, uh, there is a tornado on the ground just southeast of you, according to storm spotters or according to viewers that reported a tornado on the ground with that storm. So again, we're talking uh, areas south and east of the city of Marion. Now, um, looking over at the uh, National Weather Service out of Jackson, Mississippi, the storm that's moving across the state line right now into uh, Choctaw and Marengo counties, they do have reports of uh, half inch size hail with that storm when it was over in Quitman, Mississippi. And then that storm's going to be moving over into, um, <clears throat> into Choctaw and Marengo counties here in the next little while. So we'll be starting to see some hail over there for you guys down in uh, South Marengo County and uh, through to the town of Butler again, Lisman, and then through Pennington. And then we'll follow that track and see where it's gonna go in regards to Marengo and uh, Perry and uh, all those counties down there. Let's go over our tower camera real quick. And, and again, this is a city in Tuscaloosa. This is our Tuscaloosa tower camera. We're located on the University of Alabama campus. You're looking at University Boulevard and some dark ominous clouds over in the distance, but these are, there's no severe storms in the Tuscaloosa area. I do wanna let you know that. We're talking about just some rain out there right now, some rain and lightning uh, close to the city of Tuscaloosa, but dark ominous clouds on the horizon. This is not tornadic type of storms in our area right now. So let's go back over to home team interactive radar and talk about what's happening down in Demopolis, uh, Marengo County, excuse me. Uh, we're talking about uh, areas south of the city of Linden. A tornado is on the ground right here near Nanafly. This could be moving up towards the north and east, very close to Calvary Baptist Church where the Octagon Road meets Highway 43. If you follow the Octagon Road, it goes to the city of Hugo in uh, Marengo County. That's on Highway 28. And if you're driving along any of these highways here, we're talking 25 south of Dayton and we're talking 25 east of Thomaston, uh, you're going to be running into possibly a tornado here in about 25 to 30 minutes or so. So we're talking another dangerous storm in Marengo County producing a tornado right now near Nanaflyan. And this could be staying just to the north of the city of Sweetwater, and this is just going to be staying uh, just to the, the south of Jefferson. Uh, here's Jefferson sits right here on Highway 28. Uh, Lyndon, it's going to be a close call for you. I think you're going to be just to the north of the tornado. I think it's just going to be just your south, the tornado itself. And we're talking uh, the possible or the actual tornado itself located right here just to the southeast of the city of Pennington. Now there's another storm back to the west about to move over Butler. Butler's been hit twice today by tornadoes. Two different storms have produced tornadoes back to back in Butler. There's another storm that could be producing a tornado uh, moving into Butler very shortly. So again, if you know anybody, I know Marengo County got a lot of Butler connections. Uh, just give folks a call down there. I know they can't watch us in Choctaw County, but just give those folks a call and let them know another tornadic storm is coming their way uh, very shortly. In fact, uh, here within a few minutes, we're talking another tornadic storm moving into Butler. And then that's going to move into Marengo County. So again, it's not over with yet. We still got a ways to go. Southern Marengo County, that's where we're talking about. South central parts of the county. Now, this is going to be just north of Dixon Mills, this particular tornado here. Uh, let me look at the velocity. I want to check that out. I want to check out the storm relative velocity with this particular storm down over Marengo County. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to kind of check this out 
with you here and see what we've got in terms of rotation. An extremely tight couplet, uh, very close to Nana Fly. The storm's likely still producing a tornado. Let's go to Mobile's radar. That's out of Birmingham. Let's go to Mobile. Mobile not looking as tight as the couplet. Now we're looking at different levels of the atmosphere. And let's look at Jackson, Mississippi. And Jackson, Mississippi seeing a very tight couplet as well. Very close to the city of Nanafalaya. Again, we're talking this is crossing Highway 69 right now in southern Marengo County. This will be crossing Highway 42 shortly. Again, in Marengo County. So if you're watching us again in Half Acre, Rembert Hill Road, Nanafalaya, Aimwell, Sweetwater, Calvary, Miller, Octagon Road, Octagon, Half Chance, Linden, Thomaston, Hugo. If you're watching us in those communities, you get in a safe place right now because this storm means business is producing a tornado as we speak across the southwestern part of Marengo County. Uh, there's a tornado right there. And again, here's Highway 69. The tornado is going to be just west of the city of Sweetwater. It's going to be crossing Highway 43. Here's Highway 43. It's going to be crossing 43 very close to Calvary and Miller. Then it's going to be moving over the Octagon Road and then over, uh, yeah, that right there, extremely tight couplet. Very strong indications this thing's producing a tornado as we speak across southwest Marengo County. And this could stay just to the south, and I mean a stone throw south of the city of Linden. If you're watching us in Linden or on the south side of town towards Pinecrest or Calvary, go ahead and get in that safe place. Don't take a chance with a storm. It's producing a tornado uh, right now. Again, extreme southern Marengo County. The National Weather Service office in Birmingham, we're kind of keeping a close eye on the chat room uh, uh, with Birmingham. And so far, we don't have any additional damage reports in Marengo County, which is good news. But I'll tell you this right now, uh, the couple that we're seeing on the Home Team Interactive Radar are very tight and strong indications that a tornado is being produced right here over Marengo County. And then there's another storm back to the west over Choctaw County. All right, so let's, let's look at different sources here. We'll go over to Birmingham. And again, we're still seeing a tight couplet on our Birmingham radar. Let's go to Mobile. And still seeing that tight couplet on Mobile. So all of our radar sites are seeing a tight, strong indication that a tornado is being produced over southern Marengo County. And again, National Weather Service and Storm Spot are saying this uh, storm is producing a tornado right now, not far south of Myrtlewood, very close to Aimwell. All right, so here's some roads for you we're talking about. Here's Rembert Hill Road, uh, runs south of Highway 69 between Linden and Thomaston. Uh, it's a dirt road. Most of it is a dirt road uh, that runs to the south of Rembert Hill. There's Half Acre. There's Myrtlewood on Highway 69. And there's Aimwell, Miller, and Calvary. Here's Highway 43. The tornado is right here between Half Chance and Aimwell. And again, that's going to be moving off towards the east at about 45 miles per hour. It's going to move on across Marengo County. Pretty good clip. Uh, Calvary Miller, if you're watching us down there, be sure to go ahead and get in your safe place. All right, let's go to other storms out there quickly uh, across the rest of our state. Again, we have another tornado producing storm that has been over Perry County, and that is moving into Chilton and Dallas County right now, northern Dallas and also uh, Chilton County. That storm is uh, moving into that part of the state. And you know, one good thing, uh, Daniel, if you notice this storm right here, it's not looking near as well defined as it was earlier. That's great news. Hopefully, we'll see the same weekend. Uh, the one that's in Perry County again, hopefully this storm will weaken here pretty shortly, but we can't promise that. But the tornadic part of the storm is about to move into Dallas and southern Chilton County right there. So once that happens and this moves out of our coverage area, we'll send it back to programming as well as the one down in Marengo County. Once it expires, which officially expires at 715, we'll send it back to programming. All right, other storms out there to the north, that's it. No more severe weather happening across our northwestern counties. Mississippi starting to trim back their tornado watch box. And it looks like this is going to be it for our severe weather. So we're talking deep south, Marengo County, the last place to possibly see tornadic storms today. Let's hope that happens. We've had, uh, no doubt about it, a complete mess out there in terms of tornadic storms today. All right, so southern Marengo County, and there's a storm right behind it producing a tornado near Butler. There's Nanafly, Sweetwater, Miller, Dixon Mills, Hugo, and Octagon Road. So this is going to be crossing. Again, Highway 43 within 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, already hard hit part of Marengo County getting a tornado earlier. 
Another tornado hit along Highway 69 between Myrtlewood and Linden. According to reports from viewers down there, softball size hell in Myrtlewood earlier today. And that's with a supercell that passed the few moments ago. Uh, this is our second one. So again, tornado sirens going off in the city of Linden and Myrtlewood likely right now. And then the tornadic part of the storm is going to continue moving off towards the east. So here's a brand new scan and uh, starting to see even better indications. This thing's wrapping up and is producing a tornado very close to Myrtlewood, just to the south of Myrtlewood. It's going to be crossing close to Calvary Baptist Church. Uh, the Octagon Road right here that runs to Hugo uh, from Highway 43 to Highway 28. Marengo Academy sits right here, the corner store of the south side of Linden. If you live from roughly uh, the corner store in Linden and point south down to Miller, I want you in your safe place. And, and that's where we're talking about this tornado should cross Highway 43 between the corner store in Linden and Miller. All right, so we got a tornado warning again from Marengo County until 7:15. A uh, possible tornado. We had our tornado on the ground that hit Butler earlier today. And we're going to keep an eye on the National Weather Service chat room over in Butler, over in um, Marengo County, just kind of see if we have any more reports. And hey, so far, so good. So far, we don't have any more reports of a tornado uh, in Marengo County. But you got to think, this happened with last storm. It's moving through a very sparsely populated part of Marengo County. Not a lot of good places to storm chase out here. Uh, not a good place to really see tornadoes. A lot of hills out here in this part of Marengo County and a lot of trees as well. So if there's a tornado here, we'll likely know about it when it crosses Highway 43. Uh, again, we had a tornado that uh, came really close to Nanaflia, again, southwest Marengo County. Uh, this tornado hit Butler earlier, and now it's in central Marengo County about to cross Highway 43. All right, other storms out there quickly. In fact, let me show you our uh, regional radar and satellite. I just want to kind of give you an analysis of what's going on out there. And this is it uh, with our severe weather. The cold front is coming through Mississippi now. The severe weather threat is ending from west to east. It's about 7 o'clock right now. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott, if you're just now joining us, we're in the middle of long form. Uh, severe weather coverage. We've been on nonstop since noon today with numerous tornadoes. Uh, large tornadoes touching down today as well. Lots of damage across parts of the state, including the city of Tuscaloosa. Uh, good news is this activity is about to end in our area. Uh, WVUA Daniel Spartman, he's with me now and, and watching uh, things closely on the chat room. Uh, Daniel, what you see over there? Yeah, I'm watching things a little bit further um, out of our viewing area over in Choctaw County. The National Weather Service down in Mobile is continuing a tornado warning for Choctaw County until 715. They are saying that a tornado is near West Butler or about seven miles west of the town of Butler and it's moving east at 45 miles per hour. So Marengo County you may be getting rid of this first storm, but the tail end of the storm is uh, still over near Butler and it's moving to the east. So Marengo County, not out of the woods. We are still going to have this for a little bit while longer. The uh, <clears> storm <throat> moving over into uh, Marengo County in the next maybe 20, 30 minutes. So you guys uh, between Linden and Sweetwater, Pennington, be prepared because you guys have got one more storm coming through. So maybe when this tornado warning expires at 715, there may be another one put in place by the National Weather Service in Birmingham because of the storm that's currently over Choctaw County right now. Uh, just an update from the National Weather Service about the Marengo County storm. They're saying that their radar still indicating a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. Uh, this dangerous storm located near Miller or 10 miles southwest of Linden moving to the east at 40 miles per hour. That's the one that's already in Marengo County. And I was just talking about the one near Butler that'll be moving into Marengo County over the next little while. <clears throat> Did you have something, Richard? Uh, yeah, Daniel, uh, you know, this is a mess down over Marengo County. I'll tell you that quite frankly. If you uh, have been watching today, we've had numerous tornadoes touch down in Marengo County, numerous tornadoes track across the county. And there's been numerous tornadoes in our viewing area, but Marengo County seems like it's been one of the hardest hit places. Also in Sumter County, the Geiger community hit by a large uh, wedge tornado. So it, it has been a mess today across our uh, coverage area. And uh, uh, Daniel, give me an update on the uh, reports you see coming out. Uh, right now, there's not anything coming out, just uh, Marengo County. Uh, they're talking about the storm that's over there in Marengo County right now. And um, 
that just that their storm is about 10 miles southwest of Linden and moving to the east. So you guys uh, in Marengo County, especially down south between Linden and Sweetwater, you guys really need to watch out. Uh, you've got this one storm that's moving through right now, but you've got another one over in Butler in Choctaw County that's going to be moving your direction and it's kind of moving towards the northeast. So you can see there, Butler, Pennington, you guys are going to be in the path <clears throat> if the National Weather Service in Birmingham decides to go with a new tornado warning for Marengo County. We'll be watching somewhere between Sweetwater and Linden for the path of this new storm, and then it'll move on to the east. But Linden, you are north of the current storm that's in Marengo County right now. Um, we do have some video of um, some damage out there, so let's take a look at that. Oh. Uh, We've, we're continuous, continuously getting video in of damage throughout West Alabama. You can see there um, looks like some, I'm not sure what that is, sheets in the trees. Oh, damage of a garage door there. Also homes damaged. And this is a Crestline and Bellevue intersection of Tuscaloosa County. We also have uh, talked with some more residents and we're getting that um, sound in and we're going to go ahead and listen. We uh, talked with resident Sheila Hurd who uh, witnessed some of the damage. I was in the kitchen. I opened my door a minute and I, it looked like lightning had struck something. So I closed my door and then when I went back in there I heard a roar and noise. So I run to the hall and I stayed in there and then it just kept on rolling and then by the time I got, I didn't hear him, I come out and I seen all the, you know, the trees down and everything. This is down in the southern part of Tuscaloosa County in the Skyland area. You can see the damage there to the garage door, trees knocked down around these houses. Uh, just a lot of damage from that tornado, confirmed tornado that blew through the southern part of Tuscaloosa County earlier this uh, afternoon, Richard. Yeah, it looks like uh, by, based on some of the damage, we're talking an EF1 uh, type of tornado. Now, if there's more structural damage that we're just not able to see right now, I'm just talking about the video we've seen. Looks like about EF1 type of damage, uh, possibly EF2 type of damage in, in spots. So we'll, of course, get that confirmed uh, here over the next uh, 24 hours. The National Weather Service will send out a survey team, and they'll let us know exactly what's going on with that uh, uh, that damage across the city of Tuscaloosa, also uh, lots of damage across uh, the state, quite frankly, uh, dealing with. So we have now one tornado warning in our viewing area, and that's for uh, south central Marengo County. And we're talking areas from Linden and Point South. So if you're watching us in the city of Linden on the south side of town, go ahead and get in that safe place. That includes Miller and Calvary. That's going to be crossing Highway 43, very close to Octagon Road and the city of Octagon. Also, Hugo is going to be crossing Highway 28 uh, near the city of Hugo. So let's back things back out and show you another wide perspective across the state. Uh, we have another tornado warning back in Choctaw County, but one other tornado warning that's moving out of Perry County right now, just about completely in Dallas County. Uh, no report if we have a tornado on the ground with this storm just yet, but it is moving in northern Dallas County and southern Chilton County, and then obviously after that in the Montgomery market, if it continues off towards the east. So again, we'll have two tornadic storms we're watching, one over extreme East Perry County. It's just about out of the county now. Uh, just stay in your safe place for another 10 to 15 minutes if you're watching us in East Perry County. Now back off towards the south uh, again, Marengo County. Our last tornado warning, uh, hopefully of the day, but I can't guarantee that. This one moving out of Choctaw County could continue to produce a tornado and could move into southern Marengo County. And uh, we're going to look at the storm relative velocity with this storm and tell you exactly where the rotation is. And it's going to be very close to half chance. Uh, now moving into Miller and Calvary. Uh, again, that's down over Marengo County. So let's look at the velocity with this. And uh, this is out of Mobile. We're looking at not a very well-defined rotation according to Mobile's radar. Let's go to Birmingham. And yeah, a tight couplet on Birmingham. So at, at least the level Birmingham radar slicing through the storm. Uh, there is a tornado that's very close to Calvary and the Octagon Road. So let me take this off and show you where we're talking about over Marengo County. Here's Highway 43 that runs south of the city of Linden. Uh, Pine Crest sits right there. Uh, here's the junction of Highway 69 and Highway 43 uh, by the corner store right there in the city of Linden on the south side of town. Uh, Calvary sits right there. Calvary Baptist Church is right here. Uh, here's the Octagon Road that runs northeast and it goes into uh, Hugo community. Uh, Octagon Road meets up with Calvary right here. And there's Miller. The tornado is going to be very close to the city of Calvary. 
We've got a brand new tornado warning issued for part of Perry County, also including Dallas, Chilton, and Autauga County. The National Weather Service is tracking a confirmed tornado, which is five miles south of the Paul M. Grist State Park, or six miles northwest of Valley Grand, moving towards the northeast at 35 miles per hour. So part of Perry County included in a tornado warning until 8 o'clock tonight. Yeah, that, that's the very eastern part of Perry County, and we're talking about the very eastern uh, half a mile of Perry County. You see the new tornado warning polygon right here, but uh, the storm is pretty much into Dallas County now and southern Chilton County. So we're going to let this storm go into Dallas County, Chilton County. We're going to focus down over Marengo County where we have a much more serious storm happening uh, very close to Calvary right now. And again, this storm could be producing a tornado at just about any time. It's going to be crossing Highway 43. In fact, it's crossing 43 right now. Here's the tornado right here near Octagon. There's Hugo, there's Thomaston, and this is going to be moving in this general fashion, just like this, into eastern Marengo County. So this possible tornado is going to be moving out of Marengo County here within about 25 minutes or so, but we've got to stay with this until this tornado warning expires. Uh, very heavy rain falling in Linden, probably some small hail, uh, according to reflectivity, maybe some hailstones, uh, uh, quarter size, give or take, in the city of Linden. And again, that's the tornadic part of the storm is going to be just to the south, of Linden. So if you're watching us again in Calvary and Miller, stay in your safe place for about five more minutes with this tornado warning. But another one could be moving in from the south. So let's look at that storm uh, that's moving in out of Choctaw County. And again, this one could produce another tornado warning for Marengo County. And uh, this should be it for Marengo County, by the way. I think this would be the last of the storms in Marengo County this evening. Uh, if anything pops up, of course, we'll break right back in. But right now, we have one tornado warning left. And that's for Marengo County. By the way, if you just now joined us, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott alongside with WDUA's Daniel Sparkman. We've been on air since 12 o'clock noon today with tornado warnings and tornado coverage nonstop. It's been a very long and active day. Large tornadoes racing across our state and we still have tornadoes out there this evening. One that's moving out of Perry County and to northern Dallas and now one into Chilton County. And then this one over Marengo County this could be producing a tornado now, uh, getting very close to the city of Hugo. So if you know anybody that's in Hugo, or if you're watching us in Hugo, Octagon, the tornado's going to be right here. Again, here's the Octagon Road that runs from Highway 43 to Highway 25 right here. Here's Highway 28, or Highway 28 rather. Here's Highway 28 that runs from Linden to Hugo to Thomaston. There's Highway 25 that runs north of Thomaston. It runs also to the south of Thomaston. So if you're watching us along Highway 25 north and south of Thomaston, pull over now, find a place of safety. And there's some storm safety plans we talk about often. Get in the lowest floor of your home, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Don't take a chance with these things. These are dangerous storms that have produced large tornadoes. We have reports of unconfirmed damage between the city of Linden and the city of Myrtlewood. Also, uh, softball sized hail reported by viewers in the city of Myrtlewood today. So incredibly large hailstones out there, some cold temperatures aloft, and these storms are very tall. They have strong updrafts. They sustain those hailstones well in the atmosphere, and they get larger and larger, and that's exactly what's happening here. All right, so we're talking Octagon right now. Here's the tornado, or the possible tornado located right here. It's crossing Highway 43. So if you're watching us in Calvary and Miller, in about two more minutes, the tornado will be well past you to the east and out in rural Marengo County. Eventually, it's going to be moving over Hugo and Thompson here pretty shortly. Daniel? Yeah, now the National Weather Service down in Mobile is just updating the Choctaw County storm, saying that it's now near Mount Sterling, which is very close to the Choctaw and Marengo County line, moving to the east at 50 miles per hour. Uh, we're still talking with the National Weather Service up in Birmingham to see if they are going to issue a new tornado warning for Marengo County. The one that uh, currently stands, the last one on the list, uh, lasts until 8.15, I mean 7.15, I was thinking another eight minutes. But uh, we're still talking with them. They haven't made a decision on that, but they're still watching that storm, trying to see what it's gonna do over the next little while. Uh, other, in the way of other things going on, we don't really have much in our viewing area. Uh, there's some storms out in Talladega County, Cleburne and Clay County, uh, some tornado warnings, but other than that, there's only one severe thunderstorm warning, and that's up in Coleman County. We are pretty much in the clear other than the uh, couple of storms that we're watching right now in uh, Perry and Marengo counties. Yeah, check this out. We're looking northwest from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera. And there's no storms in this part of Tuscaloosa County. I mean, we're just looking at low-hanging and nasty-looking clouds. 
uh, that are off in the northwest in the distance. And, and you look at something like this and you think it's going to produce a tornado. Well, there's no active storms in Tuscaloosa County right now. Uh, there's a couple of showers out there, but that's it. This just low hanging clouds, a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. Uh, clouds that are full of moisture that have a lot of moisture, real dense. So they look darker and more ominous. And plus, we're getting ready for sunset here in about 15 to 20 minutes. So. Okay, Richard, the National Weather Service has issued a new tornado warning for Dallas, Marengo, and Perry County until 815. The National Weather Service indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado located five miles west of Thomaston or six miles southeast <clears throat> of Linden and moving to the northeast at 40 miles per hour. Yeah, there's a storm right there we're looking at, and uh, the new polygon is going to pop up here in just a moment. So we're going to go now until 8 o'clock tonight until uh, this tornado warning has expired, and uh, that should be it after that. So uh, the tornadic part of the storm is right here. This storm, uh, not showing as well-defined signature on radar that is still producing a tornado, but the National Weather Service in Birmingham decided to go ahead and issue warning for Southern Perry County as well, moving northeast at a pretty good clip. And uh, the possible tornado is going to be right here on Highway 25, moving to the east of Thomaston here shortly. So if you're in Hugo and Thomaston, stay in your safe place. The tornadic part of the storm is past Calvary. But let's look off towards the west. Uh, let's kind of keep a close eye on this thing. Let me bring up the uh, menu here and let's move off towards the west. And there is another storm that could be producing. There's a new tornado warning polygon. Uh, there is another storm back here that could produce a tornado, not showing as well to find signature on radar. So I doubt right now it is producing a tornado. Uh, the tornadic storm is now over central and moving into East Marengo County uh, here pretty shortly. And we're talking about uh, Thomaston and Hugo right now where that storm is. And, and again, it's moving east at a pretty good clip. And they're going to continue this tornado warning until 8 o'clock at night, but they'll trim this tornado warning back as it moves across our viewing area. So let's kind of pan things back out. And here's the new tornado warning polygon. It does include the southeastern corner or southwest corner of Perry County uh, under that tornado, wa or tornado warning uh, because of this storm back here in Marengo County. So let me move back into Marengo County and show you where we're talking about the possible tornado itself. Uh, no uh, confirmed report of a tornado on the ground. Is that right, Daniel? Right. No confirmed report um, right now. Uh, we just got a storm report in from Perry County, five miles east of Hamburg. A uh, storm spotter observed a 75 mile, an, mile per hour wind with a handheld anemometer. Uh, just about one mile southeast of Scuttle. Wow. <laughs> well, if that was me standing out there, I'd have to have a rope tied to him because I'd blow away like a kite. I mean, you think about it, that's hurricane strength yeah. wind. Hurricane force wind, 75 miles per hour, incredible. And how he was able to stand out, or she uh, was able to stand out there and hold in 75 mile per hour winds, that takes a dedicated storm spotter right there. <laughs> but that's the only uh, storm report we've gotten in recently. Still waiting to see um, about the storm that's moving from Choctaw to Marengo County because uh, the National Weather Service still hasn't made a decision on that just yet. All right, so we're talking about uh, whether they're going to extend the tornado warning back into Marengo County from Choctaw County. And if you look on the board, it, it looks like a mess out there. We have multiple tornado warning polygons, and here in about four minutes, they're going to trim one of those warnings back, and it'll be a little more clear cut uh, for you over Marengo County. The tornadic part of the storm actually close to Thomaston this storm, but I'll tell you, Daniel, it looks like it's starting to uh, kind of back build another, just like the storm did earlier today. It uh, looks like it's trying to back build back into uh, southwest Marengo County. So we're going to have to watch this area back here uh, for any evidence of rotation. In fact, let's look at that with our storm melted velocity and we'll see uh, if this storm is rotating any at all back to the west. And we're talking over southwest Marengo County again. And there, there's some evidence that this thing's trying to spin up back to the west. So let's look at other, other radar sources uh, just to be sure. And yeah, there, there's some velocity back there, Daniel. We're going to have to watch that very close. And again, that's just to the west of Linden. If uh, anything else is about to spin up, it could get close to Linden. So let's uh, look at one more source. And, and the dominant circulation is between Linden and Thomaston right now, close to Hugo. But there could be something else spinning up. Some more good news out of the National Weather Service, just in there generally letting us know that um, the good news is that they're still planning on letting the tornado watch expire at 9 o'clock. They don't anticipate it having to be extended. Yeah, so that'll be it. Uh, once, this, um, once this activity moves on through, that's it with our severe weather. Uh, we can pack it up and, and go to bed, uh, hopefully, because this activity, it has been a long day for a lot of us. And, and for weather folks, it's, uh, 
weather nerds like me and Daniel has been out here watching this stuff for a long time, probably haven't slept more than an hour uh, last night just because we're getting up every five minutes and checking updates. Of course, that, that's how weather, weather folks uh, roll around here. All right, so we got a tornado warning in Marengo County again. We're talking and the tornadic part of the storm is supposed to be near Thomaston right now, but it looks like it's trying to build backwards. Our home team interactive radar picking up on some more rotation back here near Calvary. So if you're in Calvary right now, just stay in your safe place between Miller and Calvary and Linden. Just stay in that safe place for a little bit longer. After the severe weather threat passes to your east, we'll send it back to programming. In fact, I think most of this is going to stay south of Perry County. In fact, I'd be willing to bet uh, Perry County doesn't get anything on, from this storm in terms of a tornado unless it's this little boot hill of Perry County. And we're talking south of Uniontown for that. All right, so we got a tornado warning until 8 o'clock tonight now from Marengo County. But uh, once this back edge right here moves into uh, Dallas County, northern Wilcox, southern Perry, uh, the tornado warning will likely be trimmed back a little early for Marengo County. Uh, again, we still have that tornado warning in place. And, and let me show you what Daniel was talking about and the National Weather Service, the guys out of the Weather Service talking about uh, what's happening to our west and they're going to allow this tornado watch to expire at 9 o'clock tonight. And the reason being, that's it. No more severe weather the this good evening. That, that's good news now. That's after Marengo County storm moves on. So. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Some more good news from the Mobile National Weather Service. They actually let that tornado warning for Choctaw County expire. So they're obviously not seeing uh, the rotation that they were seeing at one time, which means that the National Weather Service in Birmingham may not have a need to uh, issue a tornado warning for Marengo County for that storm. All right, that's good news. That's really good news. Uh, so this storm, once it moves out of Marengo County, if it doesn't look like much of a threat for Perry County, we'll just go ahead and send it back to programming. Uh, we still have that tornado warning for Marengo County. And if you're just now joining us, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott alongside with WDUH Daniel Sparkman. It's 714 this Friday evening. We've been on air nonstop since noon today. It's been a very long day, a significant tornado outbreak happening across the state. Fortunately, we'll have no fatalities reported just yet. But we do have some injuries out there. Numerous homes destroyed are damaged. It has been one of those days, a horrific uh, ordeal with tornadoes across our state, including the state of Mississippi and Alabama. Uh, the northeastern part of Alabama, Birmingham points north and east, not much in the way of damage. The air has been cool and stable up there. The unstable air mass has stayed to our south and west of Birmingham mainly. And that's why we're having all these tornado warnings down here. Now, there are some tornado warnings over in east Alabama, but you're talking north of Anniston. The tornado threat is, has not been as significant, so that, that is one good thing we're talking about. Uh, cooler and stable air to the north of Birmingham and Gadsden, uh, which is good news for folks out at Talladega. Now, it has been a close call at times. The storm's down at Talladega. Uh, a lot of folks out there for the races, but if we can get all this activity out of here without storms, uh, severe weather in Talladega, uh, then that means that we're very fortunate. Uh, all the tornadic damage we've had across our state today. Uh, let's go back into Marengo County and show you this storm right here we're talking about. And uh, still a tornado warning officially for Marengo County. And we're talking very southern part of Marengo County, uh, south on Highway 43, south of the city of Linden. Uh, National Weather Service seeing the storm kind of back build on itself. So uh, they decided to reissue a tornado warning for the central part of the county. Uh, it does officially include the city of Linden. I think the main tornado threat is going to be just to your south and east in Marengo County. So the tornado should be somewhere in this general part of Marengo County. Uh, very close to where our TVS icon is. This back here is not severe, so that is good news. It's about to rain more in Linden and Myrtlewood, but the good news is the uh, dangerous severe weather part has moved to your east. So let's go back over to our velocity, and we'll show you what we're looking at in terms of rotation in Marengo County. Um, uh, quickly, Daniel, I want to go back for a, an update with you. If you want to look through the National Weather Service chat room, and uh, tell if, if you see any, any other damage reports out there? Um, right now, not any damage reports. They've canceled uh, part of the Perry County storm. One of the tornado warnings for Perry County, the one where it was connected to Dallas, Chilton, and Autauga County, <clears throat> that storm near Valley Grand. Uh, just looking at some other things going on with the National Weather Service, there is some storms still down in Choctaw County, but those are looking like they're going to stay more in south of Marengo County, so south of our viewing area, which is good news. Um, the uh, Some storm reports coming out of east of us, like the Autauga and Chilton County area, some starting to see some wind damage, but no tornado damage of that way, uh, which <laughs> is all good news. It seems like things are 
kind of mellowing out a little bit. Over in uh, Lee County, the city of Auburn seen some roof damage on some of their mobile homes, trees, and power lines down over there. Uh, we talked about the Perry County earlier with the the uh, storm spotter and his handheld anemometer. <laughs> and uh, just looking around uh, over in Jackson, Mississippi, the National Weather Service is starting to cancel some of their tornado watches, which is really good news. That means that they don't see any potential for uh, more pop-up storms like we've seen all day today. None, no more supercells are starting to pop up over Mississippi and head our direction, which is really good news for us. Uh, that means that West Alabama should be in the clear here in the next uh, maybe hour or so completely in the clear with these storms moving out. Uh, checking out the National Weather Service chat, uh, mm -hmm. still looking good. No signs of uh, any storm reports lately, which is good news. Yeah, that's always good news whenever we have a lack of reports in terms of tornadoes being produced. Uh, what we're going to do is keep it on programming uh, with severe weather coverage for a little bit longer. Uh, as this storm moves out of Marengo County, we're going to send it back to programming here in a few moments. Uh, but we're going to keep it right here until the dangerous part of the storm is uh, moves out of Marengo County. Uh, here in just a moment, we're going to show some video we have of um, uh, severe weather in downtown Tuscaloosa. In fact, if we can show that now, uh, we're talking uh, some video of severe weather from uh, Highway 69 South in downtown Tuscaloosa. And this is some of the active storms we dealt with. There's Tuscaloosa Amphitheater, which had to cancel the concert today. A lot of lightning out there. That was a great call to cancel this even though the severe weather threats ending now I, I still think it was a good idea because uh, things could have changed so easily uh, we had some damage in the city of Tuscaloosa in terms of a tornado touching down over the south side of town but this is just some video we had uh, from various parts of Tuscaloosa where we had some uh, uh, some large hail uh, heavy rain lots of lightning and again this is just a uh, severe weather we're talking about here in the city of Tuscaloosa downtown Tuscaloosa earlier today uh, that activity is winding down and it's moving east. Um, what we're going to do, let's go back over to Home Team Interactive Radar. Uh, we're going to keep this tornado warning for just a few more minutes, but I, I think what we're going to do, uh, since this storm is weakening, we're going to send it back to programming here in about uh, 10 minutes or so uh, because the storm over Marengo County seems to be weakening some, and I think the tornado threat is going to stay mainly south of, um, south of our coverage area after this storm moves into Dallas County. So let's Keep it back just for a few more minutes. Make sure there aren't any distinct changes uh, with this storm. But we're talking still the possibility of a tornado down here in east central Marengo County. Again, this is moving through Thomaston. It's about to move into Dallas County here pretty shortly. And uh, again, once this moves on out, we'll send it back to programming. We'll be done uh, with the severe weather. So let's zoom things back out and show you wide vantage point across the area. If you have plans outdoors, this is what we're talking about. The end of the severe weather is definitely moving through. Uh, the only last tornado warning we have is the storm down over Marengo County. It looks like most of it's going to stay south of Perry County, so that's why we're uh, deciding to send it back to programming here in about five to ten minutes. Uh, we're going to keep it right here as the storm still over Marengo County, and it's showing signs of weakening, so that is good news. It's not near as defined as it was earlier. Uh, there still is evidence of rotation right here. Uh, let me zoom into that near uh, Thomaston and Dayton, but the evidence of rotation is weakening. Uh, within this storm. So that's uh, one good thing. Uh, we've been on the air since noon today with uh, tornado warnings nonstop. Uh, a lot of damage across the state. And tonight at 10 o'clock, we'll recap a lot of that. Uh, tonight on WVUA News at 10 o'clock. Look, head over to our website, WVUATV.com. Click weather and weather blog. Uh, Daniel Spartman's doing a great job updating the blog, putting all the pictures, watches, and warnings on there. And let me show you a link real quick. If you have any severe weather pictures, we want you to send those to weather at WVUATV.com, the link at the top of your screen there, weather at WVUATV.com. Uh, send us your severe weather pictures. We'll post all of those on the weather blog. We'll try to show some of those on the air before we go back to programming. And again, yeah, send those to weather pictures at weather at WVUATV.com. Also, look us up on Facebook and Twitter. You can search our email account at weather at WVUATV.com. It's very easy to find us on, again, Facebook and Twitter. So let's go back over to Home Team Interactive Radar. And what I'm going to do, uh, Daniel, while you give us kind of a recap of any reports uh, here lately, I'm going to uh, switch over to our velocity and, and check out the storm over Marengo County and, and kind of make a decision what we're going to do here. Yeah, just got a new uh, storm report from Perry County. Uh, this is just people talking, law enforcement and neighbors reporting through uh, the ham radio system <clears throat> that uh, County Road 45 just south of 
Garth Nichols Drive or approximately four to five miles south of Industrial Drive. Approximately 20 trees down across the road and uh, our law enforcement and neighbors, this is an unconfirmed report, but are saying that a tornado did go through near the city of Marion uh, up in Perry County at some point earlier today. Um, this is just coming in through ham radio operators and through the National Weather Service chat. <clears throat> uh, the National Weather Service is going ahead and continuing the Marengo, Perry, and Dallas County storm tornado warning until 815. They say that uh, radar is still indicating a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado near Dayton or 11 miles east of Linden. It's moving northeast at 40 miles per hour right now. So the National Weather Service, they dropped uh, a couple of storms, uh, tornado warnings for Calhoun and Cleburne County over in East Alabama, but continuing the tornado warning for Dallas, Marengo, and Perry County until 8:15. All right, Daniel, again, uh, our only tornado warning we have left is over East Marengo County. Still showing evidence of rotation. We're going to keep this uh, just for a few more minutes, and, and then I think we're just going to send it back to programming. But again, we have a tornado warning in East Marengo County that's about to move into Southern Perry County, as in the boot hill of Southern Perry County around Uniontown and Point South, and then move into Dallas County. But the uh, only evidence of rotation we can find down here is over in the city of Thomaston, between Thomaston and Dayton. And again, this is moving kind of east-northeast. Um, it's going to clip the southern part of uh, Perry County. Again, that does include the city of Uniontown uh, underneath that tornado warning. So let me zoom things out and show you wide perspective. Uh, looks like uh, they just updated that tornado warning. Okay, so that's an update on the tornado warning there with a polygon system. And again, that's going to include part of Perry County south of the city of Marion mainly. And, and I think the best tornado threat is actually going to be well south of you. And we're talking about the southern part of Perry County and northern Dallas County. So thing continues to move off towards the east. And tornado warnings to the south. Again, those are out of our coverage area. Uh, to the north, there's no activity to talk about as the severe weather threat is ending. And uh, we still have, again, that tornado warning about to move out of Marengo County. But uh, here in just a few minutes, uh, in a couple of minutes, we're going to send it back to programming. Uh, the storm showing signs of weakening. And it's moving out of Marengo County. So uh, we're going to uh, send it back here in just a second. I think this is going to stay well south of the city of Marion. Again, officially, Marengo County is still under tornado warning until 8 o'clock tonight, but the storm is showing signs of weakening. Uh, to the north, there's no active storms to deal with, and it has been a long day. Uh, again, we've had tornado warning and tornado coverage since uh, noon today, and we actually started with a tornado warning down over Marengo County. Uh, lots of damage happening across parts of our state today. And we'll have a, a big recap on that tonight at 10 o'clock. WVUA's Daniel Spartan will be on the weather department tonight at 10. And uh, we'll recap everything that's happened today. And we'll have those reports.